Hello, everyone. Hi. The stream wow. you were all looking forward to for yeah. today. Yes, that's right. Bob, can you hit the start button and then and then hit Score. the so that way we can get that epic intro music again? Good chart. Okay, enjoy the production cards. There's a little bit of delay here, but I'm, you know we're just gonna drag this out real quick so that way we can get the really epic music to what I was saying. You know, because like I was I was really building into a thing, Yippee. and that's exactly when the game stopped playing. Okay, here we go. Quest sixty four. You gotta say it again. <laughs> Quest 64! <laughs> Yippee! <laughs> oh man, we gotta read about Stealthland. Yippee! <laughs> An island where magical spirits about. This is a boat of magicians who have become powerful through Yippee. a pact with the spirits. They're apprentices of. Oh, damn it! We oh, gotta well, restart the it. intro. Oh. <laughs> Yippee! That's like most of the Yippee. text in the game right there, and it's gone. <laughs> what a little guy. Kenneshire! Yeah. Or Kenneshire? This is the kingdom of Northern Magic, home of the Melrose Monastery. This kingdom is ruled by King Scrunt. Here are the people. <laughs> Yippee! Actually, I'm a Was, Wait, are you the king? <laughs> I don't think I'm the king, okay. but I do like look like my name's Scrunt. <laughs> Carmog. <laughs> the kingdom of merchants is situated in the central real region of Keltland. The rich, oh, how, how uh, am I? Ruled by a lovely queen. Scrunt. <laughs> riches, fucking, Yippee. there were riches. Uh, we are gonna check out the September lineup to see what else Highland. is on the, the way. The kingdom of the sword located at the southern edge of the isles. The kingdom of fire and steel ruled by the ambitious and warlike King Beiges. Oh, that's King Bagels. King Bagels. <laughs> Thanks to a treaty among the three kingdoms, the people live in peace and prosperity. Oh, that's good. Man, that text sure stayed up longer than it needed to compared to everything else. <laughs> One night, however, the monastery fell under an evil spell with the theft of an ancient book. Darn ancient books. Because of the theft, Keltland now faces dangers it has never before known. Like Quest 64. Is wait, is Quest 64 a danger? I mean, to us it is. It is but. a threat. It is a real threat. Okay, well we're ready. All right, let's get in there. Yeah, you get that started. I'll get our timers spot on here with how long we've been live. I'm gonna throw this here real quick before we get much deeper in. And anyone who's listening right now, anyone asks, you hit exclamation mark 3ds. Yes, but what so that way it's explained to them. Ordered. Uh, our 3 ds uh, capture unit literally killed itself as soon as I finished every last painstaking step of setting it up. Every single one. Wired cables running all over the place, laptop over here, 3DSs over there, and it fucking murdered Mario itself. Like I wish... I know what you're all gonna be like. You're gonna be like, this is Dan's luck. No, I found forum posts from five years ago <laughs> yeah. and six years ago of this exact problem happening to someone. I hate the retro hardware community, especially the 3DS capture unit. It does seem all like of, that's literally the cesspool, the worst of the worst part of that The community. worst of the worst of the worst of the worst. <laughs> okay, we're gonna turn down desktop audio, get that a little bit medicated, raise up our Quest 64 sound. Yeah, it's, uh, it's, uh, fuck this. Yeah. Anyway, the funny thing is it died before me said what me said. Because me was like, it's going to kill the 3DS. <laughs> and I looked at the timestamp and I'm like, it literally happened like 10 minutes before they said it. <laughs> so really, you're just psychic because you detected it post hoc, you know, <laughs> less of a divination. I, more I, of a, I sense some disturbance in the universe. Yes. One of the more like a Jedi thing. Have you tried Wi-Fi stream? Well, it's a DS game, so that literally wouldn't work. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't work when it's in DS mode. It's a 3DS plugin. So, it would one, it would look like shit. Two, it's not exactly stable. And three, it literally won't work on DS games. God, my is bad. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> Grand Abbot. <laughs> Brian, even though I've begged you not to leave and start this miserable game, you still say you must go after your father. No matter how wonderful your powers may be, you are still a child. My powers are so wonderful. <laughs> your father, Lord Bartholomew, left to search for the stolen Ella Tale book. That's 
like got midget tail energy. <laughs> this has been missing for a month. No wonder you are worried about him. <laughs> Contained in the words of the book is a power that exceeds human knowledge. I wonder who could have possibly stolen it from the crypt of the monastery. If an evil person should use it, the country and all its cities will be destroyed. The spirit's blessings will disappear and Keltland will once again be visited by a day, day of only grief. One, only one day? Yeah, I just think one, we're... Grief, one day. Of, it, well, that's because the whole Bro. empire ends. <laughs> and we're sad about it for exactly one day. Well, we're all dead after that. Man, we were really sad. I guess yeah. we just died of sadness on this one day of grief. Okay. Well, we were grieving until someone came and killed us all. <laughs> oh, well, that seems like the more important part no, of this no, day. No, no, I'm sorry, it's not. The being sad thing really not as <laughs> remarkable as the weird axe murderer. <laughs> There's only three of... Whoops. Uh, I, you, hit the, you can hit the B button to back out. Okay. <laughs> Bartholomew's disappearance may mean he is caught in the fighting over the book. The fighting over the book. That's a sentence. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I misread that, right? And I'm like checking it four times over. Chat, you ever be caught in the fighting over the thing? I often be caught in the fighting over the thing. If you go, you may find yourself in danger as well. Of the fighting over the book or what? You may find yourself in the fighting of the danger as well. <laughs> if you still insist, begin by going to Dondoran. <laughs> I'll ask the king of Dondoran a castle to protect you. I think the king is just the king. I don't think we need to say he's the king of the castle. Shame about Dark Chronicles. You'll just have to stream it at some other point. Oh, wait. One second. One second. There's... One second. Let's just let's just type this in and uh no, no I won't. That nightbot command's very specific. <laughs> order up. Yes, but what specifically is being ordered? Uh subs. He looks like a weird creature. Like Yeah, I can't get what's going on with him. Yeah, you I could toggle those graphic settings so that way we can make Quest 64 look like a PS1 game and that'll be funny. <laughs> Uh, that is at the bottom. Oh, whoop, whoop, oh you uh, done fucked up. Oh, no. What do you, did you just lower the core volume? I don't know. Bob, what are you doing? Stop ruining our stream. <laughs> you can use the D-pad. Oh, I you am. were? You were. Yes. I see. It's under video audio. Uh, it's all of those VIs. Yeah, texture filter dithering. Yeah, turn all this shit off. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Look at how good that is. Uh, yeah, I don't care on that. Yeah. Oh man, it's so chunky and crisp. There we go. That's how I remember it. This is. <laughs> this is. You got like a deep fried N64. <laughs> this is how you remember it. So is. Is he a gigantic creature where he's bent over and his arm is on the ground? I don't know. Is he on a I throne? Wish we could, he's got a cone hat. Is he a spider? He's got is a beetle back. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. He's got eyebrows and a beard, I think, and a really pointy nose, and he's kneeling. Oh, is that what that is? I was thinking that was a giant mustache, but you might be right. That might be like his eyebrows over his over his nose. Yeah, I think that's... You know, it's a good thing we're using the retro tank. It's 4K in quality, making it even better when we just... Uh, where, where's where's my super zoom? Where did that go? Okay, here we go. And we <laughs> just got to re-enable this. And Okay, maybe we... Nope, that's still not helping. As it turns out, that's just indecipherable. <laughs> yeah. Whoops. Rejected Pokemon Legendary? Yeah. Yeah, I can see it. <laughs> he goes... <laughs> Finally, we found him. <laughs> okay, well, time to go off on our Quest 64. It's so weird that this just starts with, like, Dragon Quest 1. Like, yeah, you just start in the room with the king. He tells you you should go on the quest. Yeah. And you're, you're gone. Iconic. You're, you're gone. Now it's a DS game, you know? I get it. It yeah, totally kinda. does look like a DS game. It's really funny. We've improved it. It looks like a DS game. <laughs> why would I why would that work? No, that's what are you doing? As you get close to a hidden spirit, when you see a sign, you will see it. Wait, wait, wait. You will see a sign. When you see it, press the Z button. The mark of four spirits will appear. 
Press one of the C buttons to choose which of the spirits you wish to increase. You will need as, as much help from each of these spirits as you can get. Use the C button like this. Yeah, I'm totally going to memorize which direction each of these are. Yeah, definitely. Memorize these positions. I could just do that. Yeah, right? That literally memorize shows it. it. Why would I mem memorize it? Why does that look like a chest and isn't a chest? I don't know. But don't worry, Vox told us we're only supposed to level water until we're level 25. Right. And then we're only supposed to level earth until we're level 50. Oh yeah, that's a good point. We should just find out which one's water. It's the only direction we'll be hitting. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? When you get a second, pop up that menu again. Okay, down. Okay, down. Okay, was, I was down like, well, the other one's light blue. That might be water as well, that but is, I guess that's wind. That is green, my friend. Well. Yeah, there's so many doors in this hallway, and I swear on a retro roulette, we went in here and talked to each of them, and it doesn't fucking matter. Brian, the wooden scepter you carry and the magic spells you acquire throughout your journey are only the are your only means of defending yourself against encounters with enemies. So when you find yourself in the fighting over the enemies over the thing... Go on. <laughs> and then she, she just falls over because she was clearly having a problem. What? Brian's an epic name. I don't understand, chat. Why are I'm, you... I'm also surprised we don't get the name ourselves. I forgot that that's Yeah, that is case. pretty weird. That's, that's very strange. And then, right. and then your name's no. Brian. <laughs> yeah, you don't get to name yourself and your name's Brian. Once you get to water nine, once you get water to nineteen, you can start going for the uh, spirit duplication. Oh, is that when we get the spell that lets us use escape? Because the trick there is you stand in front of a spirit. You know, it, oh, it floats yeah. in midair. You start casting that spell and then bash the A button in the spirit, the element you want as you're teleporting. Jesus. And you hopefully pick it up and then you can run back and get it again. What a video game. I assume this is how this game was intended to be played. Everyone did this back in the day. Obviously. Obviously. Leave now, Brian. Marmaduke does not like Brian. In his last letter, Lord Bartholomew said he crossed Loch Kildre on the way to Larapool or Larapool. Be very cautious. Evil creatures lie in wait beyond these monastery walls. Evil creature? Wait, there's a monastery at the bottom of the castle? All right, sure. Anything up here we need to pick up? No. No, this is where you'd revive if this were a full RPG. <laughs> Was the party or something? Brian is a, a very deep and faceted character, right? He He's he's going to have so many layers that we learned. To, this looks so wrong with this filtering turned off. <laughs> Do you want me to turn it back on? This is how you all remember Quest 64, right? Man. What are you talking? No one remembers Quest 64. They watch streamers play it. <laughs> Hello, horsey. Nay. Nay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This should really say hey. I bet there's a spirit in there. Oh, oh, oh. Down C. Down C. Two. Two blue. Dan, I have never even heard of this before. What? I thought you were a gamer. Everyone knows about Quest 64. Chris, you rented it twice? I rented it once and figured out this wasn't a game anyone should ever rent. <laughs> I, rented, I rented it once and got chronic depression. Um, <laughs> I assume that's the normal Quest 64 experience. As you just go, man, this is literally like the most bare bones RPG I've ever played. Reminder, I've been playing RPG since the NES. <laughs> Yeah, I'm trying to think if I haven't played an RPG before this. I I was just super confused because seemingly nothing was in the game. <laughs> Europeans in here are wondering why you're calling Holy Magic Century a weird name. <laughs> Man, that sure is a better name than Quest 64, but... Uh, Chris says, I owned Eternal Eyes. One moment. One moment. I saw this around. I have no idea what this game is like. Oh, yeah. I also remember that cover because the eyes are creepy. Mitsu gave it a 24 out of 40. Oh, that could man. mean something or nothing. Yeah. 
usually it means nothing, but if it's that low, that's worrying. <laughs> Mm -hmm. These pixels are so sharp. They are. Everyone on YouTube's gonna be so happy this is in 4K, <laughs> just cutting their eyeballs. I'm glad they can appreciate it. Ladies. Shannon. Hello, Master Apprentice. I'm Shannon. I've been traveling hither and yon all over <laughs> Geltland. I see you're setting out on a quest 64-2. <laughs> I trust we'll run into each other along the way. See, in the Seventh Saga, uh -huh. that happens, and it's cool because it means anything. <laughs> no, I'm sure she'll be in every town just being like, I, hi, it's Shannon again. I like turning off the features that blur the pixels, but the texture filtering being turned off is weird. <laughs> it looks so weird. Don't, Don't you feel, feel tired, Master Apprentice? Please rest here for the night. We'll take good care of you. Will you stay? No. Someone around here's got to give us bread, right? Oh. Oh, hello, Joey. I want to be a spirit tamer just like you when I grow up. That's me. I'm a spirit tamer. And I tame I'm like the spirits. all of one year older than you and five times as many polygons. Right. <laughs> the kid's a little rough. Yeah. Brian, sometimes you will need to use the B button to adjust your view. B button. <laughs> mm. I'm a pirate. Those monsters out there don't scare me. I, look how tiny he is. Who's afraid of the big bad wear hair? Okay, okay. I mean, maybe you should be. I feel like a wear hair could gulp you down one gulp. Get all five of your polygons. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's no one. Is was that thing next to the fireplace a chest? I don't think so. Is it's like a small it. box on the ground. It's it's logs for burning. Oh, okay. Sure. Yeah, that's. All right. Yeah. Sure. Next to a fireplace. I get it. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Are you glad we're? Are you guys lucky we're here? Don't you feel glad? Because this music is at all tolerable <laughs> and not like the worst thing you've ever fucking heard. <laughs> Weird that Quest 64 has launched chat into a very long discussion of, man, Square sure didn't put out a single RPG on this godforsaken console. Whoa, I wonder, I wonder why, why that would be. Why would that be a topic of interest right now? Anyways, it's getting dark and my boys are still playing outside. I wish they would come home soon. Give me bread. <laughs> Please. I'm a simple man. Brian, when fighting, you will have two octagonal areas surrounding you. <laughs> the large octagon represents the entire fighting area. The small octagon represents your personal area of movement. Use your area of movement to avoid enemy attacks. If you move outside of the large octagon, you will have the option to escape the fight. It's an octagon. <laughs> octagon. Mario <gasps> yes! A fucking treasure chest! You better not be bread. Fresh bread! Look at this guy, he doesn't even want bread. I don't I don't know how we there's satisfied some, There's someone in this game who gives it like infinite bread. <laughs> yeah, but we don't have them yet. We have we have a single single box of bread in it. Which uh, damn, this game doesn't have equipment, does it? Like what do you want from a box? I don't know! Isn't there going to be, like, an escape item or something? Let's see. What do we even have on the sat screen? Oh, my God. It's wow. trying so hard it to is. scroll. Uh, we have a map. Uh-huh. The elements. I was like, why are we one on everything? Oh, that's a two in a horrible font. <laughs> Meanwhile, I was just staring at how water was 0% and none of the other ones even had a percent for some reason. There was a lot to be gained out of that pause screen. Yeah. What if, if you get bread, bread from the baker and then open the chest you can carry two? 
This is the legendary strap bob because that's the only way we will ever be able to carry two of an item. That's so stupid. Yeah, our bread run is ruined. Da 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 bippity up. Ooh, legally distinct battle music. I've never heard any battle music like this before. Order up. Yes, on what specific Can you not use the water pillow? Uh, there it is. Man, it's it, where uh -huh. it says empty at the bottom. I was like, well, I can't do anything. <laughs> oh, it, oh, it, it only right hits in directly in front of you. Okay. I'm sure this time you'll be close enough. Yeah, this is totally close to... No, it's not. Man, RPGs. They're pretty cool, right? Uh, yeah. Uh, not quite 54, though. <laughs> that was a very successful first battle. We just used a third of our MP gauge, missed 37 times in a row. Yep. Do it good. I was like, can I pull that out? Maybe that's a bread. <laughs> <laughs> bread came out of the ground like it's fucking... How does an AOE miss? Well, that's simple. It's not an AOE and the, the, uh, RPG mechanics. Uh, see, see, it's like Secret of Mana, right? <gasps> Look at that. It hit. And Incredible. you got your MP back already, basically. Wow. Picking wow. out here? Why, why the ocean's thinking? so fucking loud and angry. Uh, don't worry, Bippity Spiff. Boo. I, I, I talked to Vox earlier. Man, that guy's hilarious. We can't do that until we get to the forest anyways. Oh, he froze me in place. Or is that the sand here? Oh. <laughs> I was worried the controller disconnected. Nope. That's ice. I just... My, my butt is stuck to the ground because this game is just great. Come on, please. Please defrost. This is ridiculous. Maybe if I attack... Maybe, maybe hitting it with the stick. Could you hit it with the stick? No, because there's no prompt for the stick. There, it's finally gone. Oh my god. What a terrible well, game. Well, at least they didn't murder you during that. Yeah, they just hurt me a lot. That's all. Yeah, I was going to say, Vox, like, that, that forest seems like the easiest one, and it was really early on. Like, I know we hit that during our retro roulette thing, so... I wasn't going to worry about grinding it until we got there. All right, he's using ice attack, so he probably is not weak to water. Nosebleed's curious when we're getting quest 64 colon vengeance. <laughs> Considering Imagine you're probably shut down, I don't think we'll ever get that. Oh yeah, that's right. If we just do it at the beginning of every fight regardless. That does mean we need to cede the first turn to the enemy, which just went terribly for us as they froze Bob in place and beat the hell out of him. We may want to eat that bread. Yeah, probably. Or go back to the first town if that's uh, something you think you can swing. That is a, a good ways back now. If we if die, make... will we lose the bread? Yeah, I we'll... would assume not. That seems like a consideration this game wouldn't even think to have. Wow, you one-shot him. You're so strong. Yeah, I can do that to rabbits. Yeah, let's run back. Let's try. If I stay on the path, that means I'll be able to have some random encounters, right? Like Zelda 2, right? Mm -hmm. Please, yeah, totally. Please. Oh, no! Oh, Dogs! no. Oh, can they're gonna run? fuck you up. Oh, God. Oh, he missed. Escape. They were never real. I wish them away with my mind. <laughs> Brian looks like he could do that. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, man. That was a really successful journey. Yeah, we leveled up like twice. I'm feeling pretty strong. How are you feeling about our quest so far? Um, It's going to go great. I'm excited to see it. So that's, that's the end. What is this one? It has, it has a sign. Oh, well. Unfortunately, Brian's illiterate. <laughs> oh, I can't talk to you. Does money even exist in this game? Fox says, I'm going to go eat candy instead of play Quest 64. Have fun. Thanks, Fox. Enjoy your candy. 
Actually, Continue I'm say aware. yes. Back to the menu without saving. Yes. Okay, Mon that, money that. does not exist. Stores give you items for free, but only one. Oh, what a what a complete RPG. It has everything. So I guess this guy should give me an item. Ready to travel, are you? Fine, we'll give you some white wings. They'll bring you back to Melrod. Same time, it's important that you understand that wings will only work in wide open spaces. Take care. Man, that would have been helpful for getting mauled. <laughs> yeah, luckily we didn't need to use it. Now it's nighttime. This game has a day-night cycle, that's crazy. Chris says, don't worry, you definitely won't run into NPCs that were obviously party members at some point in development. Yeah, no. I, I, we already ran into one that there's no way that lady in the first inn wasn't a party member. No, she definitely, her whole role is to be someone who bumps into you occasionally. Yeah, that's why they have a full she, design. She, she explained that. They just really like making these cool ladies like Shilf and Shannon. <laughs> I'm glad you're drawing your quest because you have 63 more to go, says Dai. No! <laughs> Anything but that. These socks are really big and scary. Boop, but, boop, you know. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 So the, the opening was an obvious rip off of Star Wars. And now the battle musics are just this Final Fantasy music. What? What, are what, you is, talking about? what is wrong with that? I mean, to be honest, the Star Wars thing didn't bug me because a, a number of different things have done the, you know. Symphony of the Planets, but uh -huh. when I first rented this and the battle theme was like bootleg Final Fantasy VII, I got really depressed. I yeah. genuinely got deeply sad. That's fair. Like, this is the farthest game you could have from Final Fantasy VII. <laughs> the PS1 has so many great and beautiful and interesting JRPGs, and then I rent the only one on my N64 It's this. I can't express to you how much that floored me as a child. <laughs> hey, Shinji. Nobody's ready for the level of depression that Quest 64 can provide. <laughs> oh man, we went shot in dogs now. Breath of Fire. Oh, dewdrop. Uh, why did why did the dog have dewdrop? It was his drool. Is okay. That, that's good. I was thinking it might be some other fluid. <laughs> Breath, Breath of Fire 4 is like the Sistine Chapel of pixel art. It really is. Why they haven't ported, ported that is crazy to me. Yeah, I, I still feel bad they haven't played any Breath of Fire game. Yeah, that's crazy. I played 1 and 2 growing up. I didn't know 3 or 4 existed until way later, and I'm like, what the fuck? All oh, right, I did play I played Dragon's Quarter, and that's it. Oh, Because I was God. on PS2, and I had that. Ba -da 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 -da. Man, Genesis didn't really have RPGs either. Other than Fantasy Star, but that game looks so hideous, like... It wasn't encouraging. <laughs> it also had Lunar, kinda, because the Sega CD. Did it? Oh, yeah. the Sega, that doesn't yeah. count. The Sega what CD the isn't real. <laughs> what? The Sega CD is so real. Yeah, just convince your parents to buy you this thing. That <laughs> yeah! <laughs> what? The, I'm sure the expansion pack for N64 totally costs as much. Yeah, it Sega was. CD. It was totally as hard to find. Mm -hmm. I don't like this. Yes, thing. Fantasy Star Four looks really good, um, and I hear good things about Fantasy Stars plural. I just there's still a pretty big divide between SNES and uh, Genesis RPGs visually. Good job beating that hippo to death with a stick. Yeah, you that was uh, rough. You think you should use the wings or maybe the maybe. Maybe the bread? I feel like I'm really close to the next area. Let me check the map. Okay, okay now the yeah, trigger. A, oh, there we are. There, there oh, yeah, a... it's literally right next to you, and I think that's the lady who just gives you free bread to okay. your right. Oh, you think that's the right? I'm reasonably certain, because it was off the trail. Oh, yeah, there it is. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so I can read a map. Oh, my God. <laughs> you get mugged trying to get into the house. Uh, what's this? Oh, uh, oh. Oh, is this something where I... No, I need that. It's a spirit. Thing. I need that other thing to double duplicate spirit. Right? Yeah, you you need the escape spell thing. Travelers don't show up here very often. It seems that it isn't safe anywhere on the roads these days. 
Hmm, I see a future for you fraught with danger and challenges that no ordinary human could meet. Fuck you, Dan. I literally knew the Erksid composer in college and recognized him by ear when he did that Meta Knight arrangement. Please stop sniping me from orbit. What composer? I don't even know what you're talking about. I don't even know what you're talking about. It isn't clear, but your destiny awaits you at the end of the longest road. So she gave you nothing. nothing. Literally nothing. She's here. Literally Obviously nothing. would give you like some sort of readings or anything. Or Zet. Okay. And uh, that's not. That's pretty funny. They've decided to have instead nothing. <laughs> um. That's why I like that she just has her chin on the table. Hey, that's fair. I did that in school. My head's so heavy. <laughs> so heavy. So, Bob. So, are we warping back or... Let me see where Are you are. using a bread or warping back? You get to choose. You're, you're halfway to another house. Who even knows if that house offers you what you want of some sort of stay or bread? Uh -huh. Who knows? I don't know. I just know making a decision either way as quick as possible is probably the best choice. Yeah, God, the, the bread, corrupted so. pixels in the background in the middle. Yeah, that's on the, real hardware, by the way. Like right. I've seen that on a real N64. I don't know how to use items in this game. Okay, there we go. R. Wait, hand MP. Okay. Did someone in the first town give you bread? It was in a box in the first town. Right. So we can get a wing back. We can. Yeah, that guy just keeps giving you wings forever. I thought he said he gave you it once. Uh, they only let you have one, generally. All right, I'll, I'll trust you. I'll wing back. Mm, I, I didn't read anyone in chat saying they only give you one ever. Um, Masami, this actually was updated via the update all core. I may have a different script, though, like a newer script. The Inn in Any Town gives you a free fresh bread and do drop if you have none. Okay, so whatever. Use the bread. Bread! Yum, yum. I am sad that my fa childhood favorite game was canned. Quest 64 2? <laughs> what was it? What was your favorite if it was canned? <laughs> Presumably they mean the part where the 3DS capture card killed itself to avoid playing oh, maybe. that game. That's probably what they actually. Oh, man. <laughs> You're so strong. Quest 65. <laughs> Why hasn't anyone shipped a game that just ended with the number 65? I feel like someone's done someone that Someone has on to Steam. have done that by now. Best of luck with Quest 64. I'm sure Vox is thrilled you're getting to experience her favorite game. It sounds like Vox is going to go eat candy. I don't know. <laughs> He's not that happy. <laughs> camera turning is so slow. Who would put the camera turning on B? Like, people who have no idea. Like, I, I, I played a lot of 64 games. I think this is the only one like the B button. Yeah, 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 yeah that's no, what... I can't think of another one that's like B. I don't see why you would ever not use the magic. Uh, well, he's water type. Oh, okay. So, yeah, it did seem to do less damage than you hit him with a stick. When are you guys going to do the randomizer? I think you can make a reasonable guess when that will happen. <laughs> when have we ever done randomizers of anything, you could ask yourself. <laughs> Big mouth? Oh. Ah, now you are missing with your water magic. Seven. Or how much So, my one second. Do? When you bring up your move. Uh-huh. When you bring up your move, if you look at it. You're selecting the thing in the upper left. Uh huh. Water pillar level two is on the bottom. So if you hit down C right now, will it just swap them? Is that how this menu's? Yeah. Okay. Oh my God. Why is it like that? I don't know. All right. Well, level two is still seven still damage. Still seven damage. Okay. What? Well. <laughs> How's that even? Nine damage. Here we go. Also, uh, people are pointing out you can move to avoid attacks. Oh, really? Yeah. Unlike, unlike Parasite. Well, Parasite Eve, you can do that for beams. Ah. Beepy dee -bop -a -dee. I thought the the stove, you know, the fireplace behind him was a part of his hat. Oh my god. 
Farther along this road is, is Dondron and the Connor Forest. These names. <laughs> Don't get careless in the woods. A robber is about. Okay. Can I sleep here? Anything? Or eat some of your yellow texture? <laughs> Giant corn kernels? <laughs> I just need one. <laughs> Bitty boo. I know, it's a nightmare. It Eventually, is. the song ends, though, right? We get a different song that isn't Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Why would we get that? Oh, he wasn't ready for that. Or the stick. Dick. Oh, wow, two damage. You're so strong. Yes. Weird, it wouldn't let me move there. Yeah, it takes a moment to let you start moving. So some of these attacks, like the point blank ones, are just, you know, pretty right. undodgeable. You know the one feature in this game that's actually really good and helpful? Mm. Uh, when you end a battle, he looks the way you were looking when the battle began. Thank God. I oh. hardly even moved. What the heck are you guys doing here? Just being poop and bone monsters? I don't like that. Could he not? And, uh, poop and bone monsters who throw poop. Mm. Thirteen's a pretty big number. You probably should die from that, Mr. Enemy. Are you gonna have to hit down C every single time? I just feel like it does any different damage, though. Like, that was 13 even though I didn't select double two. Really? Yeah. If you run away, the camera doesn't reset. Oh. Does this game have any story? We're Brian. Sorry, Dougie Jones. <laughs> Dougie, Dougie Jones. Jones. Um... Our dad went after a dude who stole a book that that's called the Book of Ella Tale, which I assume is like this universe's Veggie Tales. Yeah, what was that? Uh, can you hit Don C? You have healing. Oh, now I have healing. Yeah, let's heal. Wow, four health. Yeah, impressive. I can't wait to get more healing spells. At the very least, you gain MP really fast, so right. you could keep healing as you run. Uh, <laughs> help. Okay, the B button still works it even. It still works in battle, but Jesus. Oh, I wonder why I did not like this game. It's, it's a mystery, okay. really, to everyone, I think. Spiff says, it's okay. Surely you won't encounter any dungeons that are hallways that look the same in both directions. Why would I do that? Why would they make a dungeon like that? That'd be silly. Nosebleed in chat says, Dougie on the quest to find Jade who gives two rides. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Oh. What an epic battle you're having. <laughs> Don't forget to heal. Yeah, yeah, we gotta do that. Yeah, Bob Baba made that tweet about uh that live action art. Oh wow, it only takes two MP each time. What? What happened? What did you hit down C first? No, I hit Okay, so you and by hitting Oh down C Down C's oh. your mag your water magic, which then maps randomly these things that are water Without spells to the these colors. different directions. Yes, like to change while they're all blue. still oriented as these other colors. What is wrong with them? No wonder this menu made no sense. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh no, you can do it again. Keep going. What are you doing? It only costs two MP. Yeah. You're gonna get fucking murdered. Well, what if I just run away? Well, you can't, you can't, you can't reach it. No, I'll do it next turn. <laughs> oh, that was expert, expertly done. Okay. I can't read this. <laughs> I thought it would let me click on it and let me read no, it. No, no, the left one is tree, the right one is box. I guess I want box. You love box, actually. Or be attacked by rabbits. One of those two. You know, if I escape, I can heal. Man eater. All right. Actually, I'm a little <laughs> Yeah, I uh, I think it's really funny that they have the Game Boy color 
like quest game. Uh huh. And that anyone would be like, oh, they ported it to the Game Boy Color. It's like, at that point, that is not a port. That is not a port. That is just a game they made on the Game Boy Color at the same time. That uses a similar character. That that That's all about Brian, baby. I need to know more about Brian. That's what I really came away with. Yeah, absolutely. With. Mickey Mouse. Man, this game looks so crisp. Yeah. By the way, for anyone who's wondering why the pixels are this sharp for an N64 game, this is totally what the retro tank makes it look like. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I told it to sharpen the textures and take out the D the blur. Yep. Is this book is this book real? No. Yakumo says it's a D-make, but actually kind of a remake because it's actually fucking finished, mostly. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have party members? People. Oh, hello. Uh, I thought I would treat you to a drop of morning dew, but you already have some. Well, next time, perhaps. Welcome, Welcome to our tavern. You must be hungry. Your journey ahead will probably be difficult. Please help yourself to some fresh bread. Fresh bread! Yeah, you could eat that bread, get that three HP, get another thing of bread. I mean, that's true. That's the game. Bread. That's how we eat bread. Yes. You left but, on a diet of just bread for your entire journey? It's bloated. <laughs> yeah, it's like a gluten allergy, too. <laughs> oh, no. It's intestinal track. It's in a terrible shape. They say the robber is using an old fort in the forest as a stronghold. It's dangerous to set foot outside the city while he is about. I'm a clay digger, but I can't go into the woods because of the robber. What do I do? Can't work. Can't work. Can't work. <laughs> can't work. Can't Definitely work. can't work. <laughs> <laughs> so the funniest thing is they have they have this whole town, right? Uh-huh. But why would we Brian is a funnier character than we've had before, and if we can get him working. <laughs> You're the Melroad <laughs> magician's <laughs> apprentice. Magician from Melrose, we're their apprentice, but I still feel put off by the M in Magician not being capitalized because if you're going to refer to... Anyway, aren't you? Your quest is very difficult. I'll give you yellow wings. Oh, they ought to Ooh. help. You must remember that wings will not work in the forests or caves. What the heck is the difference between a yellow and a white wing? He pissed on it. <laughs> no. <laughs> the skit can't tell. But yeah, it's like, wow, there's a whole city here. I got my bread, though, so I'm leaving. Heck, I don't even know if I can get down to the rest of it. Oh, my God. There's got to be a way, right? Okay, okay, here we go. I was like, there's no way. <laughs> Each wing is tied to a specific town. Oh, okay, my God. So now okay. we're just going to be using the yellow wing to get to piss down. Right. Even, even the king is worried about the robber. I heard he even sneaked. He sneaked. Sneaking? Into the castle. No one knows when the robber might come back again. I just hope he doesn't find our house. Father has hidden all of our valuable pottery just in case. Have you seen Princess Flora? She's a tomboy and is always getting into mischief. Exactly like the late queen when she was young. Bet she'll turn into a real beauty in no time. Wow, that would be a great party member for yeah. me to get on my team eventually. That would that would really rule. Yeah, We'd be like... sneaking into places all the time. <laughs> definitely, definitely not a party member. I don't know what you're talking about, Dad. I don't know why you would even say that. Why would you get a party member in an RPG? <laughs> Make sure to check every room in the castle to find another character that was definitely just there to stand in a room. <laughs> Betrayal. <laughs> Have you seen my husband, the potter? He's so depressed. I worry about him. People used to come <laughs> from far away to buy my husband's wares all the way from Limelin. Limelin. Limelin? And across the lock. But with the thief about, there's no one to buy our wares. Dubs. Shout out to the three, 3DS capture card for Harakiri to get self to save you for a while. 
I know, right? Order up. Yes, but what specifically is being ordered? It's weird. I've had all sorts of, like, so. massive critical failures of devices in the past. This is the first time I had that and almost had relief. Wait, 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 wait. Look back at them over there on your left. Uh, them? There's a spirit right there. Oh, there, there. is a spirit there. And you, little child, who are you to stop me from using the book of Elitale? Dougie Jones. <laughs> <laughs> the heck are you? I don't know. <laughs> oh, you're a tiny monk. Oh, you're Claire. My mother and father won't let me go out to play. It's because of the robber in the woods. If you want, I could go out and help you catch that guy, but Bob would make me sit in the corner for a week. Uh, no. Capture cards were banned in Japan, and the only person who was actually making them was in Japan. Uh, they were being resold through German websites and an American dude, but, uh, no one's- uh, no one else has ever actually made a 3DS capture unit. That's Clown crazy. world. Yeah. Oh, yeah, and it's at this point, it's worth noting, it was a horribly unstable device that never worked correctly anyways that dropped frames all the time. Yep. For some reason, no one can make shit that works. And if you don't want to believe me on that, if you want to believe this is me just being overly critical, go watch the My Life in Gaming video. They try to remain positive the whole time, and then at the end they just go, yeah, it, it drops veins constantly, so there's never been a good DS capture solution. Have you heard the news? A robber is living in Cotter Forest. We know. Yeah, we that's know. all anyone knows about. It's the only thing anyone's fucking talking. He's become so bold that he stole a precious treasure right out of the castle. It's unbelievable. You know, is this the castle? I think it is. It's big news, says Spiff. <laughs> you don't say. Big news. Big <laughs> news. Big news. <laughs> All right, let's find this princess. <laughs> you think you can stop me, Dougie Jones? Stop. <laughs> <laughs> no, I won't. <laughs> the throne is through these great doors. Yeah, they look okay. I yeah, guess. they're all right. You've been cleared to pass. <laughs> what? I guess. I even, I'm, I'm, the, are you checking if I can go into rooms before I'm even here and aware they exist? Why have you kept us waiting? We've had a serious robbery here, and the king has no time to waste, so be quick about it. Oh man, this king's like all rendered and, and whatnot. I can tell he's a human. I can tell the form of being he is. <laughs> so you are the master apprentice the Grand Abbot has written about. Welcome to Dondoran. I know you are searching for your father, Lord Bartholomew, who is missing on his quest for the Ella Tale book. I would like to help, but first I must take care of a most pressing matter. You may have heard of the brazen thief who stole the earth orb from my secret treasury. I sent my troops in pursuit, but they were helpless before the thief's black magic. Now he blocks the road to the Loch Kildry. Hilderay, if you are to continue your quest, the roads must once again be made safe. Okay. Okay. Orb. How did you know that? <laughs> yeah. Safe. Safe. <laughs> oh, there's a door. I was like, there's gotta be something. Ducky some Jones is just a JRPG protagonist. <laughs> yes. She Ooh. has the power of a god. What we got? Fresh, fresh bread. bread. Two fresh breads. Wow, we have so many fresh breads. Come on. Come on. We can do this. We can figure this out, man. Okay, there we go. Three fresh breads. I bet it's only two. Bring up your item menu. <gasps> it That's is three. three. Wow. Is this going to be four fresh breads? Do uh, drop. Okay. Okay. WTF Ninjas again says, I've never seen this game past the forest. I'm so excited to see that. Yeah, why would anyone play any farther? Yeah, about there you start to realize I don't care anymore. <laughs> this game has literally nothing in it. <laughs> Chris says, guess you better hop on putting custom firmware on your Wii U, Dan. Could you imagine if Sonic Chronicles worked on that? I even, I'm going to be honest. If Sonic Chronicles worked on that emulator, if it actually worked uh -huh. and people went, I have confirmed you can beat it this way in a heartbeat. In yeah, a yeah, that, that almost certainly the easiest way to actually do it, if it worked. Yeah, 
it's to the point where maybe the fan community should step in and try to patch that emulator to work for Sonic Chronicles, because... Mm -hmm. I mean, even if it's the worst Sonic game ever made, it's still a Sonic game. It's still that's a Sonic game. It's still a Sonic game. It's a game that starts the, with the word Sonic. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it doesn't have full Sonic the Hedgehog. No. No, okay. No, Sonic Chronicles The Dark Brotherhood is a bit long of a title. You don't want to put Sonic the Hedgehog Chronicles. That's kind of like a lot. Yeah, yeah no, that's part of the Hedgehog Chronicles series. Nobody wants to deal with that. <laughs> checking upstairs before we go. Is that like the Cat Warriors thing? Is there like the Hedgehog Chronicles? <laughs> is there is there a wiki how on how to design my own hedgehog from the Hedgehog Chronicles? Probably. What does the prophecy have in store for Corny, the Hedgehog? <laughs> this castle is huge. Oh yeah. Yeah, they built a whole castle. Who knows why? There's nothing in it except for people who maybe should have been characters. I don't like you. I don't like you. You startled head. me. I thought you might have been the thief coming back for more. <laughs> did you? Did you have sex with me? We never suspected <laughs> that one man could pose such a threat to our castle, but his magic was overpowering. The castle guards went after him, but they were no match. I am still nursing my wound. When fighting. Solve the ring? Oh, man. These names try to avoid his close range attacks. Count for that. All right. It does too much damage for such a small lad as your. <laughs> That's such a weird thing to say. It does so much damage for such a small lad as yourself. That's not a thing a human would ever. All right. Not. It's too dangerous. No. It's too harmful. You're it's too, too devastating. You're too small. It's too much damage. <laughs> If you were an adult, I would be like, yeah, you deserve it. <laughs> You're a child. Child, he will straight up deplete your hit points. <laughs> Whoa. I accidentally hit a C button. Nah, uh, it happens. A random dude. Hassert. <laughs> Since a thief broke in here just recently, everyone who comes in has to be identified. I'm sure someone from the monastery can be trusted. Okay. Trusted. Trust. <laughs> Salva Ring's movement octagon is huge. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I didn't find the princess in any of those rooms. Oh. <laughs> One moment. Yes, I am. Yeah, kind of. Oh, wow. Well. Oh, wait, I think that there was maybe one more door upstairs I didn't get. Oh, yeah? Maybe. Don't worry. People, people know we're going to blitz through the rest of this so fast. They're okay with you trying to find secrets. <laughs> Maybe behind the throne? Behind the throne? Oh my god. All right. If there's anyone I trust in my JRPGs, it's the local religious authorities. Well, that's good. They're always trustworthy. This is like a preview of what dungeons will be like later in this game, so please enjoy. Yeah, great. Yeah, did you go through the door on the... Ooh, what? that looks... I guess that'll come up later after we get the thief. Yes, but yeah, I want you here once. Uh, I don't okay. remember if anything. That's what yeah, I thought, one yeah. Room. yeah. Yeah, maybe we'll come back later, and mm -hmm. that's when we'll see the princess who sneaked. I assume she sneaked because she's so chaotic. Yes. And rambunctious. Is there a door on the other side? I don't know. Bob never turned the camera to the left. I don't think so. How would you know? Oh, okay. That fucking piano roll. There's something very specific it reminds me of because it's the most basic piano sound font humanly possible. Uh-huh. So, Bob, if you were to rank this... Okay, go on. How am I ranking a it? Among all Final Fantasy games ever made. 
I mean, it's better, it's better than a significant number now, I and mean, that's scary. I don't know about that. <laughs> I'm like, I haven't played Final Fantasy XII Revenant Wings on the <laughs> DS, but I know one person who loves it, so... <laughs> Oh. Chat, any of you ever fucking played Revenant Wings? <laughs> How do I escape town? <laughs> uh, you were heading the right way. Go, go back, go back. To the right. Air door out this way? Oh, wait. I yeah. thought that was it. No, that's the castle. That's the castle again? Yeah. I okay, looked down it's that for... door all the way over there. Okay, I looked down for a second. I didn't realize you literally ran a circle. <laughs> Alright, because this dead end there. <laughs> <laughs> <That's... laughs> Okay, God, I never expect these, like, oh, it's going to turn a corner and then well, go down a hill. this side goes to the front of the building. That side helps you escape from Dondoran. There we go. I think it's really dumb. Oh, right. This, this is dead end, too. Yeah, I need to actually go up. No, 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 not in there. I'm, I'm, I'm Pete. Come back. Or Claire. He yeah, looks I think that like was Claire. A, he looks like a Pete. Yeah, no, I definitely... it's a Claire. It's the same fucking model. <laughs> All kids look the same when you throw monk clothes on them, I guess. <laughs> okay. People are saying they enjoyed Revenant Wings. Wait, no. No, that's just one person. Never mind. <laughs> I remember wanting to play it because it looked neat. But Yeah, was, I was very uh, curious. But I'd never finished 12, so I was like, well, I'll spoil it. <laughs> sure. Oh, no, dogs. Do you, uh, do you recall which place in that town gave you the yellow wings? Yeah. Okay. That's good. I feel like we're gonna have to use the yellow wings like, just a few times. Why would it, why would it have a separately selected level? For level two of your water pulse, if it's doing the same damage. I don't yes. know. Like, it is doing the same damage. You confirm that on multiple different enemies by now, right? Yeah, I did that several times a while ago. That time I had used nothing but level two, though. So. Okay. And you're getting so strong. Yeah. Wow. I it's all the bigger. Down. So it would hit more enemies. Thank oh you. My God. All right. Unicorn Overlord having the Gambit system proves Fall Fantasy 12 heads won. Mm, not really. <laughs> I'm going to have to see cutscenes that look like Star Wars prequels for me to agree. <laughs> also, it doesn't feel like it has the Gambit system at all. Can, but you, can you line it up in between them and hit both of them with the... I doubt it. I bet this will miss bows. Let's see. Oh, oh, no, it is. Oh, look at that. That's the tech. Because to be like the Gambit system, it has to be inefficient at uh, being automatic combat. Don't forget to heal. Because you have a healing spell. That's true. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Sure would be nice if we had healing level two. Yeah. Are there only four spells per element in this game? Probably. I'm going to fucking lose it. That what might is... be the most Spartan thing in this entire game. They're like, we have 16 spells. Fuck you. That's it. <laughs> no, there are more. Thank God. <laughs> I was literally going to lose <laughs> it. Okay, so if I remember correctly, uh -huh. the strat is you leave the forest, okay? Okay. You get into the first battle that's out there, and you're bashing the, what was the end turn button, which I believe is A. Yeah, it's A. So you spam that so fast, it skips your turn. And because of that, it will think your range you've traveled on your next actual turn is between this map and the battle. Okay. So go, so, so leave, the, leave, leave the forest, get in one okay. battle. <laughs> The science got hands, and you just need to be bashing that A button. I don't think they'll fight you in this enclave because it's too tight. Oh, yeah, we could pause and look at your agility to make sure this works first. Okay, you have 10 agility, 16 experience. All right. 10 agility, 16 experience. Got it. <laughs> and then on that day, they decided peace was necessary. <gasps> 
Okay, I think that worked because it just looked like they went, and right. that's how that will work if you do it correctly. Okay, kill them. 10 and 16. Don't let the ADD take it away. <laughs> it will. It might. I feel like I'm going to be good at the beginning of the stream. The only mental fatigue I've had so far was setting up the 3DS capture unit for hours and then it breaking at the very last step. Yeah. Okay. And Let's now we can it. check the menu. Oh, Ooh. nice. And if it that's, that didn't, yeah, that didn't 10 and 58 doesn't seem like it worked. So that's back weird. Back to the forest and then back out. Uh-huh. That's weird. Bo, 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 bo. So it's 10 and 58 now. Watch, it's going to end up being a thing where it's like he went... Oh! They have to be fast enough to go f before you for this trick to work at all anyway. Oh. That's, whoa, wait, you got a new spell back there. Oh, I did. Yeah, hit B. Soul searchers? Soul s all right. All right. What? Yeah, so really, we don't want to have the battles out here. We want to have it in there where there will be more likelihood of spawning an enemy that's faster than you to begin with. That's true. I'm already so swole. Yeah, okay, so yeah. we should do that. Don't forget to heal. He's so strong. Soul Searcher is just a scan spell. Yeah, that's kind of how it sounded. Anytime you have search in the title of your spell, that... The vibes that gives off. Man, this this filtering being turned off is hilarious. Did they tell you how fast I could run? Run, a run around. <laughs> run around. Yeah, I constantly wonder with this game, it's like, what if this area is like hard-coded to not spot enemies because they couldn't get it working? Er. What, what, what? All right, I can't actually read these. You so can't read signs. Box and... Xbox and... Okay, so that should have maybe done it. Like, it looked like he just went. Uh. Huh? It's funny because I know... They're supposed to be dogs, but they kind of look like rabbits. Like, the ears are so pointed no, in a way that dogs aren't. Okay. No, no, I don't think this is working. Uh, You can pick up that spirit, though. Yeah, let me heal first. Yeah. Order up. Yes, but what specifically is being ordered? Uh, the 3DS capture card being a piece of shit is what killed the 3DS capture card. But if you want to blame <laughs> Sonic Chronicles, I'll let you. Yeah, I was like, did he even boost Sonic yet? <laughs> Uh, yeah, I did. Okay. I got to watch the intro cutscene a number of times while I was making sure everything was set up. Should we keep trying to do it? Like, should I go I back don't to know. the screen? I don't know. Sure, let's let's try it a little bit longer, but, you know, at a certain point, it doesn't make a ton of sense. Especially since we're faster than most people, and that may actually be our problem here. Right. Yeah, the opening cutscene was too ugly. It fucking killed it. <laughs> yeah, those things have to be faster than you. Okay. This is scary. Oh, yeah. Oh, well, he's using wind attacks. Hopefully he's like a wind type, so not resistant to water. Right. Hell yeah. Water pillar two. Whoa, what an epic attack from Brian, the hero of our story. Everyone loves Brian. Oh, I was looking down. That thing's named Mary and Nasty. That's pretty good. Please. Miss. <laughs> Brian. Brian, please. What's Mario like? Put in 3D. So when's Rig playing Quest 64? Yeah, hasn't he yet? It feels like he should. I, I feel like it should have happened, but I don't think it did. I don't think he's played Quest 64. I think he saw 64 in the title and ran. But maybe, maybe he played Quest 64 and I just forgot. Or wasn't there. 
Darn frog. Yeah, no, he's so strong. Is your stick stronger? Actually, it was, yeah. It's seven damage with my, oh man, my, or with my water magic. We're going to have to use bread or... Yeah, or we, should, we should use... return to town because we're also low on MP. Right. Um, Real quick, though. Mm. Yeah, 11? Yeah, no. Man, this is just not working. Red! The trick to raising defense is to find enemies that do... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we were trying to grind agility. I actually watched the Vox tutorial right before this and had a conversation with her on how it's supposed to work, and for some reason it's just not working. I have to wonder if there's a different button that skips your turn, like Z. Oh, maybe. That may have been the thing. That may have been why. Then you have to run from the first battle? Is that what's up? One moment. Order up. Yes. This may drop frames, so... Cat, don't scream. It's dropping frames. It's dropping frames. Because if it starts dropping frames, I already told you. I know. Bum, ba, da, ba. Man, I bet we're going to get some legendarily good magic any second now. Oh, of course. I don't know why her game looks so different from ours, Bob. Like, all the textures are blurry instead of these delightful squares that have been laid out in our video game. Ooh, a box. In the box. Yeah, I still entertain. Bob could be hitting the A button so fast it's not working, but... <laughs> We want to know. Do drop. Dude. Drop. If you're watching the VOD, be sure to let Dan know there are frame drops around 106. Thanks, Smith. Oh, I can't open this? It was really funny. I, uh, I only really briefly, like, seconds, just glanced at Big Think Dimension comments today because, you know, I had enough to set up with the... Yeah, right. With the capture guard that killed itself. Um, which, by the way, I'll tell you guys how it killed itself in a second here. Um, but, so I very briefly check on the comment section, and somebody was like, I think it's really important to play the games and form your own opinion instead of just taking what people say as your opinion. And I'm like, yeah, I've literally told people that numerous <laughs> times. Most of our streams are full of me saying, hey, we're just here expressing how we feel about a thing. Go try it yourself. But then I realize after the comic goes long enough, I'm like, is this about Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? <laughs> First reply definitely is. Second reply is how they think Grand Blue Relink has the same problem we criticize Western games for, for only having small percentage gains. Then the second replier comes in to tell that person they're wrong, and I'm like, oh boy. This sure was a moment in comment section history. Yeah, I know. Our opinion's wrong because it doesn't match uh, that commenters or any commenters, so we're just wrong about everything. No, I actually, um, if you want to, Relink has a stat node that's 500 attack. I know! <laughs> There's a massive difference between Suicide Squads, do this, get your combo meter this high, and under this specific circumstance, you get a 3% more likely blank, <laughs> and here's 500 attack. There's a little bit of a difference there. No, it has any that are that, so all of them are that. <laughs> so that was that was pretty funny. Um, I think my favorite, like, eternal comment that is just like, what a bad comment, is the one where it's like, this guy expressed a, an opinion that I hate, and I assume you all share it because you didn't bark like a dog when he expressed it. And I'm like, yeah, he that was his opinion. <laughs> These are my friends, and I want them to have a space to fucking express what they think about a fucking thing. Why would I just start barking at them like a dog because I don't <laughs> agree? That's insane. That is insane. <laughs> yeah, they, they're the only ones who's play, been playing that in the last four years. Yeah. Why would I talk about it? <laughs> Why would I talk about it? That was four years ago. Everyone on Big Think Dimension now has to bark like DMX when they disagree. <laughs> oh man, I wish I could do that. Giant's shoes! Where do I equip those? They're for shelf. Okay. She has very big feet. <laughs> Does this come up? Do we do we need to certain camera angles or is this important? Do we put I the mean, shoes on she, her? She basically looks like 
<laughs> she looks like a weird H because it's just the top shelf and the bottom shelf. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know. It's it's weird. <laughs> Every big thing should be a seven hour screaming match. <laughs> yes. <laughs> giant shoes. Take giant steps in battle and double your range. Oh wow, that's poggers. Um, the interesting thing is like technically this trick we're trying trying to do doesn't need the screen transition to work. Oh no. As Vox was saying a moment ago, we really could be trying it at the beginning of every normal battle, and it would just take that last area we ended the last battle at. And oh. then count that as the distance we've moved. Huh. Um But do we need to escape or anything, or is it just uh, real gay? No, I okay. re-looked at her tips and she didn't mention that at all. It's literally what we're trying to do. I don't know why it's not working. Once again, Z could end the move as well. And let's, it could be that button it. instead of A. Because in the VOD, she doesn't say A. She goes to start to say A and then she changes it to the button that ends turns. Because mm. Vox isn't using an N64 controller. She's using some controller that's been mapped to the Mr. for N64 stuff. Okay, I didn't find anything in here. I, I, others in giant shoes and a door I can't open. Uh, Masumi says, I really think that in order for Dan and Bob to form a proper opinion on Finding Nemo on the Nintendo GameCube, they need to play it, Bob. Any thoughts on... Oh, no. I don't want to form a proper opinion on that. <laughs> Clearly, all Gigaboots podcasts need to be designed like the nerd crew. No, Big Nerd Sam. These people think we're the nerd crew because we're not barking at each other. <laughs> Man, I got level three water pillar. Look at that. Wiping them out. But yeah, no, it's it's such a weird thing. I don't know. Like to me, the strength of what you do as a podcast as a group of people is that a different number of people come together and express their differing opinions on a thing and a conversation comes about from the different perspectives you have and the individual nuances of perspective, right? Uh -huh. So why in God's name then would I just start barking when someone says something that is subjective uh -huh. that I disagree with? Oh, oh, got to turn the right way. Like, ooh. That's that's a big puddle. Yeah, it is real big. The big puddle good. I think the only time anything remotely like that has happened was when it was something that was objectively not correct. Like the only time I ever talk up about that is like, oh, they missed something. Mm -hmm. Right. Uh the forest and the other map work so well because they're a huge distance apart in game code. Yeah, that makes sense. In fact, it's probably your location data on each map. So it's not even that those things exist as different location spaces because obviously it's not all loaded in at once. It's probably that your spot at this entrance on this map and that entrance on that map, the coordinates for those respective maps make you a huge distance apart. Right. Podcasts are for, <laughs> Podcasts are for people who are miserable and hate each other. Damn Jesus. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What are they, sitcoms written for men who hate their wives? Like, <laughs> I thought it was more about you not trying Penny. I didn't try Penny because I didn't have time. Uh, I, so wait, you think the comment is them saying that I need to try Penny despite my co-host? Because yeah, of course. Right. Of course. <laughs> I love 3D platformers. Right. But I, my plate's so full right now that it, given their comments, you know, it kind of makes sense to push it off even a little. Yeah, my, my main comments is, is I'm sure people notice that game ain't done. <laughs> right, yeah. No, Bob, you clipped through the floor. That's a subjective criticism. Bob has influenced you to try not to not try so many things. He is powerful. Bob, can you please stop influencing everyone to stop playing video games? You're such an influencer. <laughs> I was God, I'm gonna puke chat. This chat oh this God. this arc is the worst one yet. I listen to podcasts when I think about how my wife left and took the kids. <laughs> oh hey! There it is. Ooh, we're getting there. Just ten more. Ten more levels. Clipping through the floor just means it's accurate to Dreamcast Sonic. 
Isn't that making it make more accurate to ports of Dreamcast Sonic and not original Dreamcast Sonic? Question mark? See, I don't know. <laughs> Four more before we can start doing the glitch. Yay. I mean, doubling up spirits is pretty poggers. That is pretty cool. Th that would be That would be good. So tiny. Yeah, to be clear, this is not a normal RPG for anyone who missed it. There's no equipment. We don't have a currency. The consumables are just handed us in town because it's some sort of super communist future. <laughs> We're, we live in a post scarcity uh, utopia. I mean, I you say that, but really, it's just, I'm the hero on an adventure. They decided I get bread. Yeah. That's all I get. Oh, no. The bread's, hey, it's probably fresh bread. It you is. Know, we didn't have preservatives back then. <laughs> back then. Maybe this is the future. We don't know, actually. Yeah, who knows? We just know it's not now. Um, You have a map, right? Yeah, but. Yeah, there's nothing. Oh, it shows not. It yeah, doesn't it show shows... Connor Forrest. No, at all. it just shows Fortress. I am in Fortress? Forest. That has to be I forest. only just now noticed it yeah. says fortress. What the fuck? I mean, I guess he set up a, a thing in here, they said, but like... I went up to a door that was in here and was it didn't have any prompts. I'm thinking oh, yeah. that's supposed to open somehow, though, because there's nothing else in this forest. Hmm. Hmm. Ah. Ba -do 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 -do. I'm like, we haven't even checked if it's been working. And then I thought about it. I was like, if it has been working, the number would be massive when you checked again. <laughs> and then we would know. Yeah, that doesn't seem too massive. That seems like it's tracking at a normal speed. Right. I'm surprised our defense isn't higher. You certainly are getting pounded in the face enough. Wow, it's just like when I was playing Final Fantasy VII middies. Yeah. Chad, is this like Final Fantasy XIV? You have to tell me. Chad, as your lawyer, <laughs> do not tell this man that this reminds you of Final Fantasy XIV. You can do in what way? <laughs> we, he doesn't know. He's asking you. Yeah, no, I need to know. Like the... <laughs> Apparently, too human was like, there are a number of people saying yes. Uh, what did I just tell you? <laughs> See if I attack the door. <laughs> I like that they gave him an animation to show they're trying to do a thing. <laughs> Susu Shia says, wait, this isn't Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> Yeah, I'm sure there's some guy named Brian in Final Fantasy XIV. Okay, well, maybe if we look at the sign, it'll tell us. There's a tree on it. Those don't seem to even be Japanese characters, so I can't even, like, pretend that it was legible in some region. Mm -hmm. <laughs> maybe this side of the door? Anyone just on too far on the right side? Yeah, not too far on the left side? At least we're becoming strong. <laughs> Vox is clarifying we do we need to be going first, so it was the opposite of what I thought, but I think you do have move priority on these guys. I don't know, they are I don't know about that guy. Yeah, they seem to be outracing me. Hmm. So I guess going back to the previous area now. Yeah. Now that we're insanely powerful. Right, yeah. So agile. <laughs> the wheeled guy says this game doesn't seem good, but it's not an assault on the senses like flop swap. So it feels like a seven out of 10. This is such a weird thing to say because I think you're rating the stream. <laughs> <laughs> You just show up and you're just like, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this stream a seven out of ten. And then you just disappear. <laughs> you can go somewhere else. 
Nice boob cam. Uh, yeah. 10 out of 10. <laughs> we go somewhere else. I should use level 2 or level 3. I've watched so much Fox playing the randomizer for this game that these songs will just play in random places, and it is absolute madness. Okay, here we go. This is going to be it. Uh, be hit, it yeah. hit. Well, actually, I wonder if pausing is causing the issue. 1469. Nice. Isn't Gigaboots normally a game 3 out of 10, stream 10 out of 10? That's how I would like to think of it. Yeah, I'm not going first. Hmm. Well, I mean, I think you would normally if you weren't bashing that button. Maybe. We got to do a test battle where you're not pushing it to find out. Yeah, this stream's a 64 out of 10. That's correct. That's just facts. Is this more finished a game than Skull and Bones? Well, there is an ending. Oh, we're at late 18 oh. now. I think oh, that wow. worked. That did work. Yeah. Because you got, what, one and a half points there? Because you were a 16, 69 or something? I think so. I think that's right. Chat. Help. I don't remember because I was talking to chat. Numbers hard. It's really hard to retain numbers when chat is full of numbers. <laughs> you were at 14. Yeah, okay. This is, uh, there we go. What an idiot. Uh, but yeah, I was telling Bob the real winning strategy for that live-action Naruto movie is for them to just shove the Naruto, you know, characters that everyone loves that wouldn't be in the Zabuza arc back in that. Because he's like, what are they going to do? Zabuza? That doesn't have everyone's favorite characters. They're like, oh, easy solution that they will totally do and will suck shit. What if everyone went to the, this random village out here in the boonies? <laughs> what were you, like, three whole team ninja? Yeah, yeah ninja three, team? Three, 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 three teams of ninja. <laughs> 1828. <laughs> that would be so fucking funny. That would be so streaming series. Yes. God. You know, that's being allegedly going to be worked on by the person who made uh, Shang-Chi. I, I got to watch Shang-Chi now. Uh, you mean after you finish Morbius? Oh, obviously. Okay. You know, I had the thought after... Um, we watched some of Morbius last night. Yeah, time. we watched nearly half of Morbius, which sounds funny because based on what all has happened that movie, you wouldn't think it's half done, but it was. <laughs> I was like, like several hours later, I was like, that was a weird ending to that movie, but whatever. I guess nobody liked it anyway, so why would the ending be, make any sense? <laughs> what if he just flew away? <laughs> Chat, I turned off Morbius because I was passing out. Did you check if it worked? Because it was 1828. It, didn't it did work. not work. Okay. Why is this not working? Do uh, you think you have to get a battle into a battle in uh, each cell? Oh, maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe we need to do a battle out here. Yeah. And then run back. Oh, no. Now it's nighttime in the forest. Um, but yeah, I was passing out in the heel. Jack, can we get an exclamation mark 3DS for John Apocalypse? Um, but yeah, uh, I was passing out because I had been up for 22 hours. Uh, so I was like, I, Bob, I can't find the 3DS and my brain literally hurts from how tired I am. I'll just do it when I wake up. So I wake up, I find the 3DS in no time at all. It was inside of a box of precious things, uh, like Amiibos. Mm. Uh, and it was a completely sealed box, which is why I didn't check it last night. It was still bubble wrapped and sealed. Yeah. Um, and then I did all the steps to set it up and then I broke. Anyway. Hey, Dan Bob. How's it going? Hope you're doing well. Oh my god, you were almost subscribed for 64 months in time for the Quest 64 stream. <laughs> oh my god. 63 months. Thank you so much for the support. I hope I hope today's treating you well. Is there any news about that DS consoleizer? <laughs> yeah, it's a fucking idea put out in the universe to cause suffering. <laughs> That's the fucking news. <laughs> Disappointed! 3DO stream still on the menu. Let's go. I'm going to be honest. If you can get me a working 3DO with S video, then I'll say thank you for the free shit. <laughs> <laughs> All right.
What, what, what are we at now? 21! That time it worked. Hell yeah. So that was the thing. Yeah, we gotta get thing. in a fight in each zone. That was missing in the instructions, I swear to God. <laughs> <laughs> there may have been a part of the VOD that said that later uh -huh. after the part I watched, but in the written instructions, I do not believe it said that. I, I feel free to say I'm wrong. I could be wrong. Chris says, just wait for the 3DO Mr. Core. I, I wish that was happening. 22. Did... Did that jump up again? Uh, it didn't jump up a huge amount. It went from 21 to 22. Okay. So I don't know what the percentage was, so it matter. It was only like 12. Oh, well, then that was a chunk. I guess it worked again. <laughs> the weird thing is, I think, yeah, much later in that VOD, she actually does explain it takes it the location from your last battle. Mm. But in the written instructions, I don't think I don't think she wrote that. And I think in the part of the VOD, it uh, didn't mention that either. What if three? Maybe just one. <laughs> oh, I meant the, the puddle spell, because it might hit all three. Right. It, Damn it. It only hit one. <laughs> Damn it. Damn it. Damn. Oops. That's too far. Huh. I'm surprised you survived that. What do you stream of the 3DO? Just bad versions of games? You know, honestly, yeah, the, the there are more interesting platforms than the 3DO. When will Gigaboot stream Virtual Boy games? Can you stream those? Uh, fun fact, I have the mod to put in a Virtual Boy to get video out, but our Virtual Boy is broken, and I don't know what level of broken. Like, maybe it's just the displays, but it's also the audio. Uh huh. So we would literally have to buy a new Virtual Boy and then ship this off and then pay to get it installed. And you can understand after how done I am with the retro scene why I might not do that. Yeah, no, everything involving real hardware is just a nightmare. It sucks. It's not so bad anymore, but I don't want to set off on a new endeavor. No. Like, the PS2 HDMI mod failing is why I ended up with the Retro Tank 4K. If that thing had worked, then I wouldn't have gotten that. Speaking of which, I am surprised I still know nothing about the Pixel FX Morph. Why are we uh, running around here? I'm trying to find where we're going. Oh, okay. You're not still grinding agility. Got it. There might be someone in the town who can help us. Maybe this is... Maybe I can go up that ramp. Do -do 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 -do. Is there a Virtual Boy mis in Mr. Core? No, of course not. If there was, then I wouldn't even be talking about how to mod this. Dan has become the video game joker. No, it's true. I am the retro video game joker. That is that is actually a fact. I mean, I think we got an ice knife skill. Ice knife! Oh, that's not a ramp at all. You're in a fight with an ice? Dan, it's time to record you dancing downstairs for an executive producer credits roll. Yeah, I'll just drive to New York. That won't take too long, right? Yeah, I'm actually looking at a picture of the princess you should have been able to find in this strategy guide. Huh. And it is at this part in the story, so... Should have been there. Uh, so I pulled up the strategy guide to see exactly what's going on and what you need to do. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go actually save and heal. You can save in this game? Yeah. Oh, uh, that ends. That's oh, it. Wow. wow. The more you know. Are you an in? You can have a picture of a barrel. Probably a tavern. Sorry, sir, we just sell barrels. You're the end. Here we go. Oh, it's her again. It's nice to meet you again, Master Apprentice. I'm surprised you made it this far so quickly. 
I assume you've heard that a robber is hiding in the forest not that far from here. He's blocked off the road to La Kildare. Just our luck. We're stuck here until the road opens again. Welcome to Dunder Dunderan, the town of pottery. <laughs> Master Apprentice, what can we do for you? What, won't you spend the night? Yes. This this didn't even has an upstairs. In four doors, Jesus! So many rooms. Hey, the princess is in one of these rooms. Is this the castle? No, this is the answer. Then the answer is no. Okay. <laughs> Feel free to check the rooms. No, Nothing's in these rooms, apparently. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, that's most of this game. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> most of this game is empty rooms. <laughs> it's like Silent Hill 2 over here, except for there was shit in the... Oh, my God. Oh. What is this fucking... Steve! Steve? I've just arrived here in Dondoran from across Loch Kildare, but there is a robber in the woods and there's no way to get back. Oh my god, everyone in this fucking... Yeah, no, the, the robber in the woods. I looked all over the... Nobody was in there. The door is locked. You guys have lost your minds. So, Bob, I'm kind of losing it. It In here, it uh -huh. says, after opening the gates... And I'm like... How do, how, do, how do we do that? Was there just a part Bob needed to hyper-specifically click on that thing to open it? Because that sounds like Quest 64. Yeah, maybe. I, I mashed the A button all over it, but maybe I somehow missed it. <laughs> Smith says the door is the blocked way to kill the ray, and Yankee Canuck says, be careful, there's a robber in the woods. <laughs> you don't say... Right, Robert in the woods. Yeah, right. Who would believe that? Nice try. What is your, uh... What is your max HP right now? 62. Oh, shit. Yeah, I'm this super strategy, power level. This strategy guide's like, make sure before he attempts to defeat Solvering that he has 75 to 80 HP. Whoa! I mean, that'll solve the problem, I guess. Uh, anything new? No. 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 You gotta have 64 match max HP. Hell yeah. When saving, be sure to use at least two safe slots for saving your progress. Otherwise, you might find yourself in a no-win position without a previous save game to fall back I'm on. So full of robbers, young. <laughs> Thank you, The Woods, for a $4.20 <laughs> donation. <laughs> yeah, that's a good point, Bob. This game does have soft locks, so we should be saving in two slots and just alternating which one we're using that's just insane. in case. I thought there were so little happening you wouldn't need to. Uh, the wings. Somebody warned us earlier. That uh, there's a very specific point or two, I guess, in this game where you can use the wings and soft lock. He's real gay. Oh, is there? There's something under there. Huh. Scrunt. Fuck Who do they keep in the basement, Bob? This is the princess. Uh, we are going to check out the September lineup to see what huh. else is on the way. Chat, can you believe there's another empty room in this castle? Yeah, that seems weird. Are you sure that's the case? That doesn't seem right. Okay, so Bob, I'm going to ask you. When you went in the forest, uh -huh. there was a path to the left and a path to the right. Yeah. You followed the path to the left all the way to the end, correct? Yeah, the path to the left only took me to the, uh, the, the little house with the giant foot. Or sorry, giant shoes. Uh, that, that house appears to be barely down the left path. Are you sure you followed the left path all the way to the end? I guess I'll go check again. Is Bob looking for the princess again? Yeah, he was looking for the princess again, since he was back in town anyway. She's not real, though. You no. can't trick us. <laughs> they had so small, such little space 
to fit the sounds, but they went sleigh bells. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna need that. <laughs> I wonder where your last fight position was. It should count conversations as fights. It should. Cause you you know how you be caught up in the in the danger of the conversation <laughs> with the people. I am level 29 agility now, so that's good. That is pretty good. <gasps> Where hair? I don't know, you saw him last. Don't! <laughs> Darn dabbing we, rabbits. We still have it. I know, it's so funny. Uh, we still haven't hit level, like, healing spell two. No, but we got, we got Ice Knife. I haven't used it yet. None of these guys deserve it. It's too good for them. It is. I am curious if this has, like, like a diagram of all the spells. Let's see. Yeah, it does. Back on page 109. Let's see. Healing gets stronger as your water level gets higher. But there's no, like, heals too? I guess there's... I'm... Okay, there is. It's way later in the game. Ah. Uh... But since, you know, we're just getting a stronger heal as we go, because, you know... Ice knife. Oh, good. Boo -doo 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 -doo. oh, he's actually frozen now. That's cool. Did it do any damage? Or did yeah, it, just... it, it did 16 damage. Oh, man, that was sick. You showed them. But yeah, you followed this road to the end. Well, let's check this one, because I could have sworn I did, but maybe not. Maybe it just wrapped around in a weird way because the camera was odd. forget to heal. Of course. I like that there's a whole animation and I have to watch it. <laughs> and then the Mario Mary and Nasty showed up behind you. Yeah, that's great. Now, how far can the ice knife go? Oh, nice. It is nice. Luckily, MP comes back really fast in this game. Right? I always like RPGs where it's like, nah, your main character is a spellcaster and he just gets a bunch of spells. Yeah, that's why everyone likes Orphan. The fact. That was almost today's stream, but then I found my Blu-ray of Orphan and I was like, oh man, I should watch this and before we play the game so that way it could be like, wow, this sure isn't canon to that game, kind <laughs> of, sort of. Yeah, that game has the Hand of Pyro. This game doesn't have any spell that cool. No. It doesn't have Quinn and Flynn yelling spell names, so <laughs> it's just clearly a way better game. Or a way worse game. Stop. Wow, he hit you with a spear and shot a tornado, and he missed with both. That's really depressing. He's I trying, almost feel okay. bad for him. Almost. Boop! Yeah, the kid, he's a dangerous warrior. He uh, casts spells and hits you in the dick with a stick. What's up? It faces you it the way you were going. It did, but it felt wrong. I'm starting to understand why we couldn't follow the left path to its end. I'm sure this would look really good with the, fi the filters for the uh, textures oh, yeah. on it, and it only looks bad because of the mode we have it in. Mm -hmm. So, hey, Bob, hey, I'm in no that? rush, obviously. What did you want to do for food lighter, though? Huh? I don't know. Yeah, me neither. Yeah, if I had ray tracing, then it would look perfect. Yes, that's what's really this. God, guys. What it's, is this encounter rate? It wasn't rate? even one step. What, what is this encounter rate? Ice knife. Fresh bread, says chat. Yeah, Bob, do you want to eat fresh bread? No. <laughs> but Bob, that's what all true adventurers <laughs> eat. They just eat fresh bread. That's it. I ran into a YouTube video that was like, here's how to make some delicious morning toast. And I was like, oh, God, I want that so bad right now. Because they made fresh dough. Oh, geez. And then they pushed in the center of the dough, put an egg on it, chives, like uh, green onions, shitload of them, of course. 
You know, the big like leek like mm. almost green onion tears type thing. So a bunch of those and then ham and then cheese. <laughs> and they sprinkled some sugar underneath the egg on directly on the bread. And then they flipped it over and they did two discs like this. And I was like, ah, oh, I wish. You killed that plant by watering it. Yeah. And <gasps> overwatered That's it. That's a spirit. Oh my God. And now we're high enough level to cheese these spirits. Incredible. Man, our travel speed sucks in this game. It really does. I can't help but notice every time you've ignored the suggestion to get 50 nugs and gotten other fast food you've been disappointed by, says Spiff. Maybe I don't want to just eat 50 chicken nuggets. Yeah, like, that's the McDonald's thing, right? Uh, that was the Wendy's thing. Okay. I don't know if I trust Wendy's here. I mean, I had their nugs. They were fine. They were better than the McDonald's nugs, frankly. Okay, that's good. Because the local McDonald's, I've ordered nugs from them like once, and they kind of fucked it up. Bump, 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 bump. 64 chicken nuggets? One moment. That's pretty compelling. Compelling stuff. What a catastrophe. Man, this game has so much gameplay. Yeah. Man trap. Are you looking for six? <laughs> no, no, I'm trying to get to the level. He's trying to look for the end of this one road. You could freeze both. Maybe. It'd be fucking weird if the game was like, no, you're not allowed. Don't cheat. <laughs> uh, no. Oh, what? It is a random chance. What? Let's kill you first. Yeah, kill the one who could actually hit us. <laughs> Ow. Oh, wow. That wasn't strong enough. Why did we get a second turn? I guess I'm that fast. He disassociated. <laughs> Luge. McDonald's nugs are garbage everywhere. No, they're not. They were actually good in Niceville. No, they weren't. McDonald's nugs are bad. <laughs> no, this man's crazy. Go listen to the nugget discussion on that one game of the year. But no, oh like God. I moved up here and they didn't know how to like fully fry the nugs. It was fucking strange. And part of me went, oh, right. Every McDonald's in Niceville and all the surrounding areas are run by the same company. <laughs> so, of course, there's going to be deviation. Fuck. That hadn't even occurred to me because they were all so consistent. Mm-hmm. But I don't know. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try the nugs from the McDonald's around here again, just to you know, you just to be like sure. be sure that it wasn't one cook who fucked up. Oh, bo, 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 bo. We will escape this one. I'm, I'm worried we're gonna get jumped in like ten feet by the bad guy. We should heal. Sure. Ooh, okay, how do you... Oh, but this is at the end of the era. We don't want to use the something where we might warp all the way from the beginning. Yeah, fuck that. Go ahead and just pick it up. We can deal with the loss. What's over there? Bishop says, you know what sucks? Popeye's nuggets genuinely suck ass. They're terrible. I don't think I've ever tried Popeye's Yeah, nuggets. I don't think I've tried their nuggets either. Oh. oh, man. I actually... Ask if they can be overcooked a bit. Morgan, this isn't a fucking restaurant. It's fast food. Right? There's no, like, send this to the chef and request. <laughs> like, that's... That's not happening. I was like, I'll save. Oh, wait, I can't save. Then that's again, good. if I order as many as come in the bag, you know, because they're just opening a bag and dumping it. <laughs> What's this? What business do you have in the castle of Solverin, King of Beasts? Did that fool in Dondoran order you to come after me? Idiocy, I stole the Earth Orb and it is all mine. This is such good dialogue. The Earth Orb, oh man. Yeah, he took it. With it, I'll become the ruler of Canashire. I'll show you humans what real power is. You're definitely not a human. No, he's a rat. Giant rat. Solvering, known rat. Uh, can you ice knife him? Maybe. Ice knife. Damn. Well, it's a good thing that missed. This song is fucking garbage. All right, we'll just use regular attacks. Then. Yeah, I'm worried since he's a boss dude, he won't. Right. Oh, wow, that's a pretty big explosion. That was unavoidable. Pretty much, yeah. It filled your entire octagon. Yeah. Yeah. 
Oh, I guess if around. you run past him to get behind him at the far end of your octagon, of course, when he attacks, yeah, yeah. right? Yeah. Hey, hey, and if I can attack him from a distance, like if I use level three, will I hit him? Uh, pass, run past him mm. because it his, like his hit's going to be in front of him. If you have a chance of escaping it, it's behind him because it's centered on... But yeah, no, no it's, it's, it's just absolutely just going the entire Yeah, no, it's just going to hit you every fucking time. Um, can I eat bread? Yeah. <laughs> you can ha eat a bread. So fresh. This music is bad even by N64 standards. Yeah, this yeah. music is rock bottom even by N64 standards. I wonder they might have so much health. This is ludicrous. Yeah, this isn't even like... There's like no... St uh, oh. Bob... Luckily, you did that move. You you should eat a bread. I don't think I have any more bread. I guess if I use the giant step, that's I would be able to true. Walk you could run really far away. This is ludicrous. This will kill you, right? Or you'll miss. You'll miss entirely. All right, what happens when we die? No wonder they want us to have so much health. Yeah, that's absurd. So we have the same... Check your uh, inventory. Is your inventory on this No, screen? it's not on the series at all. Okay. Yeah, it's the same stuff. I guess I'll go get some bread. Uh, can you stay at the end to fill your health bar? Oh, yeah, I guess Because you would have to eat two breads to fill your health bar. So we didn't lose anything by dying there. The trick with that guy is to stay far away because his ranged move is easy to dodge. We can't really... I guess I could ice knife him. Yeah, yeah you can just have the ice knife battle. He's just like, please stop that. <laughs> no, no, no. Why? Why? You're like, hello, can I stay here? They're like, yeah, you're the adventurer. You can have anything you want for free. You grab the bed and drag it out. <laughs> this is coming with me. <laughs> out. There's the oh, these sleigh bells. They fucking whip, man. They're great. They were cooking with this one. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Yay. Fresh bread. Fresh Dougie Jones. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna get a soda. I'll be right back, guys. <laughs> Okay, I'll try. Now that we're just going, walking all the way back. I'm not even in the forest yet. <laughs> Could he not use a healing spell? Well, if you use a healing spell, it only heals 10 health, and he just does 15 damage. Yeah. He's a water type. No, now my water damage is my water attack to do more more damage to him than my fit my staff does, even though he's a water type. Someone donate for the switch to skull and bones. That won't work! It's over! Alright. Water filler level three. There we go. I honestly wonder, or I, I kind of doubt that if, if they did manage to release that N64 disk drive, that we would get more RPGs. I feel like the, everyone thinks we would. There might have been in production ones in production, but I feel like they just wouldn't have released. Oh. Ow. That was a lot.
every other step is a frog knight. Oh, I should have ice knifed him. I wonder if on the other uh, spell pass, so I get even nearly this many spells. Obviously, you wouldn't want anything else because you need healing. Like, not having the healing spell would just be make the Nightmarish, game nightmarish. Yeah, it literally would make it impossible. Right. Um. But you were saying if the other pass have as many spells. Right. Um. It seems like they give it to you at even like amounts. Okay. Um. Also, as people were mentioning earlier, and I kind of saw in that strategy guide, but didn't really look too much into. Leveling up two different types of magic will give you things that mix them. Okay, that's always neat. Yeah. That's what it sounded like they were saying in chat and what it looked like it looked was happening with that on, on that chart. Anyways, hey guys, how's it going? Uh, the reason I, you know, don't see myself eating for a couple more hours uh, is because when we thought we were going to start the stream, Bob shows up with a uh, double beef and cheddar from Arby's, and they gave me double beef, but that was definitely not double cheddar. <laughs> it seemed like normal cheddar. Uh, but yeah, now I ate that. And, uh, what did I eat for breakfast? See, the, I was talking about it the other day uh, when Riona was co-hosting uh, those Jimmy Dean egg bowl things. That reminds me, I have overnight oats in my bag, and I did not put them in the refrigerator. I need you to do should that. probably do that. Here, I got this battle. I'm a legendarily good Quest 64 player, as people may or may not know. Just level that up to full. Hell yeah. Watch this dodge. Oh, you didn't even let me control in time. Well, you know, that's fine, because check that out. Boom. Now you're the only one alive. I hope you enjoy the survivor's guilt in hell. Anyways. What the fuck are we talking about with Gunpei Yokoi? Okay, if I remember correctly, this is the correct direction. I don't know why chat's talking about Gunpei Yokoi. Um, I, I missed something. I'll wait. So, uh, how are the oats? Uh, they seem somewhat still okay. cool. Okay, that's good. So it's probably fine. Oh, God, other... Hmm. What, food? Yeah, I'm trying to think of oh, other okay. places to get food. Luckily, the heal only takes 2 MP, which comes back insanely fast. Yeah, no, it's kind of ludicrous. We're outside battle, inside battle. No. In Inside battle, it's not helpful. <laughs> oh, man, I've got 64 health. Nice, we should just stop here. Right? We're too strong. That's weird. How did you get the ice knife to show up? Uh, he hit down, see? So oh then, my yeah, god. It's on, so I, it's on layer two. Have you tried ice wall I haven't tried ice wall. I'm curious what it does. Oh. <laughs> ice fart. It was a near range AOE. I see. You know what? We're just going to attack this guy. Yeah, it was a kobold. How could you not tell? Was that not obvious? <laughs> Did it not look like your dungeon meshy cobalt? Was that not enough? Ice wall? Oh. Nope, sorry. Oh. Understandable. Maybe on the next guy. Bom, 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 bom. People were like, in the manga, they actually had the name Dungeon Delicious in Dungeon. I'm like, okay, okay, that doesn't make it a good name. I know. Every time the people want to show with the the author approves of it sort of thing, it's like, yeah, and they were wrong. Like, so many <laughs> authors have been wrong about that stuff. Like, hey, how should we bring over Detective Conan? Oh, you should change everything so it's in America. It's like, no, you shouldn't. <laughs> That's going to ruin this. That's going to be... Some kid's going to be like, what do you mean Atlanta's really into Yakitori? <laughs> 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 that yeah, would make and, everyone make fun of you. Right? Oh, no. Everyone made fun of me because they thought they didn't understand that Detective Conan taught me that Atlanta really loves Yakitori. <laughs> it has the same cadence as Dungeons and Dragons. Like, no, it doesn't. It sounds bad. <laughs> yeah, the funny thing is in other regions it actually does. Uh-huh. Like, apparently based, like, what was it, the Spanish localization sounds really close and they made it, uh, what was it? Dungeons and Guzzlers? <laughs> Yes. Which apparently sounded like Dungeons and Dragons in Spanish. And I was like, that's fucking brilliant! <laughs> we be guzzling! <laughs> uh, uh, well then. Just a little water for you, good sir. Yeah, you wouldn't want to get greedy. 
No. We don't want to get greasy while I'm doing what? Dungeons the and Guzzlords. Lords. <laughs> Cue the Guzzlord scream. God, if that was on the soundboard, it'd be a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we want to make sure it's safe. We got this set. Oh, you, and you want to you want to have the. Yeah, we got to go back to the authentic original <sighs> experience. This is what everyone loves. Oh, it looks so good. Oh my God, I love it. That's genuinely vile. <laughs> yeah. I got so used to looking rich, <laughs> and now everything looks so wrong. <laughs> 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 what, do you not like digging through the mud? <laughs> Here I am, Brian, adventurer in piss and shit town. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. Also, the gamut just did make it darker, which is more accurate, but... That combined with the piss and shit is really not great right now. No. Oh man, we're four levels away before getting to uh, level up a new element. Is that, isn't that hype? It's so hype. We get to level up Earth. You know, I was trying to hit both of them. That was very rude of you. Who is, uh, hello, Deathblow. How's it going? What are you up to today? Don't worry, it looks better on a sweet CRT, we swear. But I played this on a CRT. Oh, oh no. I'm, I'm not sure about marching back into that guy. That Ice Knight strat might yeah, work. Ice Knight strat might work. Because we have these, so we can just keep, you right. know. Pouring in. Also, what if I had big feet? Yeah, if you had big feet, I bet it'd just be fine. <laughs> he would be afraid, actually. Well, it's good to know running up to a door, it will just open, and we don't need to hit A, so there will be no door in the game that tricks us by not opening. Uh-huh. <sighs> oh. Right, go ahead and run 10 feet, and there we go. We got it back. Astroneer? I'm trying to remember Astroneer. Uh, yeah. this dude's already saying words. Yeah, he's already said all uh, of this. I, I don't need this in my life. Ice knife. I bet his movement range is... Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, well, he, might he just, just keeps doing that. Right? Yeah, he's gonna keep doing that. What, what a buffoon. Yeah, what an idiot. My god. Siphon filter. Yes, it's quite remarkable. I'm worried because, uh, you know, obviously we have all these MP recoveries. Right. But do we want to really burn them all on Solvering? You might be able to run around as a restraining MP in battle. I don't know. Well, have a good one, Desplo. Enjoy your food. Hope it's good. Like if the Gold Sun had no good gameplay or presentation to make up for the lack of story your characters. Oh, is that kind of like sounds? that? Okay, we got a clam music starting to get to me. Yeah, that was an incredible. Wait, soundtrack. I could escape. <laughs> it actually let me. Oh wow. <laughs> well, I don't. It didn't pop up with the word escape. Hmm. Yeah. So I guess not. There's no getting away. So do we, like, run in, punch him, and then run back out? Uh, we can't. Wait, it said miss, but it, then also it, showed damage. Yeah, what? I guess it actually tried to proc freezing him, and it didn't work. Hmm. So my plan, okay? Okay. My grand strategy is to just ice knife him and maybe use one more MP heal, and then we're just going to use the big boots. Okay. So that way I'm capable of running away from his close range attacks. Aka was prime beef. It'll be good. Okay, yeah, that oh, sounds dang. pretty good. Yeah, that sounds excellent. Yeah, what am I gonna... This... Part of me wonders if this isn't less important to keep around than these. Uh-huh. I don't yeah, know. Ten's pretty, ten's pretty small. D yeah, ten is not much. Yes, I point can... nine. We're playing quest 64. Everyone's, everyone's favorite game. Everyone's excited. Like you. This is a hilarious battle. 
You got him. Why didn't the strategy guide mention it? Oh, right. It's a fucking strategy guide for an N64 game. Right. Earth orb obtained. So now do we just take that back to the king? There was something over here. I was staring at it during the battle. Honey, Honey bread. bread. Honey. How do you expand your MP? Uh, leveling up, I guess. Mint leaves. What the hell do mint leaves do? Wait, my that menu can go out that far? <laughs> yeah, it keeps going. Okay, so something amazing about this game. If you push left repeatedly, but it's a little too far in or not far enough, it'll do nothing. <laughs> huh. So you basically have to reset to neutral to really get it to do it on the stick. Oh. The yeah, mint you're leaves right, loses MT20. Totally a top five RPGs on the 64. Yes, by uh, process absolutely. of no competition. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, 20 MP right there with the mint leaves. So hopefully mint leaves become more common. Right. I am genuinely surprised our inventory expanded. Fair. Cool. Oh, we're gonna, a, we're gonna it said it was a crystal ball. All yeah, right. it's a crystal ball of earth power. The earth orb, in fact, crystal. Crystals come from the earth. Say it's the top of one uh, N64 RPG. I don't know. Hybrid Heaven's right there. And I feel like that's probably an RPG. I'm not sure, though. It's a, it's a little unclear. It's a little <laughs> unclear. We really, you know, can't come to a conclusion on this. Okay, there there is nothing left. Now we can leave. We can go back to town. You might even want just use a wing to get back to town. That's true. Or I guess you level up on the way back. So whatever. Yeah, sadly, we need to worry about leveling because you just saw what we went through. Right, even though like, we, we owned even him. Even though we completely really lost in just ground levels for quite a while there. Mm -hmm. That wasn't enough. No. God, no. Of course not. You guys must have really hate Paper Mario as this spiff. Yeah, no, obviously. You, people in chat trying to give this the best RPG on the N64 <laughs> must really hate it. Does Mega Man Legend 64 count as an RPG? I Hell never really no. think of that I'm as not, I'm not gonna at all. If we start counting that, we definitely have to count Zelda. <laughs> That's that's just not a that's not a good strategy. That's, right, we don't want to start the conversation. What's what's the best RPG? I vote Zelda. This little slippery slope. Did you notice this looks like fucking shit? <laughs> <laughs> Did you notice that? I didn't notice. I'm putting. I was lost. Leaving that on. Why does the dithering make it darker? <laughs> Did you know that Hybrid Heaven has unlockable characters that nobody online knows about? People thought you had to cheat to get them, says Masumi. That's pretty great. Yeah, we're turning off that. Turning off that. Turning off that. Turning off that. I really... I really like... I really like turning off the texture filtering, but I kind of want to know what the game's supposed to look like. <laughs> um, it's Quest 64. It looks bad. <laughs> That's I, what it's supposed to look like. I don't we, understand. We got it. <laughs> how long is this game? Uh, I think that how long we said like 10 hours. 11. 11 hours. It's okay. We we we're, we're clearly doing a very fast run through. We just ran in circles in the forest, and then back to the town, and then back to the forest. Uh huh. Nothing went wrong. No. Eleven hours of no story. Yeah. <laughs> yep. How do they do it? Uh, yeah, it's not replaceable, Malarasura, because uh, the the only people who ever made a 3DS capture card were in Japan, and they outlawed console modification in Japan. Mostly over concerns that people would game gotcha things. Kind of like when, uh, what was it, Greece banned video games accidentally for a month or whatever. Right. Except for this is long term. Anyway, uh, I'm not too heartbroken about it because every time we've ever streamed a 3DS game was a hellscape of it constantly breaking. So, I would never even consider buying a new one even if that was possible. Right. A horse with a saxophone says, oh man. The fact you have two separate bars for health and mana reminds me of Final Fantasy XIV. <laughs> Thank you. I wasn't wow, sure. I, I wouldn't have thought of that, but 
Now I'm realizing you're right. <laughs> Okay, whatever you do, Dan, don't move. You perfectly placed it directly in the middle of both of them. Chris, this 11 hours was no story. Wow, it's just like Darksiders 2. <laughs> Holy shit. At least you had one likable voice actor. Come on. Yeah, Brian doesn't say anything. <laughs> I wish Brian would talk to me. Was that necessary, Dan? It's always necessary. Bom, 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 bom. The game has just as much depression as you have playing it. Bom, 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 bom. <laughs> I've yet to see a single live stream of a DS emulator where the audio wasn't crackling and awful, so... I will look into solutions in the future, but do not take my $700 a piece of equipment breaking and go, Hey, you should emulate. That is a dick move. Also, uh, Sonic Chronicles specifically will need a lot of touchscreen input to work. Yeah. And doing that on a mouse, on a PC that's over here, while he's over there, offers other complications that are interesting. But don't worry, I've already started to consider what we're going to do. Yeah, when we get that, that DS emulator on the iPad. <laughs> Uh, I was actually, as I left this room earlier to go take a piss, I was like, I wonder if those are at a point yet where they're even halfway decent, but we've got the jailbreak and iPad, which I'm not averse to. Mm -hmm. There is, we have two iPads. I would totally be fine with jailbreaking. Yeah, there's that extra one. Yeah, but I have no idea if that is even decent. Right. I assume not. Isn't there a composite out solution for DS Lite nowadays, too? Yeah, there was a... But see, that's a mod. <laughs> but yes, there is a way to get composite out of the DS Lite. And that would at very least be a normal video signal, albeit a really shitty one. Right. Blue. Oh, wow. The level one puddle only takes one MP. And level T three takes three. Wait a second. They didn't balance this. Those are just the numbers of the titles of the moves. Oh, no. I can't believe this game wasn't masterfully balanced. Then I have no other way to say this. You have to become an electrical engineer. I had that conclusion a little while ago on this exact same topic. Sure sucks, don't it? Yeah. <laughs> what you need to do is use an Apple Vision Pro. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> I do want those secret soda flavors. <laughs> oh. You know, I wonder if we could just talk to the manager and get those without the Apple Vision Pro. Oh, like, the soda bro, flavors? Yeah, you think I should just ask him for it? I'm like, hey, you got that flavor wave. That's what they'll say to me as I'm bashing on the machine. Ooh, we're almost there. Oh, fun, 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 fun. There's so many of them. If they could just like group in, like in this middle region. Usually the bats actually all warp towards you, so it'll probably will work out. I'm just gonna wait it out then, because if they all jump in, right? Uh-huh. Oh, Z also just attacks. So, okay, so Z and A are functionally the same button. Wow, okay. Whatever. That that revelation yeah. is enough to frustrate me that I just want this battle over. <laughs> Lufia uses L as an A button. Brilliant. Because now I can play the game single-handedly, mostly. The Quest 64, he uses Z as the A button. Infuriating, stupid piece of fucking shit. Go kill yourself. Why? <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, I need to get the boss coffee flavor. <laughs> no. Poop piles. Watch out, boy. She'll poop you out? She's a man-eater. I didn't realize that song was about these. That's kind of gross. Now 
That was pretty pro here. Yeah, thanks. I like to think of myself as a very effective Quest 64 live streamer. Yeah, you really you can you can walk around and like explore the area one hand like that, but you, to do battle you absolutely need to have the, the other hand. Yeah, on. that's why I got that mad. Because yeah. I'm like, that doesn't work here, you stupid assholes. <laughs> There's a lot of this game where you don't do fights, right? Definitely. Yeah, it's not like every two steps. <laughs> right. Uh, the reason, Spiff, they made a Jinkaria for Sonic Chronicles and then the 3DS exploded and they're heartbroken. Oh, See, do I you don't... think there was something in here? I, I don't know where the shit is in this town. I didn't walk through here. <laughs> there's, no, there, there's no signs on the door, Dan. There's that that one. Oh, okay. That's the tavern, if you need more bread. I don't know if you ate your bread. Can I have bread anyways? No. Oh. You, you still have more than do too, don't you? Yeah, it looks like you have a vial of do, do already. You, do you think, um... The vial of do? <laughs> do you think if I have the honey bread, she won't give me fresh bread? No, I don't think those overlap. That that okay, will require we're gonna, them. We're gonna find out. To check anything. Oh my god! Yeah. Yeah, I was like, they're looking for Thank one specific god. number here. Thank you, god. Yeah, that would involve a category tag. Uh-huh. Like, for the item. Yeah, no, they're all just separate items. Okay, so was there anything important in this house? No, that would let you get another wing. This is, let me save. I didn't use the wing, so... Did you use the wing? No. Okay. Man, somebody just needs to make a mod of Quest 64 where it has good music. That'd be like That'd be really nice. That would help a lot. It would. Because it's uh, Wait a minute. currently okay. really bad. I'm heading the right way. I think. Uh, no, I this is back out, I think. Okay. This time, I will not be tricked by its riddles. Yeah. I am ready to face the monster that is Dondoran. Okay. And imagine having buttons to articulate the camera in specific directions. Okay, that, that leads one. there. So okay, this leads down. Yeah, it goes down to the yeah that. Mm -hmm. I gotta go to the castle. But I think that the castle is actually one. Or, yeah? yeah. Are you sure? It's not this way. No. There's this nothing. Is there's, this is a dead end. Yeah. There's nothing this way. No, there's nothing this way. I'm glad we gave these assholes a third dimension to work with. Yeah, they knew exactly <laughs> what to do with it. They, they, it would have been terrible if they were limited to two dimensions. Okay, this time. All right. Okay. Well, here we go. So uh, here. Right that back. leads out. No, that, that this will. This is it. This is it. This will lead to the castle. Think. God damn it, Bob! <laughs> okay. So you think it's this way? Yeah, okay, here we go. This is it. That's the, the end if you want to save too. Yeah, who knows? Maybe we have to kill the king after this. Maybe. He's he's in on the whole thing. Some sort of scam. No, he's in the corner of the room you can't see when you come in. <laughs> Literally he is the camera. <laughs> Sure. Checking controller pack. Oh man, that's another reason I didn't play this fucking game. <laughs> You're gonna play Mario 64 with a Travis touchdown mod. Why would we do that? <laughs> I mean, that sounds funny. For a pretty good reason. Why does it say continue save? I, uh, cause the, otherwise you would quit the game, I assume. But I'm hitting no. Oh, it's asking me want to save again then, because that's what I always do. Yes, and then it's like, do you want to save? And I'm like, no. So really, they're asking, would you like to continue saving in new slots? Yes. Oh well, they got that day night cycle working. <laughs> <laughs> Impressive. It's so useful. Everyone's really impressed by the graphics here. Look at these graphics. We are still on to do Shotgun Mario 64. True. You have succeeded where my bravest knights have failed. Depressing. <laughs> you can send more than one at a time. You know that, right? Impossible. It's just as the Grand Abbot foretold. I hear by bequeath you the Earth Orb. Here by is one word, by the way. 
It will help you in the search for your father and the Elitale book. Listen carefully. A hidden door behind the throne is open. You may take from it any treasures you need. Your courage must be rewarded. Yay, it opened. And there are three chests and a spirit. Oh, Ooh. God. Healing potion. That's way fancier than bread. It, it heals like two health. Oh, no. Replica. Oh, cool. Of what? Well, it's a replica of Brian. We're going to stick it in the way when the enemy tries to kill Brian. Oh, okay. time travel. Hero drink. Okay. So, exit is on the right. Here we go. You ready? Okay. This is it. We're doing it. Damn it. What did it just do? I hit exit. Oh, and then I need to hit return, and then I need to cast. Oh, it doesn't work anyway. Oh, because I'm in a castle. Side. Okay. When shotgun cream 64. <laughs> Jesus. That's a good question. <laughs> that would be pretty funny. Man, I'm 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 really weirded out that neither exit nor return works inside the castle. The castle's too strong. What the fuck is in these walls? <laughs> the princess. <laughs> oh no! Okay, I am going to venture forth to find the princess because I don't think we're ever coming back here. I think this is it. Yeah, I don't think so. I think like, we're going to we... a new kingdom and there's like no reason to come back and Return to the oh, town you're already in. Town. Already in town, I see. You think I'd return you to the entrance of town though? No. That would make more sense in my head, but No, clearly not. Okay. So that's that's what's up with that. He's not here. Dinkari is inside the castle. I don't think so. <laughs> Muffled. <laughs> okay. Check this out. The entrance I came from. Okay. I'm really glad they got three dimensions to work with. I can't tell you how thankful I am for that. Yeah, and they knew how to use them and how to control the camera and everything. Mm hmm. This is basically the two human camera, so it must also be the most advanced camera system ever in a video game. You know, at this point in time, a lot of games are just locking the camera down, and they decided they didn't need to do that. They were above that, actually. Well, yeah, on the N64, a lot of games didn't lock the camera down. It was about that full 3D exploration, and I'm really thanking God that they also went that direction. This is a room with nothing. I think in the background might lead to the throne room, but I'm not sure. No? Okay, this is just a room yeah, that's with a, that, that, that guy. Dude who looks like many other people in this castle. Do the NPCs say anything new or do they still warn you about the robber? I don't know. I'll You're never talk tired to, them, to talk so to them. we'll never know. If I talk to them, they win. His hair spike is like the so... Ange. Yeah, it's so insane that like he's a scorpion, actually. Yeah, he's going to poison them. I'm going to strike them with this fucking Ahoge and they're going to tense up and die. Oh, Okay. Cool room, bro. Yeah. Holy shit. Because for anyone who doesn't realize, like, maybe you haven't seen us play, we can't interact with any of this. There's no, like, oh, mm. the book on the shelf says. Yeah, no, these are just empty rooms with fucking nothing in them. Right. Man, sir. Man, the doors. Are you the prince? <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> Kate. Well, well, it's the magician's apprentice. This is Princess Fio Flora? I don't know. Fonts like this are terrible. It could be <laughs> I or L. Fiora. I'm going with Fiora's room. Flora. Let's go with Flora. Flora's room. Should the king see a trespasser enter here, there will be an uproar. Oh, okay. Well, can you go to the right? Is that a door? Oh! Okay, there she is! I really didn't think you could do it, but now you have our undying gratitude. Are you sure you're just a magician's apprentice? Your powers must be beyond compare. Man, you certainly were a playable yeah, fucking Yeah, God, you have the, like so many more polygons than anyone else. And you're designed. Yeah. More mint leaves. Now to continue to stand here forever. Yes, that is her true, true goal in life. <laughs> and I wonder how long they spent making this game. Yeah. Could you imagine they got to, like, make it for two more years and this was, like, an N64 end of cycle, like, magnum opus? That would be pretty insane. That would be nothing like Quest 64. <laughs> that is very true. I'm going to talk to one NPC if they're over here. And then we're going to leave. Okay. We're going to find out if they're all just obsessed with this fucking robber. They're like, I heard his dick's huge. I wish I could have seen it before you killed him. 
At least uh, the princess had new dialogue. That's it's true. clearly about you beating him. Right. But she's an important character. Right. Who does so much in the story. She's, she's, <laughs> it, it's all about her. Save the princess, save the world. Oh, right. You're the one guy who's not going to say anything else. Yeah. Okay, fine. I'll go talk to someone in this room who isn't the king. Hopefully they say something. Your victory was most unexpected. I never thought the magic of an apprentice could succeed where a knight sword could not. Then you're a fucking moron. <laughs> I don't... Reset the hero's mention clock. It's okay. It's been a while since the other clock got reset. Not that I'm going to, you know, try to get that done. Hey, remember I showed you that DDD video where Data Snyder or whatever voiced him? That was very funny. Animated thing, King DDD. Oh, King DDD. Him. Yeah. I was like, what, what video of DDD for DD from uh, Dexter's Lab? You know how, how many times I show you funny animations about <laughs> Dexter's Lab. Right? It's all the time, man. Um, so how do we, can we just go past, I guess the yeah. forest, the other, the mm -hmm. other direction, the forest will be open now. Yeah. Man, in one more level, we get to like, level a new elemental. That'll be exciting. Finally. So do we put 50 points directly into earth after, that's insane. And that's the game. We're done. All right. <laughs> that's the cave they made, Bob. Yeah, all right. Dana Snyder and John Benjamin could voice just about any character and make it work. I mean, that's true. Uh, John Benjamin plays that Cerberus dog or whatever in fucking Venture Brothers, and it's hilarious. It's like a three-headed dog. Yeah. It, it, He's like, yeah, that guy just grooms us all day. It's kind of weird, but, you know, it's nice. <laughs> Is that gonna... Nope. No. Nope. No. Nope. No. I don't even think there's a level four either, so that's just... Where this path ends, my friend. But yeah, I will now finally talk about what exactly broke about the capture card, and you're all going to get angrier, if you can imagine. <laughs> the USB uh, uh, was being finicky, like always. It's never, ever connected and just worked and been fine. Right. So, it finally connects... And then it rapid fire disconnects and reconnects and it actually erases the EEPROM that has the product key stored on it. So it will now refuse to work because it cannot read the product key. It is literally DRM. So I check my emails. I'm like, is there, is there any way I can find out what the product key is? And I see an email from the German website that sold me this. And they go, the product key is in your invoice, smiley face. There is no product key in anywhere in any of my emails or the invoice. I, what if it's in the physical invoice and nothing else? Because they're deranged. Uh, I think I took pictures of that. I really doubt that. Yeah. Honestly, I really doubt that. God. So about how the retro fucking hardware community sucks. Yeah, I don't know why you would ever do something like that. Uh, because you're a psychopath. Yeah, like, that's the only explanation. So anyways, I look forward to someday the PS2 HDMI when it finally gets patched enough to be stable, uh, eventually breaking the exact same way and the DRM stops working. Or it breaks, and yeah. Yeah, that'll be great. That'll be so fucking poggers. Bonk. Uh-huh. A mod of an old console. Like, what's uh -huh. wrong with you? What is wrong with uh -huh. you? Uh-huh. Yeah, it's the fucking HD, the video out mod that is doing this. Yeah. The 3DS is perfectly functional. It's fine. That that may be the only time I've ever said the 3DS is fine. <laughs> Bonk. Eh, didn't Digital care. right management for legally gray area of products. Yeah, it makes total sense. So anyways, so about why I will be weeping no tears for the uh, Japanese modder who's making these products going out of business when the product was bad, the product was unstable, and DRM. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm like, no. No. 
It was a good thing, actually. <laughs> Sploosh. See, this game would be vastly improved if Brian just went sploosh. Obviously. Every time he used the spell, that would be great. Sorry, sorry, one moment. You know, the system where you uh, can level up the different different elements, you, they mix together and unlock new abilities. Kind of makes me sick of Grandia. And I huh. just really want to play through Grandia. Uh, unfortunately, we only stream games as good as uh, Quest 64 on this obviously, channel. Uh, obviously. Grandia is not as good as Quest 64. No, there's like a story, so how could it be as good as Quest 64? The the, the chat. <laughs> and, the, and chat would just get confused when there was a story. You know how they are. They, yeah. They hear there's a story in a video game. They start getting upset. Was, let me um find this map. Holy piss. That town is so far away. How bad do I really want this double level on the element? Man, it will take us all the way back to town. Uh huh. That's what Spiff made it sound like. I want to do it once. Yeah, we gotta know. Oh! Wow. Oh, that was a triple! Wow. That was a triple! Oh! That was worth it. That was worth it. That was worth it. Now if Vox comes back and she's like, why'd you level to 27? You're supposed to do 25. You could all be like, well, it's because he did a triple and it was great. Right. <laughs> Silence, rabbit. <laughs> I was just a dabbing rabbit. Why have you done this? No, I was cute. Everyone loved me. I'm just gonna, we're just, we're just not doing this one. <laughs> bippity bop, bippity bop. Bippity boppity boo. What a great soundtrack. Oh, it's so good. You know, Sonic Chronicles failed us. So we need to play other great RPGs like Quest 64 and Yik. Uh... We were going to play Sonic Adventure 2 with Star LNA next week, but no, oh, Sonic Chronicles sent us down the bad timeline, and now we have to play Yik. God. Why Yik? Because it's an RPG. No. It might be the only other RPG we have in our thing. Uh, well, except for Orphan. Orphan. So there you go. Are we playing Orphan? Or are we playing Yik? Good in Dark Future. Right? You were saying that John Linneman was talking shit about an Orphan on Twitter. I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, that guy is, is no place to talk. I know, he like, he was defending Suicide Squad, wasn't he? Yeah, yeah. Like if he was a guy who was like, I only play good video games and will not defend a bad one. That would be different, but it's fucking like, come on, dude. Like a dragon is an RPG. Yeah, but that's neon streams. That's not a Friday that. stream. Yeah, I don't, I don't want to take that. Well, I just don't want to take that from him. Uh, also, it's a hundred hours, so it wouldn't be a Friday stream. Friday streams are for Fridays are for death streams. <laughs> -da 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 -da. Another way this is like Grindia. Yeah, that, that I believe the main character Grindia's yeah, name's Justin. This is just like really normal name. Yeah. Yeah. Bum, ba -da -da -bum. Fridays are for death. That makes sense. Our <laughs> fucking capture unit died. <laughs> even funnier, we can't use the original capture unit. Not that it would work consistently even if we <laughs> used it because I still own both. They're both in this room right now. Um, because the drivers you install for the new 3DS capture unit literally break your Windows PC forever in a way to make it work specifically with that device and if you let windows update ever again that specific driver it will then make it so your 3ds capture unit never works ever again which is why i don't use my normal desktop for our 3ds streams what a stupid thing they made insane nightmare dan why do you get so angry at the retro video game hardware scene <laughs> Well, how many years do you have to listen to my tale? Right. Chris is be excited if we go shoot Yik now before they do that big update, because he wants contacts for both the regular and that. Huh. Yeah, I mean, that's something I've been wrestling, where it's just like, it's important to know what the game is now. Right, like, that's what everyone knows That's the knows game it's bad. been for years. What the fuck? Yeah, there's no... How am I supposed to fucking get up, up that? I can't. Okay. It's too steep. He's a little baby boy. Steep. Guess it goes around. Yeah, well, we'll get there, and then we'll have to do the thing again. Yeah! Aren't I, like, a huge distance still from that other town? Oh, my God. 
We're gonna go ahead and ice knife one of you guys. Oh, cool. It did the one I was looking at mostly. <laughs> that's that's great. I thought it would just be like, I don't know. Guesses. Why are you gonna make me miss, huh? Huh? <laughs> Is the hit guy still doing the update because he's been saying soon for like four years? Jeez. He sure has been saying it for a really long time, but it actually sounds like it's supposed to happen this year. He might be trolling, trolling y'all though. Right. I forget, did Yik Man go on the Dick Masterson show? Am I crossing stream, like mental streams? That sounds right. I feel I like that's real. Yeah, I think he went on there and then just complained about Redditors and... Okay, we're doing Earth and Earth is left. Because wind is right. He did. That's fucking nuts. <laughs> that's so fucking nuts. I was like, dude... Dude, there's no world where someone sees you on the Dick Masterson show. You say anything and they go, well, I guess he's the good guy. <laughs> he said people don't like flawed heroes unless they have autism. I'm scared for what we signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> There's no way that can be direct, right? You must be like, well, what he said implied this. I'm just. <laughs> oh, wow. Bob. Yeah, what's up? They were nice enough to draw the little ledge that I couldn't get up. They on the, were. Yeah. Incredible. So, man, I got, like, my bearings and stuff. Oh, man, look at these dudes. They're, like, they got a dance number they're doing? Yeah, it feels really I, bad that you're going to have to kill them. Eh. Oh, they didn't care about 61 damage. Wow. You know what's weird? Let's talk about this. Well, the fact we haven't brought it up yet it seems strange. Okay. Bob. Bob. Yeah, what's up? Only one of them can ever attack, and then it's my turn again. Yeah, that that is weird. They I made was... this game wrong. That's not how turn orders work in anything. No, but it probably is the only way you'd be able to survive a single round against these guys. Like, I bet that that'd be the problem that we're like, well, the the real... while testing. It was like, oh, we, you the, just die. The real solution is balancing your fucking game at well, all. It was going to have multiple party members, which would make that work. Because then you could have a team that you move. Oh, shit, we got healing, too. Ooh. Nice. I thought it was up here. It was totally up here. Where did it go? Wait. Map, you're just fucked up, right? Yeah, that, that map is not showing you the right thing at all. Maybe the ledge is actually that thing over there on the right? I don't know. Either way, we we really shouldn't do the skip until or the weird triplicate thing until we hit a town. Yeah, we are we gotta be close to one by now, right? God no. Did you look at the map? <laughs> this is I try not to. It's a pretty <laughs> massive distance. Nice. Dick will be the stream that kills you both. Hopefully not. We'll see. It could be a pretty good follow-up to what we recorded a uh, commentary track last night. I have a feeling. Probably. Just the Bob's pain voice. Yeah. Just like, what if it's something else about a rep reprehensible human being? <laughs> Stop talking about that, dude! I hope you're all excited. Everyone was fucking pissed at me when they found out. Uh, I don't like these worms. They have three eyes. Holy fuck, it's Rayquaza. <laughs> Someday I'll stab you from behind like Aizen over that. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, I was so scared. <laughs> and I still am. Uh, 
I wonder if the Yik fans have calmed down enough that the stream won't be attract the worst people on the internet. Hopefully, hopefully they all just, you know, it's been out for th two or three years. Guys, I don't I don't know if you notice. We we already contend with uh, fans who easily get upset if you don't like the thing enough. Yeah. Uh, we're good. We're good. Okay, so. Okay. All right. Go around this way. Chris is though, you're going to get those people. <laughs> What if four dudes? <laughs> I haven't been keeping track, Bob. Is it, is it okay yet to say that Kingdom Hearts 3 isn't the best Kingdom Hearts? I don't know. I, I don't I, keep I, up I, with the community enough to know if the transition has occurred finally. I feel like that might be okay, but you can't say anything more. <laughs> Oh, he's a goblin. I don't yeah. think he's a goblin. I think he's just a guy, and we've decided we can murder no, he's, him. He's, he's a goblin. He dances. He's orange. If it makes you feel all right, uh, I think that was Starry Night Rainy. I want to make sure. I mean, I was pretty surprised by how good Spike Ops was. Plot stuff didn't really do anything for me, but, uh, it's, you know, as it turns out, most things with brilliant twists don't really. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, but, you know, the actual game was, like, staggeringly good. I was <laughs> genuinely surprised because, you know, a lot of the times with the things like, this thing's brilliant, so good, it's like, I think this is you compensating for the fact the rest of it is fucking dog water. <laughs> Uh, whereas that game, it was, like, shockingly good. Right. I feel like it, it probably broke down, like, two hours, last two hours or so of, like, oh, you are out of ideas. A 7 gen game that runs out of gas. Yeah, but uh, it was it was pretty good for the first few hours. I am going to say the town's right there. We're, we're just going to run to town. Right there, he says. Da, 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 da. Is the town a boat? Wait. What if there isn't a town? What if there's only a boat? There's a fucking town. There better be a goddamn town. <laughs> I wasn't even at full health of those things suck to fight. So I need to remember to use heal level two because we have that now. Oh yeah. Oh my God, he's huge into prince or something. Frog King. Ooh. I don't remember a good aggro quote from the the spec off stream. I'm not saying there wasn't one. I mean, there was the whole history right. talking about weapons. He has a mouth painted on, but then his face separates above that. <laughs> That's unsettling. The funny thing is when people are like, what do you think is the most horrifying uh, weapon invented by man to be used against each other? And I'm like, it's economics. Wonder what Agro is going to say that he said economics. I was like, yeah! <laughs> yeah! It was great. It was a good moment. <laughs> hey, it's that lady. You definitely wouldn't be part of your team. God damn it. <laughs> What's she doing here? It is weird that she seems to be everywhere. She's everywhere I want to be. Water capital waterfall located on the other side of the lake. There's no fairer city in the Isles. It's even as pretty as the castle town Limelin. Uh, so here's a really good question. <laughs> here's a really good question. Do you think this house counts as a town I will return to with the spell? Because I doubt it. I doubt it too, but it is an inn, so maybe that upgrades it. God, this is every inn is just the same exact model, isn't it? So it's only, only going to have these four doors. Oh, there's actually has a guy in it. Our cart. I've been lying low here because of the danger in the woods. Now it is safe to go back to Dondron and back to the monastery. Yeah, you think if the monastery was somewhere you were going back to, you would know me and have anything. No. Okay. No. Everyone loves our cart. Which just sounds like you're making a, a barking sound twice. <laughs> ark, ark. What, are you a seal? Yeah. Yeah, I think he might be. His hat was real weird. I don't want to see it again. <laughs> Man, 
Our cart was the only Yeah, thing I think each engine's gonna have one guy in the upstairs. Just in a different room. They're right? like, oh they Christ, I have to write a guy? Oh man, let me just So done. Now. So done. There's spirit over here. Totally struck me as something that would have a spirit hidden away in it. So these stairs that just go into the boat. Oh, it's actually on the boat. This might be a town then. On the board, you're my first passenger in many a day. Come to think of it, the last traveler I met bore a striking resemblance to you. Much older though. We're shoving off for Lara Pool. Okay, cool. Can we do that? Yeah, I'm surprised the boat didn't just warp you to the next area. Yeah, that's what I expected. I expected to step on this thing and I would just be there and go, what the fuck? Wait, oh, did it happen now? Wait, I think it happened now. Oh my god, I'm gonna bomb it. I walked into that room and it teleported me to the next city, didn't it? Yep. Oh my god. Yep. Oh my god. What the fuck? <laughs> guys, guys, that's what a, that's what someone's dream in Maiden Dreams would be, you know? Yeah. Efna. We're really struggling when it comes to names. We haven't seen any ferry passengers for a long time now. If you'd like, laddie, spend the light night here and rest yourself. Sure, I will go and rest our heroes. Our Muller. No. I think we're good to get that spirit now. Because I, I went to two different inns. That's true. It's, it's gotta be good by now. Right? Just get Let's, back on the boat. I'm just gonna look at my map. One of those better have motherfucking counted as a city. <laughs> Even on the map, it counts this as a city. It's got like a little house drawn next to the city. It's like, oh, look, it's totally, totally a city. Right. We're going back. Yeah, Dreams still works. Um, they updated it so that way the server, uh, the needs of the game were as intense on the... Uh... But you need to talk to him first and then... Oh no, are we stuck? One way trip. Go to sleep? There's no way. No, that's not, okay, that's something else. It, so, okay, you, you warp back. Oh no. Oh, you used the yellow wing? No, that was the spell. Oh, this was God. the only city they've counted this entire time. Oh my time. God! It's gonna be a long stream. Yeah, it's gonna be a long stream. This is gonna be a long stream. I cannot believe that was a one-way trip. I cannot believe, additionally, none of the rest of that was cities. Yeah. Wow. Holy crap. Wow. Holy crap. Longer than Sonic Chronicles? They were both pretty close. I can't remember exactly how long Sonic Chronicles was. I saw Sonic Chronicles was supposed to be 17 hours. Man, I'm crazy. It's not 17. It was like 15, I think. Chat, you let me know. Chris says Sonic Chronicles would have been like 20, but you know, I'm a gamer. So. <laughs> I would simply uh, not take 20 hours. Yeah, I would simply not take 20 hours to beat the 20 hour game. <laughs> <laughs> Ever think about that? No, he didn't. And, and it was Quest 54, we get to be streamlined. We don't even have dialogue. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> we were idiots for talking to our cart. <laughs> Clearly added tons of minutes to our playthrough. I can't believe the game did that. I cannot believe the game went. It was a one-way boat. I also, can. Also, you went all the way back to the castle. Sorry. I can completely believe all of that. I'm not going to be happy about it, though. How good are you at navigating maps that are in three dimensions despite two dimensional textures and other collisions all wrong? Hmm. Oh no, sounds like Final Fantasy VII to me. If only there was a yellow paint. You know, the funny, like, I, I don't want to engage in any of the yellow pay conversations. It's so stupid. But I will say the funniest thing is when people are, like, saying that Final Fantasy VII was just as bad as any new video game that does that now. Because, uh, like, in those, you would bump all over the place and try to figure out where you could actually go. And I'm like, yeah, but that's screen space. You know, that takes way less time than exploring a 3D environment. There are only two axes on which to move. 
X and Y, so you just bump into the things and keep moving quickly. But yeah, there also is the L1 or L2 or select. I can't remember what brings it up. Arrows that highlight what is a thing you could go in and out of. But yeah, so I thought that was a little absurd. Uh, but mostly my main thought about yellow paint was Jesus fucking Christ, I'm so tired of a AAA Square Enix game comes out and now all of Twitter is just screaming. I'm so tired of that. I am so, 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 so tired of that. Chat, I'm really tired of motherfuckers yelling about what seems like nothing nonstop. That's what I'm tired of. It's just Twitter, Dan. I, t the probability that it happens with the Square Enix AAA game is a shitload higher than most video games. Now, admittedly, that may be because Twitter has shoved me into the Square Enix fan hole, which it actually does do that for anyone who didn't know. The algorithm actually does promote your tweets and show it more to people it is convinced you will like. So because of the fact that we have done what we have done, we are getting shown to and networked with people who are interested in Square Enix AAA stuff more than just random people because of that. Because that is how Twitter works. Okay. I've done it again. Where I thought this was the cliff. It's not the cliff. You are a fool. Man, the Z button would be a really good button to face the camera the way I'm What looking. if it was just the A button again, though? What if that... <laughs> That's the B button, Bob. No, no, the Oh, a, you're saying the, the Z, Z button. button what if Z button a. was... Like, oh, well, that wouldn't really help me that much. In fact, yep. it would barely help me at all. Oh, I'm sorry. That's what we're going to do. But yeah, it feels like every time... Like... I don't know. How do I put this? Modern Square Enix AAA specifically, because Harvest Elf fans didn't give a fuck, and nobody, <laughs> of the small, nobody who's a fan of the smaller Square Enix games barely ever, like, like that, like, you think Saga fans are out there screaming? Yeah, no, nobody came Saga to the Saga fans are just glad to eat. Valkyrie um, Elysium. <laughs> right, yeah, no, literally no one. Um, this is going to take three spells. Am I going to survive that? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> just barely. Because if those three things hit, it would have done 15 damage instead of five. Oh. Yep, that's why I said just barely. If this misses, we're done. Okay. Jesus. Yep, that's why I was not smug. 20. Excuse me. One moment. That takes two, and it heals 15. I missed it. Let's do that again. Oh, back up, back up. It takes three and does 20. That's not a good deal. <laughs> I guess that's my it's faster. My, my battle heal spell. Right. Like my battle heal spell should sure fucking work better. <laughs> yeah, I guess, I guess the best way to put it uh, is that I'm of the opinion that Square Enix AAA fans have a giant chip on their shoulder and can't deal with anyone not liking the game they like. That's generally been my perception on it. As yeah. someone who likes the games. Right, and it, like, seems, it seems crazy as each of uh, the games that they've been releasing have been reviewing insanely well. Right, like nobody can doubt that 16... Everything okay? Do you know what fell? Okay. <laughs> it's a room full of things, so I gotta ask. Um. 16 reviewed really well. Yeah. No, For Spoken definitely well. reviewed better than it should have. Mm -hmm. um, so it's weird that this is the energy coming out of that group. Right. It's like, it, well, the reviewers love it, but if anyone says anything even slightly bad about it, they're evil. Right. And that's 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 been the like, oh, man, I wish I could disconnect with this discourse entirely. <laughs> OK, here we go. We're doing it again. Yeah. And this time we're going for Earth, right? Yeah. OK. Mm -hmm. Which because of that, I have to move my thumbs because hitting down C and A rapid fire, easy. Hitting left C and A rapid fire, really fucking hard. Okay, and then, and then. What? Did that even collect it? No. What? What? What happened? I don't know. You weren't facing it? I was when I started the spell? Unless there was drift, I didn't notice. Okay, let's let's escape. Let's escape. Bob's like, I would love to. <laughs> I would love to. 
<laughs> yeah, that's what I'm doing, True Storm. I'm just explaining, like, it really sucks to see that happen on Twitter so consistently. And in my comment section. Right. Like, let me be absolutely brutally honest. And in my Discord. <laughs> uh... Why did I turn? Yeah. Why know. would I have done that? I guess I betrayed you and our viewers. Somebody was asking, "What's the largest split you and Bob have it on on a, on a thing?" And I'm like, I don't know, because usually it's not like we have a violent disagreement on things. Right. Like I just like some things and he likes other things. Right. Like Which is a fucking normal way to operate. <laughs> yeah. It's like yeah, Dan's a super into Arvisella. I didn't really care. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that's so then I should have gone to Twitter. Huh? <laughs> no, but yeah, a bunny must die. I don't know. Bob, when are you beating Bunny Must Die on stream? Everyone really wants to see this because they know what Bunny Must Die is and they know it will be such a great time. Anyone would just love to see that. Like, everyone, actually. Yeah. Anyone, anywhere. <laughs> time Bob and Dan got into good discourse for this fight. <laughs> That's what discourse is. It's when you accost someone physically. <laughs> Your Honor, I just disagreed with him. <laughs> <laughs> Most anti Bob Street would be forcing him to play Dragon Age. Oh, that would be pretty rotten. How long are those games? I feel like those are 15 plus hours. Yeah, those are like chunky games, right? God. Yeah, I still remember being upset when I tried that Dragon Age 1. It was like, what do you mean they just tried to sell me Neverwinter Nights again? But it looks worse. Now. But they won. They got me. <laughs> the bastards. Dragon Age 2 is 15 to 20. I guess the first one 25 to 30. Good lord. You know, the sad thing is I was ready to give Dragon Age a chance after Inquisition. Uh-huh. And then they never made one again. <laughs> well, it's okay. The next one's coming out this year. It's fine. For real. Mmm. Mmm. Now I know. They might, might legally be not okay for you to say that. <laughs> It'll be an action game so Bob can't escape. No. No, that might be worse. <laughs> Bob, when has anyone turn turning a turn-based RPG into an action game made it worse? There definitely isn't one company really known for doing that. <laughs> See, luckily, as a mana fan, they just turned the, t t the action RPG into a better action RPG. <laughs> right. And it's then like, I, yeah. I keep winning. <laughs> Yeah, you can't change it when it started that way. Hey, you know, I'm also interested in them making a turn-based game. Because as it turns out, I like both. Uh -huh. And I like different things about the both. So when they turn from one to the other, I'm like, uh, this sure is a different thing. <laughs> I think the only time I've ever ha looked at a series, okay? Uh -huh. That was both action RPG and turn-based RPG and went nah to like one half of that, like completely was Yakuza because I have like I think Yakuza is really cool and I in fact bought all of them I think but I played zero and I'm really just strongly interested in the new turn-based ones mm -hmm. I, I mean Chris is right Dragon Age isn't turn-based it's real time with pause which is worse than either other option yeah that's, that's that is yeah. it is like just the absolute most vile combat system you can make okay you're not it. You'll never be it. Does that mean you played Yakuza 0 or none of them? I'll let you guess. You know what? I will heal. Ooh, 19. Wow. I'm surprised that missed. They all homed on you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really rough that those will just hit me and there's nothing I can do. Yeah. Yakuza here is the fifth wave. No. Oh my god. God. Jesus. Hey guys, sorry, I accidentally promised you 800 hours of content. Whoopsie. Oh, I can. 
I can use items while frozen. Oh, that's good. I guess that's why it wouldn't automatically progress if you were frozen. I wonder if you can also he just use a heal spell. Yeah, weird. Okay. Yeah, I just, you can't walk in that, uh, when I got frozen before, we didn't even have a long range move, so it was like, oh, I guess so I, can I, can, I can still kill them while frozen. Well, I could. Now I can't because I'm looking the wrong way. <laughs> right. Yippee. Dude, do not make me ice knife you to death. That would be the dumbest battle humanly possible. Well, at least he died in one ice knife. This is a tough thing for you guys, specifically because they aren't, they aren't crazy if you mainline the story, but then you miss everything that feels about the series. Yeah. Right, exactly, yeah. Right. Uh, one moment, we're just gonna... <laughs> kind of low on MP. Kind of don't want to fight everyone. And I hope I didn't get turned around. And the enemy looked a little bit like Mr. Satan from the front. Yeah, I can see the goblins look a little bit like Mr. Satan. Is in the, They're just a guy with a five o'clock shadow and a big chin. They'll do it. So they're monsters. Yes, they're obviously <laughs> monsters. They're goblins. We should kill them. <laughs> we should kill them all. God, I am starting to get hungry, actually. Okay, here we go. Oh my god. Oh no, this we... is the worst. Okay, there we go. We've done it. For anyone who doesn't know, what we're trying to do is use a spell to return to town, which allows us to grab this leveling up thing for our element multiple times. Nice! Okay. You got two! Yeah. Oh, I three. think I got three, yeah. Yeah. Nice. It's, it's funny because it showed five before you warped and then six after. Yeah, I just barely got that last one in. So there we go. That, that's pretty good. Um, I'm going to hit this thing with a stick, though. It <laughs> really does need earth power. But yeah, Bob, what are you, what are you thinking? Oh. What do you think for food? Um, it's Evergrace all over again. No, that felt way better to grind. Yeah, I, I right. wish this felt that good, but I'm watching. If only I'm it could be a such, king like Evergrace. If, if I, yes, legit. I was looking at my copy of Evergrace the other day, you know, like you do. Uh huh. <laughs> and I was thinking, God, what a great game. I'm really glad I have the RetroTig 4K. I can now play it in even higher quality. It looks like that that X Men image of you on the on the bed, like Wolverine, but with Evergrace. It's true. Instead. That's what I was doing. I was just in bed, holding it up and looking at it. Toshi's like, that's what you do when I'm at work? <laughs> <laughs> sometimes. Sometimes I just have to appreciate a king. <laughs> game respects game. Be gone. <laughs> hey, Spiff, you're in the area. What should we eat? Yeah, I'm, I'm like, I'd be fine with doing just fast food like the Wendy's or, or McDonald's. But if, if we want to get something better, there's like Hawaiian. Oh. And I, like, I don't, I know that a pizza sometimes it's next to negatively, so. Yeah, especially when that's like, we're eating it now. Right. Why is it? 50 fucking nugs. Yeah, of course that's what Spiff says. Why he was the one suggesting that earlier. I think Spiff's just trying to get me fat. Get Taco Bell? No, they keep screwing it up. Spiff's into fat guys. He's trying to trick me. <laughs> yeah, I, I can't trust this Taco Bell at all anymore, chat. And you know I can't. <laughs> Boop. And I booped him on a snoop. Yeah, well, why do people think that the Judgment series is dead? They haven't talked about it in a while, but I figured that's just because they have a new Yakuza coming out now. So. Maybe the ending of the second one's conclusive in a way that, Maybe. you know, the ending of Yakuza 6 was. Maybe? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. You gave the old Taco Bell way more rope because I had to. Right. We have choices now. <laughs> Man, it... When I picked up, because I, I got Chinese food and uh, Dan got the Arby's earlier. Uh huh. They were about the same price, and I got a full, like, <laughs> order of sesame chicken with rice and an egg roll. That's okay, you got, Bob, because I got a sandwich. You got a sandwich. <laughs> no fries, no drink. <laughs> There's a nothing sandwich. on the sandwich except for a cheese sauce and a pile of Arby's meat. Yeah. <laughs> God. 
that when I when I got that order, I was like, "What do you mean this this sandwich is seven dollars sixty cents?" Yep. Oh god damn it, dude! Of course you can't walk. That's a cliff. <laughs> hey Tosh. Okay, that's what it, Chris is probably right. The, the actor controversy thing, which all got worked out. Can you hear me? I never know with you. Um, Bob was staring at your bucket of popcorn, and he's like, is that a bucket of barks? Why does it say barks on it? <laughs> it does have a barks logo yeah, on it. Yeah, it has the barks root beer logo on it. No, I, was <laughs> I was very confused as to why you guys had some sort of bucket of barks. <laughs> we just... We <laughs> We we leave it out so it could get really flat. Tosh loves <laughs> nothing more than a bucket full of flat soda. <laughs> oh hey, we could go to we could we could go to KFC. We could just, there's the KFC in town. We could there go is? to it and I could get the, the drink bucket. <laughs> nothing would help nothing helps me power through death streams quite like what what is it? Mountain lightning or something? Why the the mountain get, dew Why would we bother with that when we get the lemonade that kills you? You make a good point. <laughs> People are saying they may have nerfed the lemonade that kills you, and I'm like, I don't know that they did. Like, based on taste, it seems about the same. Maybe they did, though. They certainly put it behind the fucking counter. The cowards. Peach lightning, that is. Yeah, that peach is lightning. It's, it's like honey flavored. Is that what it's going for? Yes, okay. it's really tasty. It's, I love that shit. It was so insanely sweet, I don't even remember a flavor anymore. I just remember it being insanely sweet. <laughs> Bob drank it and went to the red room for just a moment. <laughs> yes. <laughs> oh, it's fifth made a poll for dinner. I don't like this. I don't like oh, this me, at all. Let me see. Okay. 50 knocks KFC or something good. <laughs> Those are the poll options. Yeah, I don't know. I, I could eat 50 nugs, but it would not be a great dinner. No, that would not that would be not, a great dinner. Like, that wouldn't... Uh, we want to do fried chicken that wasn't KFC or those. There's also slim chickens. Should I trust it? It was fine last time I had it. Okay. I'm frozen. You motherfucker. <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> Try for like four hours for a jolly beast. <laughs> Sure. I wish it was only four. I think it's longer than that. Probably. Yeah, it was four and a half in, in Niceville. By the way, we have a spell that can raise our defense. Oh, that's neat. These Earth's powers pay paying off. It'd be cool if it stacked, so I'm going to check. Yes. Nope. Okay. I thought he was close enough to front of me. Hey, the rest of you should move in and stop being assholes who attack me from a mile away while I'm frozen. No. This is how we live. Yeah, I'm asking Death. you to please stop that. Death hugger. Yeah. All right. Yeah. He's 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 friends with the guy from uh, Golden Axe. <laughs> Him and Death Adder hang out. <laughs> What other Jolly Bees are nearby? Triangulate yourself with Jolly Bees. <laughs> okay, one second. Let me pull up Google Maps. Death Huggers, Bear Huggers, Final Form in the new De Punch Out game. Oh, man. <laughs> new Punch Out game. That would be really great. That would be so good. I get so scared in this area. If they just had a mini map in the game. No. No. <laughs> Oh, man. Us talking about food has me way hungrier than I was prior to that conversation. I'm sorry. Yeah, that sucks. All I know is my backup for later is definitely overnight oats. Uh-huh. I have my final thing of overnight oats. And these things get so close to death in two. I'm looking forward to the day I can take down the Apophis in two of those instead of three. Yeah. Eh. That's true, Chris. They do feel like they're running out of things to support. Oh, yeah. Yeah, this year's it, right? Right. Where they're just like, oh, God. They look over at their CEO who's just doing this. Like at every studio, they could just look over at the face camera. He does that all day. 
Get that oh. Zelda game and, and uh, punch out. I got Zelda games. <laughs> They're still not on. They're not imported. Really? Yeah, because we don't have uh, Ocar or we don't have um, a Twilight Princess or Wind Waker on Switch. Right, people would want Twilight Princess. Yeah. Yes. I wonder when I'll play Twilight Princess through again. Like how long that'll be. I wonder when Riona will play a 3D Zelda that is a Doc Rita time or Majora's Mask. Why would you bother? <laughs> Why did... Hit... Him. Oh no. Why did you end the turn twice in front of him disassociating? <laughs> he didn't have stick icon, I guess. Yeah, Xenoblade X could escape. It won't. No, I feel, I feel like that's like... the lowest priority of any of these. Uh huh. They'll, they're sooner, they'll sooner remake two, a game you can play on the Switch. <laughs> wait, are they remaking it for the Switch one? So it's yes. just like, wait. <laughs> <laughs> they'll remaster it for Switch regular. Oh, wow. Finally, I've been wanting to play this forever, but people told me the game was a little rough. I, I'm glad they remastered it so I could finally play it on my Switch. Well, Raj guy said he'd buy it in an instant, so you know it worked. It would work. Just put remaster on the end of the title, even if it's on the same console. That's depressing. Oh wow, the winning vote was something good. Cool. Who knows what that is? I don't know what that is. You think I understand what good things are? I'm playing Quest 64. Right. This is the worst. If they had a, a spell or an ability in this game to get rid of ice. That would currently be my highest priority thing. Right. Just like we're grinding to get that. I can't believe they kept showing dudes that have ice spells at you. That seems crazy. Really happening. Is there an Applebee's near you? Answer the question, Bob. I don't know. I not that I would ever even seek out an Applebee's. <laughs> you don't move to a new town and immediately go, okay, where are the Applebee's? <laughs> no, I'm not Dan's parents. <laughs> Thank God. One moment while I like, death stream with my mom. Bip said there is an Applebee's. Yeah, I, I could have sworn I saw it. I couldn't tell you where it was, though. Like, I have no idea. Can I please use this spell on you? No, you should have used a bigger spell. <sighs> is that the tiny water pillar? You want a big water pillar? Yeah, I just, I thought that was enough. And, you know, in a normal video game, you would be able to check if a spell could fucking reach before you use it. You know, like Parasite Eve? Uh-huh. Yeah, you'd think you'd have damage reins or something. Stop it. You just had me in a battle. Go to Olive Garden in honor of Sonic dying. What? Sonic missing? Chronicles died. Oh, okay. Which Why? really, it lives on. I, I'm, try I'm trying to figure out how Olive Garden would honor it, though. <laughs> Do we have to do a commentary track for Sonic 1 for it to stick in there for the rest of your life, or...? <laughs> I don't associate the Sonic movie with a larger brand. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're gonna after we record that commentary track. <laughs> Yearly. <laughs> and we... It's, it's also showed off because we had the Resident Evil TV show with a much that better... That is a much Olive better Olive Garden, Garden scene. scene. Absolutely. So I, it doesn't stick. Wow, really? I'm not watching Sonic 1 dance. <laughs> what? Why not? You enjoyed Sonic 2 so much. Just think about all those human characters you love and how much additional background you could get on them in that first one. Sonic no, you acceptable. loved it. What are you talking about? Acceptable. <laughs> Why would we rewatch that when we have the brand new Duckles TV show to watch, though? 
I forget, did you guys do the push side of the Jumper versus Burst podcast? Yeah, of course. It'd be fucking absurd if we didn't. <laughs> Come on. Why is it the same song? This I don't area. know, and I'm exhausted. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Why is it always this song? Imagine more than two songs. I can't. <laughs> Hyphen, the composer of Quest 64. Oh, boy. Now, do you think that Naruto movie can be as good as the Sonic movie? I think it can. <laughs> Not a high bar. I think it might be able to hit it. I think it might be able to hit it. <laughs> Have we gotten a level up in a while? I don't uh, think yeah. So. Yeah, okay. I did. Think about for food. I don't know. Um, what, what, what do you think about uh, Hawaiian? Yeah, that sounds great. Okay. Do they have a mobile app? Yeah. Do we have to order them on the web? One moment while I travel in here. Presto Magico! I'm here! <laughs> yeah, I think that we ordered it online last time. and then paid So they didn't have an app, but we used a web. Yeah, the website. website. Okay, cool, great. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go in here and save, because okay. there's no point in saving on the other side. No. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah. It's she not, just talked it's to not her. She's in. not a I real just talked to Efna. God, Efna. It's a good name. Was it supposed to be like, I don't know, Edna or something? Yeah, they just missed. Okay. They wrote, the, they wrote an F instead of a D. Anyways, I'll hand this to you. Get my order in. Do, 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 do. do you remember the do, name do, of the do, Hawaiian do. place? Uh, I love Hawaiian, I think. But that sounds ludicrous, right? That sounds fake. But da 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 See if I can ice knife him here. Love Hawaiian barbecue. All right. What? What? I thought you were saying hey to the music. Egg? Oh, you saw the picture of the egg. Good job, Tosh. That is an egg. <laughs> I was like, what's happening? What's yeah, welcome to my life. I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes sounds come from other rooms that I don't know why. Katsu and beef combo. Okay, Dan, this is going to be really tricky. You're going to order a thing from a place. Don't just order fried, fried chicken again. Okay. <laughs> Good luck. I sense a spirit over my shoulder. <laughs> a hangry spirit. Egg. Can I help you? Oh, okay. <laughs> are you afraid of me? Oh, are you afraid of me? She's A posing in the doorway. <laughs> yeah, she's looking for secrets on the menu. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest, at four foot eight, it, you, you A posing. You A posing is not that intimidating. Uh, I don't know, other than this deep fried musubi. Fresh bread obtained! We got the fresh bread! <laughs> no, somebody needs to stop toast. I don't know what to get. My brain just says, just get the chicken cots, and I'm like, I, I don't. I don't know. Okay, man. You know, there's a Korean fried chicken place that hasn't opened. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just saying, I'm thinking about it again. What's a loco moco? She has the power of a god. Oh, so it's that's kind of, Yeah, that's, that's like dad. um Yeah, that's like uh What do they call it? It's a steak thing where it's just got a lot of like gravy on it and stuff. Chat. Salisbury steak, I think. Oh, Salisbury oh, steak. Okay. Thank you, Bob. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm trying. I'm that. trying to think. I'm trying to think of a food to compare it to, and you're like, "That is what that food is." And I'm like, "I'm talking about a different one." Yeah, it's like a Salisbury steak. 
Hmm. I could kind of go for that. I'm going to look at some other stuff, though. Maybe there's something else that's going to jump out at me. Mini meal? No, I'm... I'm doing a death stream. I, I have no need for mini meals. Lava chicken. Yeah, what is a mini lava chicken? I think lava chicken is like just almost... radioactive chicken guts from the looks of it. Yeah. They just put a sauce on it. Scary. Ah. Oh, there's a, there's a, oh my god, there's another level up point over there. We, there has to be a town on this island. Yeah, there has to be. Or on this landform that was across a lake. Right. Whatever we're on. There's a new continent, maybe. Come on. A Lua Fork. Oh, I bet that whips. Oh no, I really want that. Eh. What are you thinking? I didn't even know they did Clue of Heart, because that, that's like... Yeah, that could be good. I'm doing the locomoco. Right. Let's do that. Do that. Okay. So she's like, hello, I would like saucy things, and they're like, ma'am? <laughs> um, I don't know what it com norm comes with normally. Like, how am I supposed to make a meaningful additional option here if I don't know what it comes with normally? Mysteries. Yeah, because they're like, no mac with sautéed veggies. And I'm like, well, does it... It normally comes with mac? I think so. It's got a picture of mac. Nice. What are the sautéed veggies? I keep mentioning things like party members and stuff, so I'm guessing that this game had a rough development cycle. Nah, what do you... That would give you that idea. Everything yeah. went according to plan. Yeah, okay, I put in what I want. Here, I'll move so you can... So you can order. You all saw Toast trick me, right? <laughs> she stayed there until it was her turn to order, and then she ran away. <laughs> are you a down? You're not the same boat I came here on, are you? Yes, it is, Bob. Oh, no. Oh, God, it totally turned me around at some point. Bob, you have a compass. You have a compass. Use it. Stop extending this death street by running in circles. Oh my god, we're gonna die in this screen. <laughs> Tosh runs away making the boo laugh sound. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's accurate. That's like a horse. <laughs> no, I can't. I can't remember it correctly, so. Yeah, she that's what remember, you get. She can't remember what the boo what the boo laugh sounds like. I don't think I can copy that, actually. Yeah, no, it's hard. Don't worry about your food. I'm trying to find your map. Oh, God. These, uh, boar wizards are weird. Yeah, they, they're, they're kid orcs, so we're, we are killing baby orcs. Okay. Just so we're clear. I have no problems with them. <laughs> because they're in, in between okay. me and the ending of Quest 64, and I'm willing to do anything. <laughs> There's an ending? Yeah, it, uh, which is why this is one point better than Skull and Bones. <laughs> Did Dan shave? I'm so clean shaven. Soup. There's soup. There's soup. Yeah, soup. Is it seafood noodle soup? Oh, that looks good. We get that. No, I don't want that. I don't want that. I, don't want that. I said katsu noodle soup. Yeah, I want 
There's no picture. Oh, I've added two so to the order. So she's accidentally added two bowls of it. <laughs> <laughs> it better be good. <laughs> Carl and A asked, hey Dan, did you paint your hair? Yeah, I grew it out. Well, there's boigas. Boigas? There's, there's a mahi boiga. Barbecue normal cheese man. burger. What do you mean, normal man? <laughs> just, just normal just man. man. We're your veggie. That says it's town. Seven dollars. You a small one. Four. Look at the side egg. <laughs> Chat. Chat. It literally just says side egg in all caps. This is what you can order. <laughs> yeah. No, I was thinking about getting the nuts and vegetables. I think it might be cheaper. Uh huh. You want that added? Go ahead. Yeah, go ahead. My God, every two steps. No, I'm not fighting you, rabbits. You're not worth it. Oh, hey, here's the thing you and I are, uh, disagree on heavily. Okay. I am gonna play Astral Chain again on this on the Switch too. You will never do that, I feel. I might try it. <laughs> I gotta get aggro, you know? Yeah. Do that, do that. Hey, aggro, do you like Ava? They sure like selling Ava. <laughs> um. They understood the point and everything. Yeah, definitely. Oh. Well, let me try one of these. Yeah, of course. This can't lose. Oh, yeah, I'm not gonna eat them. It's actually in halves. Yeah, I think they cut it into like four pieces. So, yeah. Four pieces. Total. Ooh. Yeah, it does. Is this place close? Okay, we're 620. We're good, probably. It's yeah, probably. Fine. It's fine. We're fine. They're up there? Yeah. When do they call it? I don't know, but it's only 620. I think I found a town, finally. Yeah, I was mortified for a fraction of a second as I went, that bridge looks a little bit too, those stairs Ooh. look a little bit too much like that bridge. Ooh, I'm getting this. This is this. Oh, do it. Come on, there mm. we go. Mm. Ooh, you're a real lad to be traveling about. I'll give you blue wings. I help then you. I'm steal you some veggies. Oh, maybe I could get. No, did you it's find okay. A I don't need there? Yes, I did. So I need to go I back. Do not need yes, Bagley. So uh, we can so go. <laughs> I basically know where it is. We're saving first. Well, she looks fancy. Not not fancy enough to be a real character though. My garden is rich with Actually, mint leaves. Actually, this looks really good. I think I'll get this. One. <laughs> I was trying to repeat the text. What? What? <laughs> huh? Too late, I'm glad they're giving us good items now. Yeah. Mint leaves are way better than dude props. You could just burn through props on that boss. It's paranoid. True. Okay, okay, okay. I had to run away from Greenak. Greenak? Greenak? And leave everyone behind. That's a Star Trek character, I feel like. Right? I wonder what has happened to my family. There you go, Bobby. Ugh. No. No. <laughs> I already have a guy who can run in circles. Thank you. <laughs> Look, we need to level up anyway. <laughs> I'm just saying, luckily, I don't have to go back to Niceville for that guy. <laughs> Chat, you feel so far away. I'm used to having you so close. You're so far. Do, do, do. Yeah, this sucks. <laughs> yeah, it does. I've heard the entrance to a cavern known as the Blue Cave is located somewhere in this town that leads to a mysterious, beautiful valley. According to an old saying, if the protecting water recede, 
The road leading to Crystal Valley will be open. My grandfather told me about it when I was small. Up till now, no one has ever found the entrance. You know, I don't think I've actually tried their barbecue chicken. Chat? One second, Toad. Bob, What's look up? at the screen. Listen. Why is it that delayed? I don't know. I, I think know. it's just been building latency this Maybe. whole time we've been playing. Let me unplug and plug the HDMI. Oh my god. Parts too. <laughs> no, I think I want to get a whole order of it. That's cool. I wonder if it'll ever come back to the TV. Hopefully. Oh, it came back here at least. There it is. Oh, hey, it's it. Whoa. Huh. Chat, were you experiencing that latency or was it all on our side? I was more concerned with how nice the silence was after <laughs> how much Quest 64 music we heard. <laughs> that, you know, that's fair. I can't, I can't. Okay, if they couldn't tell, it might have just been on the TV side. Maybe. That's weird. Mm-hmm. I'll practice as hard as I can. I want to be good enough to sing before the prince and queen someday. Um... Here we go, here we that's how we all sound. I think it was just you. Uh, Mods, can you time that person out? They're being really annoying. <laughs> Precious name Leela is living here. It's thanks to her protective spell that we can live and see. Please. A long time ago, a water spirit created a crystal well. Ever since, Larpool has been blessed with much water. Much water. Much water. So full from water. Oh. We have so much. Oh. <laughs> the well allowed water levels to be adjusted freely. People say the well still exists somewhere it's out. I wonder if it's true. Gabe, Gabe, you just had to mention the well. You don't have to be like, it literally controls the water. Splish splash. Splish splash, motherfucker. Hey, Bob. Hey, what's up? Look at this dude's face. Oh my god! Is he okay? His eyes are a different color from the rest of his face, too. <laughs> like, you can see his brow is just a different skin yeah, tone. Yeah, he's got, like, a massive tan on his forehead, but he has, like, a, he had a mask or something he was right. wearing. Right, he, he, he fell asleep on the beach with his sleeping mask on. Okay. Uh-huh. My wife keeps pushing our daughter to become a singer. I'd like her to do whatever she wants. Oh, I thought this was going to be weird, shitty sitcom dad, but it's really supportive, nice dad. Weird. <laughs> Dan, can you make this guy chat? Oh, hello. Galita, huh? She's like, my name is Galita. And she gives me mint leaves, and she's very nice to me. She's very nice. She's a very nice lady, this Galita. Okay, so that... Than that. Where the fuck? They aren't crazy enough to give me a map of this town. Yeah, no, that would be radical. Look at that man's breasts. They're very large. I mean, they were. Not wrong, chat. Sometimes you, sometimes you say that, and it is correct. Not often. Though. You can't get that pork with anything else. It's like you get either just that or any of these other combo meals. Yeah, do you want the pork or not, motherfucker? <laughs> you ready to make a deal? Starts playing the Shibuya Tensei Five negotiation music. <laughs> boo -doo, boo -doo, boo -boo -doo. I. Yeah. Okay, I got my thing in there. Are they calling this a well? Oh my god, they might. There's like no fucking way, right? It's a fountain, though. No, you can't just call that a well. It's a spring, like, what? I haven't seen you around before on your way somewhere. I'm so full, it's just so dangerous to travel. 
Nail Marples, uh, Lime Lime, Purple, always be the help. Okay. It's always home. I need to find a well. I don't see a well. I can barely go anywhere in this town because it's a town in Quest 64. Right. So this way goes to this house and to nowhere else. Maybe it's maybe it's inside this building. I didn't see it, but yeah, it's a shop. Well, Are you a nothing, well? Nothing in this nothing in this game is a shop. That is a a counter with a guy who gives me blue wings. Yeah, which obviously, is, which is like a shop in that it is a counter and a guy gives me things. It's the shop shape. Have you been able to get down to the lower floor that looks like it's down there? Bob, I can't get anywhere because... Okay. Oh, 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 wait. I wonder if this building... There's no way. That door. There's no way. It's got to be because I can't go anywhere in this oh, place. Wow, okay, there yeah. we go. There we go. There we go. Wow. I didn't, I didn't expect them to get so desperate as to have traversal happen via the inside of a building. Because they, they can't possibly just make a fucking town where you can walk places. No. Yeah, I can't. I can't get down there. Oh, well... <laughs> It does kind of sound like that other Final Fantasy VII song. I know what you're talking about. I'm trying to remember where it played. Hmm. I don't know when I was young, but I heard all the kind of story, but the scariest was the Day of Grief! Oh my god, the all Day the of All the provinces grief. of Gatland were fighting for possession of a magic book, but the was on someone fell in a room one day. That day became the Day of Grief, a powerful magician, restored peace with his methods and long forgotten. Don't worry, you can say literally any song about any song in the game. Man, this song sucks. That's just the the constant. Yeah, that's true. This constant thing happening in this game, man. This song sucks. In fact, did you know at any point during Quest sixty four, you could just say the two words "this sucks" and <laughs> yeah. it's true. Yes. <laughs> it's okay, dude. It's just water. <laughs> that's when we can. That the, the boat ramp. When you get the boat, you're gonna get that. <laughs> don't, don't bring up the boat ramp. <laughs> <laughs> I don't need to think about Abby <laughs> with their fucking boat problems. <laughs> are you... Are you kidding me right now? There's, that's not a real door. That's just the door-shaped door. It's not a real door. Everything's fine? That's what I thought. <laughs> me in the goddamn building. <laughs> Let me in. I'm gonna kill you. Give me three hundred dollars. <laughs> Brian's fucking had enough. This sucks. <laughs> yeah. No way. <laughs> My God. My God. <laughs> You're actually tricking me into talking to every NPC in this building, aren't you? Maybe the king's going to be in one of these rooms like, I want the water orb. I'm like, thank you. That's all I, all I really need to hear. Thanks. Can you kill me? The king's like, yes. <laughs> and then he kills you. <gasps> Chris, oh my, that's great. Oh my god. Are you sh Oh no, you're on no, your No, you're not shelf. You're but very you shelf adjacent though. I'm Leela, the sorceress. My destiny is to protect Larapool. Somehow the wind has stopped blowing. The reason can be found near the city of wind, nor moon. Man, every design is better stops, than yours. Demons are free to spread throughout the land. I am using all of my powers as water spirit to fight them off. Our world is balanced by one of oh my god. He's going. Master Brian. Master Brian! <laughs> but yeah, Chris was saying that he enjoyed being lost in towns as a kid because he didn't have to do the combat. <laughs> Me and the bad bitch I <laughs> swung <laughs> <laughs> by being the master's apprentice. <laughs> oh, man. That's that's really sad, Chris. <laughs> that's really sad. I get it. Please. Run away from Green Eye. Leave everyone. Ah, I wonder what happened to my family. Man, you suck. Apart from family. Oh, it's you again. Uh, fairy boats broke down, stuck in this town. It seems that an evil force is casting a spell upon the water. Wind and Lair Pool. Capital across from the southern cavern is Normoon. Yeah, so I guess that we, we don't really do anything else in town. We just go to the dungeon that's near town. Is that right? 
I, I assume. Because they made it sound like I have to move the water in order to even access the cavern. But if you're saying there is a blue cave on this map. There is a blue cave on the map. Oh, it's behind the town, though. All right. Yeah. So so that's, yeah. And they were literally telling me, like, oh, the well clearly controls the water. And I need to find out how to get to the well. And I can't even find a well. <laughs> Like, let alone start to prioritize how oh, to get to it. Oh, I bet that's it. Yeah, that's the, that's the blue cave. Yeah. Yeah, I can't get down there. Right, of course. And I can take to drain stairs the water. down there, but I need to drain the water. And in order to drain the water, I need to get to the well. But that's not the well. I didn't need to get to the well. Look, Bob, let me explain. I'm the water and this is the well, okay? <laughs> no. Thank you for the sub. I genuinely, I don't... I don't... Okay, for one. Uh-huh. For one, there's... It's important in video games to have to push the A button to open a door. Yeah. I didn't want to go in that door. No, you typically don't want to go in a door. <laughs> Generally speaking, yes. Oh, okay, so this is the thing I can't walk to, but this is nothing awesome. I need to find the, the well with Kazooie alone. Okay, Bob. Everything around here. I, I, I seem to check all the doors down here. Sadly, but, uh, you know. <laughs> yeah, never hurts to recheck. I, you know what? Let's check upstairs. Because the bottom connected to a new area. Maybe the top does too. If it does, I'm going to flip. <laughs> oh, that's where she was. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Which she just, should be next to Leela. something important. No. What if nothing? All right, what's over this direction. That's the dude with the weird face. He said about a character in Quest 64. Child. She's learning to sing. Yep, okay. The mother then says she's learning to sing. Okay. Yeah. No, man. Somewhere in town leads to a mysterious, beautiful valley, according to an old saying. Protect okay. the water seeds from... Yeah, yeah, he's just telling you. Okay, so the strategy guide seems to want us to go to Cole Hazard and then Normoon. Which is weird. They want us to go to that city that all those people in the hotel were talking about. Like, oh, that place is fucked up. Huh. And this is just being on put on hold for now. Okay. Let me see where on the map. Cole City. Is. Yeah, it's the Cole Hazard Cole and Hazard. Normoon's next to it. So, yeah, okay, you gotta go so all go the south. fucking way down there. Have fun with that. Anyways, uh, I can't see that was. Did you miss the song, Chad? Bibbidi bop. Oh. That little girl looks like the starting party member from G Little Girl from Grandia. A little bit. Okay. Chris yells, Sue! Let's go, Puffy! But yeah, she was uh, explaining that I needed to protect all the elements and keep them in balance and stuff. And I'm like, yeah, can I do this one now? And the game's like, no. no. Anyways, while Bob deals with this, I should go get food. Um, but or not, or I should send Bob to get food. Chat, what do you think? <laughs> oh my god, stop! <laughs> Can you not? Can we just not have dogs? Please? <laughs> Joke's on you, birth by sleep made me love Bippity Boppity. I don't know how that's what you get out of that moment. I actually hated it way more after. <laughs> Bob, what was your opinion on Bibby Boppy going in versus coming out of Birth by Sleep? Um, I, having basically no interaction beforehand, yeah. it was not positive. Okay. <laughs> okay. But at least in that game it ended, whereas this one, it doesn't seem to ever want to end. This Ooh. is true. This is true. Now we heal 16 with the level 1 healing. Fancy. Oh, 
Did I leave my phone charging? Oh yeah, it's in, it's in this other room. One moment. Uh, you guys aren't worth it. Escape. Oh my god. Chat, what's that meme number from Immersive Sims? Is it 0152? I'm trying to remember. You get the four digit code and you punch into things. 0451, thank you. 8008 is a different meme number, chat. 6969. <laughs> that is also a different meme number, chat. Okay. They're going to be ready in 20 minutes with our food. Okay. Yeah, do you want me to go or you want to go? Um, I'm okay playing Quest 64 and hanging out with chat. I, I you know, I don't know if chat feels the same. Maybe they'd prefer you to stay, but, uh... Like, we've had enough of this guy. He just... He, go, he runs in circles and doesn't understand the, the, the elegance of Quest 64. He doesn't understand the game looks so bad and the camera's so annoying that he needs to just be looking at the compass the whole time, otherwise he's doomed. <laughs> See, it's the opposite of what you were thinking, Bob. Ian Offspring says, you deserve a break. So they actually want you to go get the food just so you can have a fucking break from this. Do, 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 Mickey Mouse, kill me now. Donald Duck, kill me now. Quest 64 features neither of them. Let's see. Oh, we have a poll here. Wait, this isn't a poll. This is just a pin message from Spiff saying Shilf is a MILF. No. Sorry, Bob. <laughs> he wants them to be prepared. <laughs> silent flute obtained? What the heck is a silent flute? I don't know, but I'm gonna heal before I even look at it, because I don't want to forget about healing. Looking at the silent flute, it killed you. I'm like, oh no, we're playing the shadow game. Yeah, right? All right, silent flute, what do you got? Fresh bread. Silent flute. Strange flute with no sound prevents enemy spell. Oh, well, that's kind of that's kind of cool as a concept. If they can't cast a spell, because you played an instrument that makes no sound. It that is kind of metal. <laughs> da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Cool in a game where nearly all attacks are spells. That too. Yeah. Excited to use that on a boss. I watch it just like, I'm immune. Of course I am. He's like, I'm going to beat you to death with my hands. And I'm like, damn it, why aren't you like that guy from earlier? <laughs> we just mute him and put the double boots on and then keep ice knifing the second <laughs> boss. Oh. You know, I'm surprised this game has bosses. Honestly. That's, that's dire, man. Yeah, like, look at the way the rest of this game is put together is basically no story, no party members. And combat hardly works. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I'm it feels like that is the last thing. There's only one thing this game has, and it's the bosses. And you're like, what if it had nothing? Right? What if instead of NPCs that say barely anything and not even that many, there were no people? <laughs> Every room was an empty room, and there are no bosses. <laughs> it feels incredibly close to that already. I know. That's why it's so <laughs> depressing. Yes. This is like Magicka, but on the N64. I don't know, it seems to be more like Final Fantasy XIV. They're making the game run really bad. They're too, they're too high poly. Yeah, this is my first time seeing this enemy. They seem to be women These are just ladies, kneeling, right? Why do we, why, why are, are we killing we, them? What are, why do we hate women? Yeah, they're just ladies. Monster Marrow? We're the, we're the good guys, right, chat? I mean, we're for the church, so of course not. She's really small, but we're gonna kill her. No, they have water magic. Maybe I've got to use rock magic. West boy is a misogynist. His name's Brian. Okay. Oh, I'm frozen now. Oh, no. Siphon filter. It's... Yes, it's quite remarkable. 
What's up, Bob? I got bit frozen. Mm. How do they keep having enemies that can do that, but uh, no way to break out? I don't know. That's a little deranged. It is. Please die. Disrespecting you by crouching before beating your ass. Well, she has like two swords, right? <laughs> She's just like... <laughs> She's ready. What localization clue are we missing? Really? Is that how much rope we'll be giving this game today? <laughs> These are party members. <laughs> they just had them left over. We're like, all like, having a party. <laughs> God, yeah. Can you imagine? They literally like she was gonna be a party member, and they're like, whatever. It's a monster. <laughs> In my country, Brian is the stereotypical bro dude hick name. Okay, well, uh, now I'm fucking curious. Where, where are you from? <laughs> that seems insane. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest. Ours is like Bob, usually one of them. Like in a... Uh... Try Johnny? Brown. Yeah. God. Iowa? <laughs> Denmark, apparently. Brian's. Iowa? That's my country of Iowa. My country of Iowa. My homeland. Yeah, Billy Bob. Billy Joel. <laughs> anyway, Bob, if you... Well, actually, I need to drop in the, uh... Chet. Chet's a pretty, uh... God. And I gotta... What are you? Why are your arms like this? Are you okay? Oh, it looked like we're wearing armor, but I really just stripped my muscles. Ow. <laughs> you want to travel on, little one? Well, it's impossible. The bridge is down, and it'll take a while to fix. The only way for you to get to Norman Nor Moon is to go by way of Coal Hazard Cave. Oh, okay. Well, at least we can go there. And you're not requiring me to <laughs> find some fucking well. From this point on, we'll be entering the Windward Forest. But we hear that a suspicious magician has shown up. He has the power to control the wind, and probably was the one who blew down the bridge. Oh. Damn, wizards blowing down bridges all the time. Yeah, that's right. This is the most I've ever seen a streamer talk to Quest 64 NPC, says Spiff. Look, as, as we're trying to get, out, we're squeezing this rock. Right, we need right. to find the story we here. We need to find the story. The story is here. We oh, have no. to find it. Bridge but yeah, is if, fine. You, if you want to hand off and go get the food, because sure. it should be ready in like 10 minutes. Or right, probably. Go that, um, my stuff. Hey, hey, but yeah, the bridge is fine, but the, the door is closed on the other end of it. But that's because this doesn't connect to the, the whole... Yeah. What What do you what, what do you mean I'm in between those trees? Nothing around me even looks like those trees. I assume the trees would be the, the entrance to the area once that door opens. Um, so really, I have to go all oh, the way north and go around the other side of the lake. My bad. I thought, okay. What you gonna do? Other than walk the whole distance again. Have a good drive, Bob. Yeah. God knows I'll enjoy Quest 64 with me in chat. Da 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 da. Yeah, I think something that would really enhance Quest 64 is running at three times speed. I think that would actually help. Chat, how do you feel? Do you think this might be a really enjoyable game if it ran, like, at least twice as fast? Nice. Nice. Well, um... But yeah, I feel like you need to, like... You need to consider how long it takes a player to do things and maximize how much enjoyment they're having for how much invested time they're putting into the thing, you know? That's a lot of text. <laughs> you think I can just barely? Yes! They are really strong. Only taking 30... Oh, you gotta be fucking kidding me! Every day with these bitches. Stab them. Fucking video game sounds.
How come, how come they can freeze me so easily? Yeah, we're, we're hitting you. Heinous, heinous video game. Quest 64 remake or Ape Escape remake? Well, obviously Ape Escape remake. Having a higher fidelity good thing is better than having a high fidelity version of a very, very flawed skeleton of a game. Oh, man. Man, I was hoping that would be just enough damage. Okay. So the question is, do I now beat this one to death with my stick? Need the fresh bread. And we're going to see how much hitting her with the stick does. And then we're going to see how much hitting her with the stick does. Yeah, it does 28. We're doing that. <sighs> Missing in JRPGs is a really, really frustrating experience. That's always just so frustrating. Marrows are mermaids, but Irish. Oh, is that a thing? I did not know. This is literally Morrowind. <laughs> Oh man, I I I would love to beat an Elder Scrolls game on a stream. That would that would be really cool. I can't choose between Morrowind, Skyrim, or Oblivion. Like which 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 would be the coolest? I don't know. They they all have like things that make them more interesting to be the only one I've beaten. This game is very Irish inspired. I couldn't tell by all the Celtic. Oblivion would be the best, I think. But best for a stream? I like that, uh, you know, Morrowind is is on... Oh. On back combat, so, uh, you know, you can play it in, like, 4K, 60 frames per second, loading really fast, and that's really cool. Skyrim would be the shortest by a lot. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no. I'm, I'm talking about, like, if we could just do this, right? If this wasn't even necessarily a death stream. <laughs> you can choose Morrowind the fastest. Yeah, if I knew exactly what I was doing, I wouldn't doubt that that's the fastest one. These gremlins are weird. These are some weird gremlins. Okay, we're gonna check if, like, I do enough damage where one spe- Yeah, okay. Yeah, I feel like running this in fast forward would really genuinely make it a much better experience. You know, like these animations take too long, the game runs in slow motion too often. Play any of them on console because then you can't fix them with mods. Yeah. Oh no, damn. So how do I cross? Can I cross? Hmm. Yeah, I'm not. Did anyone in here even give me bread? Dude on the left gave me uh, wings to get back to the town, which whoop de do. I guess if anyone in this town was going to give me bread, it was probably someone over here because Mint Leaves was in that building. I didn't want to go in there. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I guess if you don't have a sign on your building, you're you're basically worthless, huh? Such is life. What about Skyrim PS3? I'd be too mortified that it would just break. Okay, you give mint leaves, which I probably should have used. You don't give anything. You also don't give anything. I don't know. Let's save down here. 
We've barely leveled. Also, it did not occur to me it's literally tracking the days based on the night cycle. The structure of these maps is so bizarre. I wonder... Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay, and then that leads... Okay. One moment. Okay. Blah, 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 shoot the room, discover the two men warning you bridges out. Okay, so there was just some alternate route I didn't see. Because I accidentally took the exact route back to... Yeah, fuck off. I'm trying to figure out where I'm going. And that was possibly the worst thing to do in order for me to do that. Okay. Yeah, it might be this way. Let's uh, use Ice Knife. I, I miss my Ice Knife freezing them. I get frozen by theirs all the time, but... Can't remember the last time Ice Knife actually froze an enemy. Come on. Thank you. Just barely not enough damage. Okay, well, we will no longer be doing that. What's that? Okay. So. Don't think this path I'm walking down now was the exact one Bob went down to get to the uh, bridge that's locked off, but we'll see. Yeah, we're down to hour 176. Give it up. Only 176 hours to go. We're going to burn through that so fast. Orc Jr. The casting his spell animation is so basic. Occasionally, I worry it did not register the down C. Give it up for hour 178. <laughs> Thank you, Oblivion, for the hundred dollar damage. I was really scared this this stone of thought might end. Thankfully, I don't need to worry about it. <laughs> yeah, to do, you should do Skyrim now because Oblivion hates you. You know, that checks out. It's okay, I just have to get into Mario 64 speed running and then no one will show up and no one will donate. So we'll we'll be safe. That's the only thing that can save us. The fun will never end! <laughs> you know, I thought we were safe with Quest 64, but evidently not. Oh, thank goodness. An attack that made them run in. I ain't moving. It'll fuck up my aim. Okay. <laughs> I feel like a lot of people don't know what the hell Quest 64 is, Linka. I think uh, we've had them in chat earlier at very least. I don't know if they're still here. They did not know that this was sadly one of the only RPGs on the N64. <laughs> How many, I, I've always heard that like, I've always heard that like people hear these YouTuber, oh my God, 
uh, these YouTubers talk about N64 games like they were the greatest of all time, like a lot of these rare platformers, and they... I, you know, I was hoping standing still would mean I'm fine. Oh, thank God. That's anything. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, you really gotta die. Okay. Jesus. Oh, that was terrifying. Um... But I always wonder, like, if it also is forming a generational thing where a lot of younger people are finding those YouTubers who are doing a lot of YouTube videos and stuff about, like, how great Rare's N64 output and other stuff is. And if they just look back, like, because from where I'm sitting, it was always people who were slightly younger than me and some of the people who are also my age um, having that opinion. I have to wonder, though, there has to be a group of younger people who are getting into retro gaming just thinking that's a boomer take. But that's because you don't know the good 7th gen game, Spiff. If you knew. If only you knew. Oh, hey. Can I, can I get, like, bread or something to not die? I'm shocked I was able to get through all that shit I just did without getting murdered. Uh-huh. And I get to save. That's so good. I've watched what you say are the good 7th gen games. I mean, Vanquish is pretty great. I'm trying to think what's my top list of... Oh my god! Silent Hope is awesome. Thanks for the recommendation. It is. You're welcome. Thank you for the $50 donation. Silent Hope is a great game. I wish more people had played it last year. Give it up for hour 179. Um, we're not getting it at 64 squares going with the PS1. That's really funny, Kogashi. Uh, my brother wanted the PS1 for JRPGs and stuff, and I wanted it for Mega Man, so that's how we ended up going that way. I can't think there were any other reasons. I also wanted a Sega Saturn bow, so... But that's because Sonic the Hedgehog was very cool, and I wanted the console that would definitely get a Sonic the Hedgehog game. And also, Panzer Dragoon has dragons in it, and dragons are sick as shit. Kid Me did not get a Sega Saturn, however. My uh, biological father ended up getting the N64, my mother ended up getting the PS1. No one got a uh, Sega Saturn. The Sega Saturn does not have blast, blast processing. Then again, walking up to a beehive, I bet you won't sting me, you stupid fucking bees. <laughs> the answer for the stick. Oh, wow. This is like one of the most narrow uh, passageways it's ever put us on and had enemies fight us. That's crazy. Luckily, they still die in two splashes. That's That was risky because I was about to hit down C to heal right after the battle. So I could have accidentally put an extra point into water, and that would have been terrible. Is anyone else nervous about how this cave might go? I'm pretty nervous. Oh yeah, we need to be hitting that button. One moment, we're gonna go ahead and get back to the fully authentic experience. Perfect, beautiful, gorgeous. Mm, I should have gotten the N64 for Super Mario 64 because it fascinated me as a kid, but I walked past the Babbages and they were playing a demo for The Lost World on PS1 and dinosaurs trumped everything. Oh man. That's cool, Wesley. Yeah, I wish I got a I wish I got a Sega Saturn in years. That would've been neat. Um, if I recall, this is one of the big grinding spots for speedrunners. Huh. But da 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 How does progression work in this game? I don't think I've seen a single level up. So when you saw the four dots just then, that's when I leveled up getting a higher level spell. Because um, if you look in the lower left, you can see the strengths of my four elements. 
and uh, that's what the levels uh, level ups look like in this game. They just pop up with that thing, and uh, my least favorite thing about the N64 is that dither thing. And I turned it back on like a second path. Saga rules stats level up by using them. Yeah, the rest of my stats level up that way. Um, I'm just going to heal. It just occurred to me that menu sound is the same as their, like, weird wind cutter abilities. Oh, yeah, no, it does sound like a Final Fantasy VII battle music that let, that never starts. It's horrible. There's an almost purgatory-like quality to various aspects of this game. But, yeah, if we weren't leveling the specific elements of magic that we are, our defense might be more of a concern, so then we would have to find a multi-hit enemy that only does one damage and just let it keep pounding us in the face. Because you level up defense by the amount of times you've been hit, not by the amount of damage you've taken. This is gonna suck, isn't it? Oh, man, the dumbest thing I could do here was take out the little enemies, because then this dude we get to go every turn. This is the first time I feel like I've had to actually consider that. I can't see the damage. Well, that time I did. Sir, can you please die? <sighs> Game. Quest 64, you're so rude. I feel like it's finally time to use Honey Bread. Because I think he can kill me in one use of his ability. The dragon for the box art. Oh god, if this is supposed to be that dragon, that's really rough. That's really rough. Okay. Um. I don't even think I have two fresh breads. Watch, now I'm going to ace this battle because he's going to die in that hit. Ah! Oh. Bark. Anyway. Bonk. Okay. So... I'm going to go ahead and use the mint leaves. Well, actually, we, we still have these, like, little baby dew drops, right? Oh, does this menu horizontally wrap? I'm worried I'm going to get jumped by another dragon. Like, immediately. Because I don't think that dude was special at all. I think it's going to keep dumping enemies on us. Also, in battles like that, I really need to uh, give myself that, like, earth armor stuff. Oh, hey. There's the spirit. Holy shit. Oh, my God. What in Christ's name are these things? Scarecrow. It's very funny. Oh, cool. Well, luckily, they were standing close to each other. Shadow the Horge Hawk. <sighs> I'm doing this. Chat. Chat, I'm sorry. I have to. Such is the nature of this game. For anyone who missed it, what we're doing is I'm using an exit spell. And what that'll do is make it so I can pick up this level up for my spirit, my element, multiple times. So here we go. Okay. So that was decent. That wasn't too bad. And now we just have to rerun the beginning of this dungeon. Wait, that's cheating. Uh, no. It's a glitch. What earth spells do you have now? Rock. Rolling rock. 
fucking rolling rock. Weakness. Spirit armor level one. No level two, sadly. Okay, chat. Here's what we're going to do. I'm going to show you the thing about N64 graphics that is my least favorite thing in the world. So if you look at the white pixels on this health, okay? You notice as it as this HUD passes in front of the things in the background, white pixels at random will appear noise-like all over it as it tries to do the most horrible anti-aliasing humanly possible. So here we go. We're gonna see how it's melting. Sorry, I gotta hit this to bring it back up. Yeah, see that? See that? See that? That's literally my least favorite thing in N64 graphics. It's basically temporal AA of the time. I hate it. It drives me insane. That is a fully authentic thing that the mister here is recreating. I hate it so much. It is the worst. I even, you know, even this like weird dither pattern thing you see in the background and stuff doesn't bug me nearly as much. Not, not in the least. How do you have eyes for that? I get it, but I would never notice that. I noticed it on CRTs growing up. And like, the more clear video go quality got from there, the more obvious it was to me. Where it's just like, why does it do that? I thought that was the video cable. <sighs> Fun thing about the 32-bit generations, all three consoles, entirely unique curse artifacting problems. For some reason, when you said 32-bit, my brain went, you mean the gen after this? Because they they were still using 32-bit processes even then. Um, yeah, the uh, when it comes to 6th gen consoles, the interesting thing about that is the GameCube works in a non-full chroma resolution space. So no matter how high quality of a tap out you get, it's 422. The PS2 is a nightmare machine that Ken Kutaragi was like, we can save a little bit of performance if we just have it work in a field instead of frame based uh, image processing mode, which is terrible because uh, now like getting good video quality out on that console is uh, really difficult, really difficult. That's also why most things don't support progressive scan, unlike the Xbox and GameCube, which like most of those libraries, almost all of them support progressive scan, which is really great. Honey bread. Thank you, God. Da -da 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 -da. Yeah, I've said it a couple times on content, you know, I've compared my, uh, like, weird noticing of problems like that to a literal autism, and that's not a joke. Mostly because the exact same thing I do with audio is called misophonia, and then it turns out like, oh, yeah, no, misophonia is absolutely just a being on the spectrum thing, and I'm like, oh, God. I'm just completely undiagnosed on <laughs> top. And I'm not going to go to a doctor and pay money to get diagnosed as being autistic. That seems like a complete waste of money. But yeah, that shit stands out. What does field mean versus frame? Okay, so a frame is like a whole image. This is a progressive scan image. It is the whole frame, right? Right, they aren't going to do anything. Yeah, they're just going to go, congrats, you're on the spectrum. And I'm going to go, good. I knew that already. <laughs> like, like, there's no point in that for me. Like, that, there's nothing they can... One, there's nothing they can do. Two, what would they... What would I... Anyway. Uh, so, this game is rendering this whole frame. The gen after this, interlaced, was really, really common. Um, so... They, like, SDTVs couldn't do 480p. They could only do 480i. So the PS2, as a hack, has a mode you could render in that literally only processes and renders the interlaced fields. So it's called field rendering. Give you a pill to make your eyes slightly worse? Well, the, also the, you know, hearing thing, the misophonia, that's... But yeah, um, it's kind of sad how like even the PS2 HDMI stuff, it's great, but like one, horrible problems and mine's not stable in the least. Please look forward to the Tony Hawk Marathon where we're going to keep giving it a chance every time we boot a new game and then it will probably break. 
Um, but it's still not like GameCube gets an HDMI dongle that's less than $100, and it looks incredible. It looks great. Use your misophonia as a weapon. I do. I'm an audio engineer for our podcast network. <laughs> Who am I using the weapon on is the real question. Sir. Sir. <sighs> that was that was close. It's still close. Do I have some basic bread to eat? So this dragon just pops up in this one spot, like, consistently, huh? This didn't spawn anywhere else in the cave, which makes sense because it's too cramped to fit that model on those tunnels. And didn't run into it after this spot. They'll drop honey breads if you don't have any. Is that true? Man, that's sick. But yeah, as it turns out, being someone this observant and, like, physically repulsed by imaging errors doesn't have any benefits. The only field I could have gone into is being a graphics engineer. And it's a little late for that. So it doesn't feel like an advantage. Because here is the thing, like, honestly, at the beginning of the day, um, at the beginning of Gigaboots, the idea was the image quality would matter and people would care about video quality, right? Um, and they did, but then all platforms other than YouTube died, and YouTube just brutalizes image quality. So then there was no way for them to even appreciate it. I don't want to have a battle with a dragon where he gets to take a turn every turn. I would just die. But yeah, I've actually seen, um, you know, graphics engineers and stuff who do totally get, like, the stuff we talk about on Big Think of, like, temporal AA looks worse than any sort of lower resolution or any other problem you could have. Like, I've seen this person literally talk about, you know, oh, what is the term? Oh, wow. I did hit down C first, but I didn't give it enough time to end the animation, so it ate it. Um, you know how you take an oath as a doctor to never do a, a patient harm? Uh, basically that, but for graphics, where it's like, don't come up with solutions that damages the original art. Don't ruin what the artist made. Um, and that's literally what he compared it to himself talking about this exact sort of thing and I, I thought that was really cool and really funny and I really appreciate him being out there because it feels it feels so weird to hate all this temporal AA and imaging problems and stuff and it feels like every person who's in the tech industry is just like what are you talking about in a completely in a frictionless vacuum this looks better bereft of all context and all meaning removing all actual art from the picture I am out of MP. I killed him with the hit. Oh my god. Uh, it, it feels crazy to have to hear that over and over. So it felt really refreshing to hear someone be like, no, like we should stop inventing these graphics technologies that just make things look worse. The funny thing is, as oh, I hoped it would bridge the gap just right, but no. Um... I actually do see the value in temporal A. My thing is, I don't see that value being nearly as good unless it's literally just anti-aliasing, you know? Not upsampling. Just anti-aliasing. Which is never what it's used for. So it's a, you know, you just you just run the game at half of the real resolution and then it'll it'll figure out the rest. Also, I really need to remember if I get in that exact battle to use... Eventually, these things will be down there. Um, use the armor. You were right to do it. Bob was right to leave. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed my little tangent about this thing that I deal with.
<laughs> I have the kind of autism where the frames have to drop to Bloodborne levels for me to care. Yeah, I, uh, I'm i very excited to try to hack a, uh, Agro's kind of borked PS5 to try to get Bloodborne to run at 60 on it. Um, I don't know if it has a prayer of working. Let me think about this turn order-wise. This doesn't matter. Um, none of this matters. Just use the thing now. Anyway, um, because, yeah, that, that frame rate... It's not even that the frame rate's that bad, it's the frame pacing. Like, you wanna, you wanna see a game that proves that frame pacing is just as important as frame rate. That and, uh, Hell Divers on the quality mode are it. Yeah, and that's the thing. People can get motion sick from low frame rate games with heavy motion blur. Oh, my armor actually ended. I'm gonna have to take three hits. Well, three attacks. It could be a lot more than three hits. This is a really risky dungeon. This is... We're gonna have to grind a lot to survive this, it feels like. Hey, Crab Can, thank you for the sub. How you doing? Link's Awakening on the Switch is the only game that made me motion sick in my life. Wow. Wow. That's... Wow. That game was really neat. Uh, yeah, let's use healing level two, and I'll hit him with the stick, and... Hopefully. Oh no, the stick is nowhere near strong enough. But that gave me one MP, which gave me enough to hold. Crap. This is this is dire, you guys. This might be the toughest it's been. Amount of stuff go you that sucks, and then I get used to it and stop caring while I play the rest of that game. Yeah, that specific thing about the N64 anti anti-aliasing solution has, like, been a thorn in my brain my whole life, basically. I honestly always figured it was a video thing, because if you've used a CRT... Camera. <laughs> I would like to see what's over there. Thank you. Then I turn around, there's a dragon. We are running. We are running. We are not fighting the dragon. Okay. Um... If you've used a CRT, then you... Oh, wow, really? Okay. We're doing it again. We're doing it again. Once again, for anyone who missed it, I can use a return spell or an exit cave spell, and uh, that allows me to spam this in order to get multiple pickups to level up my element. Whew. Can't believe Bob is missing the gripping plot development of Quest 64. Yeah, uh, cave? That's all we've been doing? Just cave? So many characters to introduce him to when he gets back, like, this corner of this tunnel. He- wasn't he here when I got in here? No. No, he left when I was- okay. But man. Man, it feels like so little has happened. Uh, rebirth demo running on graphics, but I don't know his imagination sometimes in the upper worlds it looks like it goes up to 45 frames per second. I feel like Digital Foundry would have covered that if that was the case. I hope he's here for the boil hole. That is a concerning statement. Okay. So let's let's actually let's put on some spirit armor. And try out some of these rock spells. Hey Bob, I'm still in the cave to get to Normoon. This cave is insanely difficult. There's a scary dragon. He sucks. Uh, so guys, that's not stronger than my, than my other spell. Let's try Rolling Rock. Okay, that somehow perfectly missed everyone. So I'd try that, try that again from a different distance. dire. 
was really dire. I don't know if it's missing because they, they're flying. It looked like it spawned the rolling rock behind them and it rolled off the cliff multiple times. That's what it looked like to me. Oh, man. But anyway, uh, what I was trying to say earlier is that anyone who uses CRT knows when, like, the image gets bright, it can affect the rest of the screen, and that's also how video signaling can work. In fact, that problem I SNES that had an RGB mod had was exactly that, where um, if something's bright here, then the things that come after it would be affected. So I always thought the N64 thing was something weird with a video signal that was that. I didn't think it was inherent to the N64 image processing. That seemed... That seems so weird that I wouldn't have thought that was the case. I love that my coffee maker has DRM. Oh, yeah. Tosh, food's here. Enjoy your food. Ah. I will sit here in hell. <laughs> I think you should get attack credit for your autism. Uh, yeah? That's how it should work. That should be the encouragement to forget people to get, to get diagnosed. To diagnosed, yeah. I agree. You know what? As, as, as the person with clear undiagnosed autism, I agree I should get money. Right? <laughs> Someone should Yay. pay me for this. Also, I should be able to sue companies for using temporal AA. <laughs> yes. Need da my damages. Yeah. You have no idea how much distress this causes me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Chris also agrees. See? There you go. Oh, nice. Honey bread. I, uh... I should always make sure I have the honey bread before I step into the dragon's domain. <laughs> As someone who's very much diagnosed, I agree. See? There we go. Everyone agrees. Though. Right? Easy wins here. You know, it's funny to be like, my my coffee maker has DRM, and it's like, yeah, that sucks. Modern, modern society, right? And it's like, your 3DS capture card doesn't work anymore because it has DRM. <laughs> Bump, bump, bump. What a great song. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like, um, I feel like there should be some sort of government initiative to prevent all of these appliances that definitely do not need the internet from connecting. Right. Like, that is not the future. It offers nothing to people who use it. Right, exactly. Like, you're, you're adding literally nothing. And you know you're adding nothing. You know you're just trying to add a dependence on the company. Right. Boop. This song has Crash Bandicoot Game Boy Advance energy. I'm so sorry that that's in your brain. I'm so sorry that you have songs from Game Boy Advance Crash Bandicoot games in your brain. That must be so hard for you. Right? Where'd that Internet of Shit guy get to? Oh, no. No, no, no. no. Don't solo me, dragon. <laughs> Oh no! Oh no! It was a perspective thing! I wasn't actually out! God, that dragon's insane to just appear here. Yeah. And they do so much damage. And they're so strong. And luckily, sometimes they have two friends, so they only get to take a turn every once every three turns. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do spirit armor. And we're gonna just stand. Miss. Miss. That's what I want to see during this battle. Yeah. Miss. Well, I'm glad spirit armor works. Uh, I do wonder if it would... Uh... If it would get stronger as that element gets stronger. I, I'm skeptical. That would make sense, though. It would make sense, which is why I'm skeptical. Right. Thank God. Yeah, I just, I can't even do this battle without just exhausting my uh, MP, as you're seeing. Yeah. No, you're, you like have it's, three left. It's literally that bad every time. Hey, camera. They look like they're moving fast forward. Are you? Wow. Are you fucking? Fucking serious. 
Jeez, it's this game. Okay, and then... What are we doing, camera? Yes. Hit him with the stick. And then I'll get the one MP from hitting him with the stick, and then I can use that. And it'll miss was the rest of my sentence there. Cool. I'm gonna get soloed by a Skelebat. Uh, oh, well, here we go. We're getting somewhere. Oh, man. Oh, man. I am so tired of this game. This game is really, really dire. I'm shocked that any human ever beat it back in the day. Right? That's genuinely surprising to know. So what are we aiming to get from leveling up first? Uh, I assume the high level stuff is just really good damage wise. Mm. Vox did not clarify. I do not question her at all on this because no. it is a known fact. Avalanche. Avalanche. Oh yeah, okay. Avalanche is really good. Okay, let's let's see what sort of really, really just just this hero's drink. Oh man! Oh man! <laughs> I can't even heal. Now I can heal. Yeah, because this doesn't. This isn't even something that was like, oh yeah, if you were into RPGs, you just would understand what's going on and deal with it. Just, no, this game is cryptic and bad. <laughs> and it's not even, it's not even that level of it. It's the part where it's like, the grinding in this feels insane. Like I've played so many PS1 JRPGs that of course require grinding. Right, that's a normal thing. But the grinding here doesn't even feel like it makes sense. It's, a, it's complicated, it's complicated. This turn-based souls like Jesus, do you hear yourself? But is it like Final Fantasy XIV while being a turn-based souls like? Well, it's all the same genre, I'm certain. And you're probably right. Boo -doo 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 -doo. Final Fantasy XIV is, of course, what d d made uh, <laughs> Souls games take off. Do 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 do. I'm gonna hit this fucking bat with my stick. Da -da -da -da. Honey bread. They drop honey bread. That's These good. Bats. Not consistently, but yeah, of course not. Nothing, is, nothing is consistent except for except for shop. NPCs and towns that give you things, and they go, "I'm sorry. Here's here's damages for the fact that our game looks ugly." <laughs> right. The, 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 sorry about us not having written anything for the town. <laughs> My quest sixty four reparations. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually feeling very, very ill in the head because I just go, what if we grind on these Skelebats by letting them pound on my face doing one damage? That's what people over and over. saying, right? Like, that's, that's what Fox was. Up. That's how we get defense. I just let an enemy that's really weak hit up, pound on my face. It's a multi-hit attack, and it's like, oh, I really... That's a miserable stream. <laughs> yeah, it is. Uh, welcome to Quest 64. That is the speed run strat. Yeah, okay. Are you eating? Oh yeah, I'm still eating a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I'm cool. Like switching it. off because I ate a good chunk of this. Mm. Yeah, I'll I'll eat whenever you're good, but you know, no rush. Ooh, do 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 do. Ooh, do 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 do. Miserable, miserable game. Yeah, isn't it great, Tom? I I was like. I did not get Ronald Reagan as the devil jokes until I got older. I just assumed they hated the president. <laughs> a perfectly normal thing to do. Right. Hating a president. Unless, of course, that president is George Bush. Uh, what was it? George Bush uh, Jr. You can't you can't hate him. That's un-American. <laughs> My parents informed me. OK. George W. Bush. Yes, now I understand he was, in fact, literally the devil. <laughs> Yours too, huh? Oh, yeah, of course. Just say shrub. 
But yeah, no, mine too. Like, they, they absolutely uh, shit talk Clinton and hated Clinton. I was like, okay. And then, and then the Dixie Chicks thing happened. And they were like, you can't... They can't do that. We don't listen to them anymore. And I'm like, why? They just were critical of the president. They're like, yeah, you can't do that. I'm like, you do that all the time. They're like, well, you don't do it in other countries. I'm like, what? What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah, anyways, that's my parents. They're very, uh, very Fox News core. Oh, shit! Oh, my God! I fucking escaped! Incredible! Look at the other song again. Why does this look like the place I came in from, though? Oh, no. Why does this look like the place I came in from, though? No! No! Literally the worst place in the world I could have gotten turned around. Yes, Dorothy, I would love to save. <laughs> Alright, I'm good. Cool, do I have a dungeon for you? It's called Shit Cave. <laughs> you uh, good or do you what? need to wash your hands? Okay. I'm just, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave. This is hell, Dad. All exits lead here. Starting to feel that way, yeah. At least I leveled up. It's not like I didn't get anything done. I'm beginning much stronger, but Jesus Christ. It's very rough. Very, very rough. It's been long enough, I forgot what I ordered other than the fried musubi. Yeah, I think you got the loco moco thing. Uh, I can do this. I cannot get turned around in this cave. Alright. Well, just one skull dude isn't bad. That's good. Oh no, two! Oh yeah? Was the deep, deep fried? Is that what you ordered? Yeah. Where the hell are you going? <laughs> How is that not played sooner in the stream? I don't know. Anyway, okay, chat. I'm gonna I'm gonna punch into the damn cam so you can see this chaotic. I like that Quest 64 so big it's invading. Anyway, chat. This is the deep fried spam musubi. Look at how chaotic red orange that is. Yeah. It's spicy. Is it spicy? That is intense. Got all the way through that area without that getting really jumped. really intense. Oh my god. What's up, Bob? <laughs> I got all the way through that area without being jumped by enemies. Yeah, that was weird. How'd that happen? I don't know. Oh my god. <laughs> ah! Oh, no. By the way, Bob, while you were gone, the timer went up. Uh, yeah, I heard a few donations that were pretty big. Yeah. It's okay, you gotta go through all the way through uh, like a dragon. Yeah, that 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 will, if I'm lucky, knock off half of that timer. Right. We still gotta do our community Halo Day, which I feel like doing any day now, frankly. Yeah, yeah, why not? It's gonna be good. Right. It's gonna be fun as hell. We're gonna have a great time. Luckily, there's no catastrophically bad Xbox news right now, so we should probably do it now. Just like, we want one, one week where we don't have to talk about the Xbox news and we can play Halo. Phil Spencer killed a man! Dan gets turned around only to be greeted by clown music. What an immaculate game. Yeah, we need one last Halo game in order for us to do the ritual. We use the Gigaboots magic to bring it to life on PS5. That's how Halo Master Chief Collection comes to PS5. <laughs> Jesus. Hey, where's our honk and also my honey? Uh, I'm gonna be honest, guys. The plan was to give you the honk during the Sonic Chronicle stream. Right. 
and then it broke. So all that time I went into, uh, put into trying to save it, um, was the time that would have been spent setting that up. Then we had to change. So, legit, blame the 3DS capture <laughs> unit. <laughs> Halo 6 on PS5. And it's the best one since Halo 3. That'd be so good. Oh my god. Yeah, we're... <laughs> this thing should be... Oh illegal. yeah, I should have prepped you. You need to be... Okay. Uh-huh. Did the dragon just go? He went one to... Or Two turns ago now. So he's about to go again? No, he should. They're actually one turn ago, so he should be going after the next turn. Okay, yeah, feel free to attack. And then heal, I assume. Because. Yeah, use heal level two. Uh, and run. Sometimes you can dodge it. Okay, so the thing I figured out with this dragon dude is any time you're fighting him in the two Skelebats, you need to be putting that uh, armor on. Oh, the armor? Yeah. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my God. I hope Microsoft gives up on making anything exclusive before ha Fable comes out. I want to play it. Says Spiff. I, I wish they would just find a way to port Fable to platforms where people would care about them. Because modern Xbox fans don't care about Fable. They don't even know what that game is. That's true. I mean, they care about it in as much as they saw it at a, a, a fucking Xbox event, so it has to be important. The amount of disposed of them. Incredible. Wicked Ray Guns has been meaning to play Halo 3 since it came out, just didn't on account of poor. Yeah, I, uh, I had to choose between the 360 and the PS3 that gen, and it was not easy. That's that that was honestly the thing that was funniest about the stupid fucking narrative that were Sony ponies is I was really close to getting a 360 that gen. <laughs> I was like, I want to do good online and you know they have Xbox Live, but then I have to pay for Xbox Live. Um Tony Hawk's custom soundtracks. Uh-huh. Um games generally run better. I almost chose the 360. Okay, and now you can heal again. <laughs> right. Just a few steps, we can heal. Another heal. Chris says, I had a 360, then a second, and then a third. Then I got a gaming PC. Yep. That's the pipeline. Interesting thing about a new Digital Foundry video. Uh huh. It's about a graphics card that is exactly on par, specs wise, slightly better even than the PS5. And they do benchmarks to compare the PS5 with this graphics card, okay? Okay. Well, an interesting thing in that Digital Foundry video is they said something I've never heard them mention anywhere else. And they stated it like it was fact that a developer told them this. The ray tracing API on the PS5 is much more efficient than the Microsoft one. Huh. It is much more efficient than DirectX's ray tracing support. Um, the reason this comes up Cyberpunk performs much better on the PS5 than it does that GPU for PC. Huh. Like, like it takes it from 23 frames per second to 30. Wow. Uh -huh. yeah, that's, that's pretty significant. Yeah, it was fucked up. I was like, that's crazy. So anyways, I have to wonder how that'll continue going forward when we end up with consoles actually strong enough to do ray tracing in a meaningful capacity. Uh-huh. And how that'll go. Next gen and the PS5 Pro is going to be pretty interesting in that regard. Yeah. Because if everyone's going to start moving to ray tracing, it might be pretty important when <laughs> there's a massive performance advantage to Sony's API over the DirectX one. That's that's really nuts. I never would have guessed. Um. But yeah, the fact I thought Tony Hawk was going to be a continuing concern for my platform of choice during 7th gen shows how early that gen. Yeah. I was making that decision. Right. I think the main re the, I don't think, I know for a fact. The final thing that was why I got the PS3 instead of the 360 mm -hmm. was I could not afford to pay for online games. That was a game a year. Yeah, no, that that sucks. And now they all do it! Yay! Hey, Thank you, Microsoft. Microsoft! You're such a good innovator in this space. 
Anyway. Makes sense. The PS5's API can just target one chip and may not even have to go through the driver layer. I mean... That's not... It's, it's more complicated than that, for sure. Xbox had no good listing impact, huh? Um, hard drives being standard on consoles. You know, because the Xbox original did that, but <laughs> they then they tried so to undo quick that. that I'm like, they did what now? <laughs> they tried to undo that immediately the next gen with the arcade edition. Yeah. Just some coward shit. Um, trying to think what else you can credit to Microsoft. Sane development tools and good uh, software for game development. So good SDK. Okay. Um, they're literally the first. <laughs> kind of crazy. Yeah. Yeah, no. It used to... From the perspective of Nintendo and Sony especially, there was always the energy of, we made the box, you bought the developer kit, you figuring out how to use it is your goddamn problem. Uh-huh. Um... Yeah, so even Visual Studio... I mean, the funny thing is, like, people use Visual Studio to make PS5 games and shit. Like, mm -hmm. you're not... Sony doesn't have that. Like, they don't have a... What, what is the term? IDE? It's something like that. I think it's IDE. Anyway. Yeah, so, so I think that's pretty weird. That uh, Sony's API would be more efficient. I get why. That they, you know, ray tracing existed before they had to make that API to some extent. So they could observe the... Making the tool to solve the problem after you've been able to observe the problem thoroughly. Right. Helps. Every Xbox release always felt a year too early for me. Um, curious if you mean Xbox first party software or... The console itself. The console itself. Having an unusually good development kit is actually one big reason the PS1 did well. They bought Cynosis primarily because they were guys who made dev stuff for Western developers at the time. Uh, uh, no, there, there are plenty of stories about how bad the uh, development information is on uh, PS1 stuff. Like, you can even hear the people who made Crash Bandicoot talk about it. Where they're like, we get this thing from Japan, the manual's broken English. It doesn't even make sense, so we're all speculating what it means. Oh cool, solo dragon fight. You have chosen correctly. Yeah, I overheard that part of like, oh, I gotta just... <laughs> yeah, no, I don't want to hit, be hit by a dragon every fucking turn, that sucks. Been gone for two hours, I assumed I missed a number of important story beats. You sure do assume that. Why would you assume such a thing? Uh, chat be assuming. 360 was literally launched a year before intended to establish the market for hold while the PS3 was still waiting. Uh, yeah, Sony bluffed them into thinking they could ship in spring. Because that, it, it, not a lot of people remember. The PS5, the PS3 was supposed to ship in spring of 20, of 2005, or 6. So that would have only given the 360 about three months, and then they pushed it back nine months. Wasn't that similar with the dev kit for the PS3? Yeah, the PS3 is also a development nightmare. <laughs> um, the PS4 is the first good to develop for Sony platform. Like, not only from a development angle, but an architectural angle and countless other angles. Oh my god. What a surprise. I know, right? Uh, but yeah, no, uh, the 360 honestly would easily make one of my best consoles of all time if it just simply didn't have the Red Ring of Death. Right. That is that is the number one reason why if I made a console ranking tier list, like if we did that stream, it would be really hard for me to put the 360 in S tier. Oh, yeah. Because no, that's, that's... Or the 360 in S tier. I think I said that correctly. Because yeah. um, the Red Ring of Death is so completely unacceptable but that's that's basically it i mean by the end of that generation you could even install 360 games on the 360 it is so you cannot overstate how good a feature that is right oh my god 
Stop. Stop. Random encounters, can you stop? No. Have no MP. We're leaving. Oh yeah, Wicked Ray Gun. The PS3 is an absolute nightmare to develop for. That's um the PS3 is when I started getting technically the PSP is when I started getting into learning about hardware for gaming platforms. Uh specifically I got raised I self-educated on graphics technology and stuff during the era of uh, NVIDIA having launching like the 6000 and 5000 series GPUs. Keep in mind, I didn't have a gaming PC. I couldn't afford that. I didn't have a decent PC until we started running Gigaboots. And the GPU I got for that was cheap garbage, <laughs> basically. Um, because the GPU didn't do the work back then. Right. You know, back in 2010, your GPU did not render things for you necessarily for video production or any of those other things. They didn't have encoders even. Um, <clears throat> so, 2010's when I get my first actually decent PC. Um, but I raised myself in that era of the uh, NVIDIA GeForce like 5660 series in like 2004, 2005. What are you? Uh, so those are scarecrows. Are they bad? Oh, they're bad. horrible. Uh, I, I killed them very okay. quickly, so I actually don't know how bad those can get. Oh, he's coming. He is. Well, luckily, if he's at range, he does that, right? I wonder what he does if he can get his hands around your throat. <laughs> Hopefully, we'll have to find out. Oh god, that didn't kill him. Well, luckily, it's not his turn for a while. Right. Anyway, yeah, the PS3 is a total fucking nightmare, and listening to developers tell stories about it was extremely edifying back in the day, when you need to- You need to understand what the idea of an out-of-order operation is, in order to understand how fucked up that thing is. <laughs> There's, there's like two processors ever fucking made that are absolutely nightmarish, okay? And that's the final version of the Pentium 4 <laughs> and the cell processor, and to a lesser extent, the uh, 360 processor. And the reason for that is if you miss, what's, what's the exact specific phrasing for this? If it pulls, if it's branch prediction unit guesses the wrong value and then they pull from memory what the actual value is and all the work you've been doing is wrong you lose so much fucking work on those processors it's like oh cool 80 percent of everything it's been doing fucking gone worthless Oof. garbage because they made such deep pipelines to crank the clock rate so high um if i remember correctly the final version of the Pentium 4 architecture is 24 stage pipeline, which is really huge, like absurdly huge. It's either 24 or 32, um, which means the CPU will literally have 32 steps in executing anything. Um, and there are steps that are literally getting the voltage across the chip. It's not a real operation, but it's a whole step. It's fucking weird. Uh, the PS3's branch prediction is so bad, it basically doesn't exist, if I remember correctly. Ooh. So that's that's exactly why it's like, what a nightmare. Um, in fact, as uh, CPUs went on, the branch prediction getting better um, was actually a huge part of the improvement in... Um, what's the phrase for it? IPC, instructions per clock, um, that you execute. You should really pick up a copy of Game Engine Architecture by Jason Gregory. I think I picked up a digital copy at some point. I didn't read it. Did you pick up that chest? Yes. Okay. Wait. Did, oh, my God. Maybe I didn't. I got jumped. Yeah, I got jumped while walking towards it, and then the camera spun. Uh-huh. Because, you know, this game is incredible. Uh-huh. Um, everything I learned about CPU stuff, I was self-taught from, um, the writings of John Hannibal Stokes from Ars Technica. 
Uh, he eventually turned his articles into a book. So you can get that book. It's a pretty good introduction to a lot of, um, CPU design stuff. Um, it also talks about the PS2 architecture and what made that so strong for back in the day. Um, really helpful, really informative. And the reason the CPU does that is because a bunch of guys sat in an office for months and did the math, and it just turns out that just guessing is almost always cheaper than doing the math to check. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No, it's true. Please, camera, help. Yeah, I think there might be a digital copy out there for less uh, JDM. Because, yeah, that's a pricey book. It's not as bad as I thought it was. Admittedly, the MSRP is $110. Oh. Yeah, yeah, no, the game pricey. engine architecture is a pretty, pretty important, pretty informative book. Um, another chest. Two chests. Ta in chat says, Dan is a hardware autodidact, which means he takes three guns to kill in between games. <laughs> yeah, you have to shoot me with at least seven SPUs. But only if no one's looking. It only works if no one's looking. Which means, don't, don't... We need to lock down the doors during our Blinks 2 stream. <laughs> our Blinks 2, re our Blinks 1 re-death stream. Oh my god. Hey, I'd rather be playing Blinks. Fair. I would rather play through Blinks the correct version. Yeah, no, that Platinum Hits version? That sounds great. Yeah, it does. Man. I How do dare look... they do that to us on an Xbox? What were they oh, thinking? Yeah, no, if I get Phil Spencer in a room, before I just burn down communications, <laughs> That's the first thing I'm bringing up. When's the real version of Blinks coming? He's like, what's Blinks? Jeff Keighley were here, you would pretend to know what Blinks is. <laughs> you wouldn't do this for Jeff Gersman or Jeff Keighley, you fuck. No, they did. Well, you're saying that they didn't put the good version on back of that. Yeah, no, it's insane. Yeah, real-time rendering 4th edition is also good. Yeah. And there you go. There's Howard the Ducks dropping the uh, book from John Hannibal Stokes. Keep in mind, that was written a while ago. And so it will help you get an, an informative look at CPU designs in general and CPU designs of that era. Right. However, a lot has changed in what? the in, last... In 15 years or whatever? 19. 19 years. Nah. But still, there's... A, I mean, you got to think about it. a lot of the technologies that are currently in CPUs were invented then. Like, it's just been an iterative process. Right. Um, in fact, that's why he stopped writing about technology in general. He got bored by how iterative it was, and he huh. got into politics. Oh. I, not in a bad way. Okay. I don't, actually, I don't know, but right. I don't it think like... it was in a bad way. It's just he wanted to have a positive effect hmm. on things. You know, he felt like he was wasting his time writing about technology because it is just so iterative now. Right. How is the Locomoco, by the way? It's pretty good. Okay. It's pretty good. There's a pretty good, you know, getting getting gravy, rice, egg, and Salisbury steak. Pretty awesome. <laughs> pretty, pretty good shit. Which is wilder. Microsoft not importing the good version of Blinks to the back and pat. Or, Sony only bringing the Japanese language version of Toba 2 to the US PlayStation Network. I'm gonna say the first one. The end of the day, Toba is pretty small. It's not Blinks. It wasn't first party. Also, not to... Not to suggest piracy here, but I bet if you Google the title of John Hannibal Stokes' book... <laughs> You just might accidentally stumble onto a download like I may have one day accidentally. Whoopsie. I own it. I can walk in the other room and grab the fucking book. But I'm just saying, that might be a thing. But yeah, uh, that's actually all of this shit I'm talking about, about me learning about GPUs and CPUs and stuff. That was what I did in my senior year of high school because all the classes were fucking boring. Yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, 
Yankee Canuck says, this is the first time watching a stream and not watching the gameplay. Why aren't you watching the gameplay? There's just so much happening. Aren't you thrilled? You have, you have no idea what move Bob will choose next. God, to think we have to get six more levels into rock before it's hopefully as good. I know, right? All right, here we go. This looks promising. I have to get yeah, on. Yeah, that is clearly where we're supposed to go. Holy shit. Yeah. That also looks really cool for this game. Mm hmm. Kind of surprised. Way different than the rest of the game. Not a thing I'm used to. No. Wow, this, uh, this is going for longer than I thought it would. Well, I'm going to use the bathroom. You'll probably still be running down there. That's what it feels like. Did I just leave the exit? I guess. Okay. The music is really spooky. I feel like a boss is going to be out here. Um, Silent flute. Okay. Where's the indie spiritual successor to this game? Hopefully no one's working on that. But, you know, they're, they're, we're starting to see more indie, like, N64-style games. Like, we're definitely hitting that, where we saw, like, uh, Corn Kids and uh, Tsuda Regalia last year. I'm sure we'll see more and more N64 heavily inspired stuff. I don't know about Quest 64, though. Maybe maybe someone will just be like, no, I want to make a, the, the, the full version of that. Come on, Quest 65, yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I, I would just say that why would anyone do it? But people seem weirdly... There seems to be a weird affinity to this game, which I don't understand. Maybe just enough streamers have gotten into it or something. But I don't know what caused people to know what it is. It's his cape. Yes, there is a uh, quote-unquote official Quest 64 Twitter account, but I mean, sure. that's just one guy. <laughs> Only one man has that sort of brain disease for Quest 64, right? Yeah, why didn't he call it, like, the unofficial, unauthorized Quest 64 Twitter account? I feel like that would be a much better sound to it. Mm. No, he tweets about Quest 64, so that can't, he can't use that okay, name. Okay, yeah. You would only use that if you clearly had nothing to do with the thing you're alleging you had something to do with. Right. Do you feel vindicated that Health Divers 2 uses Temporal AA as a stun effect? I mean, it's always using Temporal AA, but, um... You're talking about when something hits you hard and then it just starts blurring across frames like a PS2 game? Because <laughs> that is really funny and disorienting. I got hit twice by one of these fucking rushing things. It just hit me with its fucking leg as it was charging. Uh-huh. It hits you once, and then you ragdoll and go flying away. He hit me twice in a row. I was dead. I was like, this is the worst it's ever been. <laughs> Up this little ramp. We'll check out this door first, and then we'll go back. So it might be the end of the area. Yeah, it does. Please. Do I have health? I mean, there's no way the Quest 64 guy doesn't have an ounce of irony in what he's doing. Right. Could you imagine there's like a retro gaming YouTuber about our age who's just all about Quest 64 though? I feel like there has to be. Yeah. And he might like bananas. Maybe. And his name's like Game Banana. <laughs> yes, probably something like that. He's the Game Banana. Yeah. And he's talking about Quest 64. That's all he ever talks about. Shh, shh, shh. All right, we actually exited an area. I cannot believe this. That looks like a town sign. You sent out a child who's illiterate. Yeah. Yeah, we're totally in a town. Oh my god. 
Hey, hey there. there. Have you seen a silver-haired man with razor-sharp eyes? Where has that knave gone? Actually, I'm illiterate. There you go. Bob Leaver's got some mad points. Yeah, he just walked all the way through that. Didn't get turned around once. Admittedly, most of the time we were gone, I was grinding because just surviving the dragon was its own thing. Right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Agro says, ah, Quest 64, I see that despite your Bioware reprieve, you aren't having a materially better night than I am. Gratifying. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Come on. Yes. It's okay, you know, next week we get to play a good RPG. Yuck. Oh. Maybe we should play Sonic Adventure 2 instead. <laughs> maybe. Maybe we give a break between those. Do it my way. Oh, wait, I need to talk to the, the white-haired lady. See what she's doing in this town. Hello. No one's ever in these. No one who's important ever in these. Yeah, Dan, if you scar her over, you won't feel the pain anymore. What fun is that? Oh, oh my, my god. He's a Whoa. party member. What the heck? Look at this dude. He's so many polygons. They totally used his body for one of those enemies. Oh, yeah, you think you're right. Hi, I'm Leonardo. I'm a magician too. Your old bot son, huh? I've heard of you. People say you're a favorite of the spirits. Your father was here about a month ago. He said he came across the lock and was on his way to Limalim. Oh, I can't wait for norm things to return to normal so I can get on with my search for the alchemist's secret. Do you think it might have been the Philosopher's Egg or anything? Or do you think it was just the Alchemist's the Secret? The Alchemist's Secret. <laughs> Me, would I fucking get you? <laughs> All right. Back to standing in this room for my, the rest of my life. <laughs> Are you looking for secret? Hello. So you too have come to the sound. I've heard of a mysterious gem in the Windward Forest. With power to control the wind, I heard that a wind sorcerer has been seen there. We can still feel his zephyrs, but for how long, I wonder. Oh my god. Are you okay? Green wings, thank you. Nom nom nom. Okay. Chat saw Leonardo and they're like, exclamation mark, H, E. So by the time they finally got it typed in, you were nowhere near him. Yeah. <laughs> Eat all your honey bread. Don't worry, I'll give you more. Awesome. Nice. There we go. And since we have wings, we can just come here whenever. Yeah. Does the magic points cap at 50 or does it go beyond that? It has to go beyond that. I'm going to lose my mind if it caps at 50. I guess that's it for this town. We can just move on. Oh, wait. Spiff says they cap at 50, although in the randomized, they can go beyond and the damage scale is insanely high. Oh. oh, my God. Are you okay? There was a magician in, a, in our group who kept to himself. He disappeared not from far from here. He might be in the woods. Okay. Your shoes are very red. This man troubles me. Oh yeah, Voxandra plays the randomizer all the time, guys. So if you want to see more Ooh. Quest 64. All right, so we we highlight you, it. You wait, yeah, and okay. then you go to your magic on the right C. Sorry, down C, then right C. And then right C again. And then you once you hit, once you hit it again. Okay, and then, but hit A for the, oh, return? So to, hit, hit right C again, okay. yeah. Okay. Now, the second you hit A, you need to be able to bash left C and A. So you need both hands over there. You're not going to be able to... <laughs> you sure, man? Yeah, it's left C and then hit A, right? Yeah. yeah. You're going to... 
Okay. Okay. You got to do it really fast, like over and over. Okay. Both okay. of them, or just both? Yeah. Both at the same time, both over and over. Yeah. Okay. Well, not at the same time. You're you're activating a menu and then right. selecting. Yeah. Those are so really fast, really fast, alternatingly. Alternatingly. Yeah. Okay. So it's going to pop up with a menu. Uh -huh. It's going to say, "What do you want to use this on?" You're going to hit left C, but you're not going to read it because <laughs> you're just going to be doing that. Okay. Okay. I think you broke it. Huh. Because you clearly used the spell. Right. And it's still there. Okay, try it again. And then you push A. And the moment you push A, it's going to cast it. And then you push A again, and then left C, and then A, and then left C, and then A. And... Okay. Am I somehow casting the wrong thing? No, no. Oh, wait, does it count this as town? Oh, I bet we're in town, yeah. Well, then you can't. Yeah, I guess I can't do it. Uh, try exit, though. Let's let's use exit. Okay. Because maybe you'll exit the forest. Oh, hey, that did it. Nice. Unfortunately, I didn't look at what the number was before. I think it was 21. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so there you go. You got a triple. Incredible. Now, where did it put me? At the entrance, because you used exit. It doesn't actually exit, it just puts you at the exit. <laughs> okay. Weird. Sure. So I bet we could have used that and not teleported as far away. Um, you have to be inside oh, no. of an area that it can consider that. So we could have done that in the for forest, mm -hmm. but we couldn't have done it anywhere else because all the other ones were on the map. Ah, yeah. Yeah, those numbers in the lower left are obviously how strong our different elements of spell is. Wasn't that obvious, guys? <laughs> how did you not get that? How did you not get that? Um, the interesting thing about the earth spells is that they can hit from a range, unlike the uh, water spells. So you could actually back off from these guys and use like a level three rock and it would hit them all because the rock is motherfucking massive. Okay. You're gonna try and kill these two first and then do that, but it seems like they don't want that to happen. See. Rock level three. Oh, oh wow. wow. They don't like and rock. that was super effective against them too. Right. I have been confused for hours. <laughs> Fair. Rock is about to be stronger than big water. Yeah, I mean, even on these guys, it already is. Right. He's, he's coming towards me. Jesus. Chad, I don't understand. This is such a hype song. Why don't I see dance emotes? Is it because all of your brains are flatlining and have been for hours? <laughs> it's like we're playing Skull and Bones again. Oh, no. They're like, go be virtual Bart just at the stream. And we're like, you know what? Okay, <laughs> we'll do it. We'll do it again. It was funny last time. It's funny this time. <laughs> Why do you take so many hits? Why are you like this? Well, clearly this rock will be the one that kills him, right? I don't trust that. Yeah, but now you don't have enough to cast it. It's true. Do I have enough to cast lock? No. You could use items. That's true. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Do you now think the stick will hit him? I have regular, a lot of regular bread. That's not even that great. Because that honey bread exists. You have regular bread? I yeah, think I found, I found crates, uh, crates of regular oh, bread. Oh, yeah. weird, yeah. And then we're conning into Jim, Jake, we're conning Jake Jesus into playing Virtual Bart again then, right? Uh-huh. Oh, no. Certainly it'll work twice. It's a ranged attack. I didn't think it missed that hard. It's one hit. You hit the other one with a stick and killed him. Just hit him. Hey, you should probably go back to town to heal. <laughs> we 
got it. We got the healing spell. We're good. We're good. I'm trying to turn the music into white noise so I don't have to notice it. Well, that's that's good. You you keep it up. Keep it up. Good job. We all believe in you. Oh no. <laughs> what if they weren't real? Do you ever consider that? Uh yeah, I, I I would like to believe those giant white spiders aren't real. You are now turning back to where you came from. Really? Uh-huh. Did you not notice the giant house on the horizon? That would have been a thing that was new. I Turn thought that was the old town I came from. Map it all in here. No. No. Of course never not. never inside these weird enclosed areas. This game would have been a lot better with Evergrace's OST. Oh, yeah, of course. I mean, but that's every game, right? Right. Oh, we have Avalanche. Oh, my God. What to do? There's apparently a thing that happens around you. Right? All right, so now... Oh, oh. Avalanche. And it only takes three? Game? What? That, that isn't that, balanced. No, that hits like many times for more damage. What are you doing? What do you mean that takes three? <laughs> That's so insane. They have a high miss percentage. Not that high. No. Not high enough for these numbers to make fucking sense. <laughs> Duh. Now there's one, and you can boop him on the snoop for 50 damage. It's probably, probably not. No. But now but it, it is be... free. Oh my god. Apparently he didn't get hit by a single fucking rock, I guess. Jesus. Oh, oh my wow. God. Okay. Let's, uh. Do you, do you think your healing's gonna outpace his attack? I think so. I think so. <laughs> Only because <laughs> yeah, he, missed... he misses a ton. Boop a snoop. You got him this time. No, he's going no, to die. No, he does like 50 damage. Oh, you're gonna. It's definitely the 24 damage difference that made it. Oh, shit. Even stronger. Anyway, this and the last Earth spell are while you do Earth. Cool. The more you know. I wish the healing spell didn't suck. That'd be nice. Oh my god, why didn't I think of that? We know the spell escape. We can escape battle if it ever gets bad. Oh, that's true. I, for some reason, I always just try to run away. Um. Uh. <laughs> What's all? Pumpkinmen? What's happening? I don't know. Am I close enough? I hit one of them. Several times. Ow. Okay. And so I don't know anything about this game. What's wrong with it? Well, to be fair, that's also the same thing you'd be saying if you knew about this game. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so there's there's basically no story, um, virtually no story. Um, there's no party. The leveling system sucks. There's no equipment. There are like three songs. It's very slow. Mm -hmm. It's obtuse. It's unrewarding. <laughs> It's really big. <laughs> and full of nothing. And most rooms in the game are literally empty. Did I cover it all? You're basically describing Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Why? <laughs> what? Can you believe this, man? I don't actually think that, but it's very funny to say. <laughs> 
Could you imagine if Brian was able to tap into e for you? That would that would be sick. That would be sick. Reminds me of Final Fantasy 14. Can I even? This is the worst meme we've ever created. <laughs> How could this happen to us, right? Of all the games that could have been any game we're playing, why Final Fantasy XIV? <laughs> You're gonna enter the cabin and someone's gonna shoot you with a gun. <laughs> right? It's, it's horrifying. Or death. Oh, ooh. Ooh. Can we even? Can, do I don't. I don't know. I would guess escape would work. Or exit. Then you push A. Oh. Yeah, okay, it didn't work. But I'm not sure return would have either. Yeah, where it's a weird little house like this, probably not. Yeah. Blank says, Blank Nine says, it could be worse. I'm gonna see a Mega Man stage select and say, wow, it's like virtual Bart. Well, we used to say that about Mega Man 1. <laughs> the only one with the circle. Oh, yeah, it's true. That is much more rounded. Okay. Can we escape from Forest? Is this the end of Forest, please? Oh, great, more jack o' lanterns. Mega Man Slick doesn't have a one seventh chance of killing you, but what if it did? Oh my god. I wasn't close enough. I guess if I'm that far, I'd probably just try and water him. Avalanche is so ridiculous sometimes. Um, the way I select this is really weird. Because you'd think it'd always be in the same place, but if I select... If I hit C, left C twice, it's on... Then up C is Avalanche. But if I hit left C, then up C, it's left C is the Avalanche. <laughs> I guess? Actually what's happening. Maybe... Maybe. First one you're selecting. After you've selected your button. That's it. But up C doesn't have anything selected, so I don't know. And we don't have any fire magic. So it would only make sense for Avalanche to be mixing ice and uh and rock. Stage like doesn't have a one in seven chance again. Uh, uh. Yeah, now that I'm thinking about it, Mega Man 1 doesn't have the super obviously terrible to go to first guy other than, you know, Gutsman's opening. Yeah. Do you think this is a, this is a boss? Uh, maybe. Because he's the white-haired dude who, who... Yeah, run around in circles and get your MP back first. Right. Me. And I guess get the 2 HP. Uh, yeah, right? It's important. Oh, no, I was too close. Zels? Zels. Get out of my way, brat. I'm the one who holds the... I'm the one who now holds the wind jade. All you who belittled my pa- I don't know you, dude. Are about to be blown to smithereens. Uh, you could throw a rock at him. Yeah, let's see if I throw a rock at him. Oh, it looks like it just barely won't reach, but try it anyway. Yeah, I bet, it'll, I bet we can do this. Ooh. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Well, I guess that's a good way to stay away from him, but he's going to use wind magic, so I'm not even sure being far as... A massive advantage. I know. Let's try hitting him with this avalanche to see how he likes it. 
He didn't like that. No, that he was didn't. 82 damage. So if that hit, uh, put your earth armor on. You know, oh, just yeah. Just be starting tough fights with that. Ooh, we have spirit armor level two? We do. He's so skinny. Oh, no. <laughs> We're done for. Luckily, he's also missing. Come on. What's happening? He's skinny as hell. There we go. There we go. Yeah, use, use some breads. Maybe this was for the best. If Sonic, if the Chronicles death stream actually happened, I was determined to not go to sleep tonight, but I didn't want to miss a moment of that. But now I feel like it's safe for me to pass out. Why would you think that during Quest 64, Bob just wrecked some skinny twink out in the woods? He just vaporized. I thought he'd say anything else. The other guy was a bandit. This guy seemed like important. People in town knew him. <laughs> uh. Win Jade obtained. Good, good job. He's dead now. I guess I'll just continue on. Uh, the, the, he, he, yeah, you didn't hear it, but he was actually like, <laughs> then he died. I don't know if it chat noticed. Uh, the reason he died is that Avalanche hit him like four or five times. Which is pretty fucking awesome. It was just like, yeah, no, he's, it's over. I, I'll just sit, I'll, I'll sit down. <laughs> Twink status obliterated. Hey Chad, is this your mom? No, that's a snake. What are you? Neither Lamias. Oh my God, you hit you hit one of them for almost three hundred damage. Yeah. Yeah, Avalanche seems a little broken. Only a little. Ow. Yeah, maybe we just yeah, get Avalanche. <laughs> Also, you could technically use the spell escape. And you could also just use the item that brings us directly back to town. But grinding is important. What is that? Silver amulet. I said, what is this? Real. Increase the defense oh. by 1.5 times. Cool. And now if that were uh, an item I could equip, that'd be really cool. That'd be really cool. We ain't that cool around these parts. No. Lavius, more like mommias. Thank you, chat. Thank you, Spiff. Thank you, Cheese Blarg. Uh, we are gonna check out the September lineup to see what else is on the way. I wonder how far in this game we are. Because the grind is so real. It is. It, it's been real for so long, I don't even know what the, isn't grinding. I forgot to give you, like, a card to buy the food with. Uh-huh. And I'm like, maybe he was okay with it because he didn't have to play Quest 64 <laughs> for, like, an hour. <laughs> uh, so apparently Zels had 700 HP. Almost. Yeah, and I just... Most of that went down in one turn. <laughs> yes! <laughs> no, now he's real pancake. Ow, ow. Doo -doo 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 -doo. So the interesting thing is we actually go back to Laura Pool now. Oh, yeah. So yeah, we don't even talk to anyone back in town. But, you know, the grinding's... Yeah, we, and there was still a pass forward, weirdly enough. Really? Yeah, that's what I, I was... I wonder what that's about, then. We should obviously check that out. Right, that's what I'm currently on the way. Or on... Okay. We got... So here's the good news. You could consider the point we're at now in the game kind of halfway. Okay. So we're really on par for 11 hour death stream because we're at five and a half. Good. It's okay. We know the strat of only spending points on Earth now. Right. So we're going to become on hinged levels of powerful. And then we can play Super Mario 64. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Why does the pumpkin sound like that? Sploosh. <laughs> okay. Yeah, if there's a path forward, then... Yeah. Because we'll probably clear the bridge that was the way to get to the... Right. You're, you're facing the correct way. You know, once again, it should... Right, it surfs to the right way, uh -huh. allegedly. It does. 
this up. They, I looked up a long play that's only six hours long, and at this point they have 42 earth, but only 12 water. That's weird. Okay, yeah, this opened that bridge back. Uh-huh. Great. This is like, I don't open the door anymore. Why you don't have, you do that? You Brian! Have, you have one wish. What do you wish for? World peace? No. I just want a world without bippity bobbity <laughs> The mission is in the woods. has gone away. I wonder what happened. Did he get crushed to death? <laughs> he just looks like the squirrel from fucking Kung Pao. Oh my god. <laughs> with, the, with the hand print and yeah. everything. Yeah, he's got Jesus. a giant rock print. <laughs> Biff says, I hope this song gets stuck in your head like it has been in mine for 25 years. I'm going to do my best never to think about it again. Yeah, no, I'm good. It's it's not going to get me. Do you think Avalanche will reach? I don't think so. I'm going to okay. throw a you rock could at Yeah, you could throw a level three rock, then. <laughs> Duke. Now. Now is the time for Avalanche. Now, the, the worst part of that move, Bob, the uh -huh. icicles, is that they can freeze you. So even though your natural thought is to dodge to the side, that's the last thing you want to do. That's true. Because you, you will just them. be stuck staring 90 degrees from the enemy who froze you going, I hate Quest 64. <laughs> all right, Ask so me how I know. So we're going to the water town, right? Yes. Okay. So all the way we have the north. wind now and we could just walk in and the game will be like, okay, you may continue. You, are you serious? Who even cares? You're just rabbits. <laughs> you aren't worth any points. <laughs> More rabbits? Matt says, I'll forget every song as soon as the stream ends. Yeah, that's understandable. Yeah. Like what? You don't want to? You don't think you're going to remember knockoff Final Fantasy VII music and bibbity bobbity boo? But worse. <laughs> Who's that? Oh, hey, Riona, how's it going? Hey, everyone, we're playing Quest 64, everyone's favorite childhood N64 game. Yeah, it's definitely one you had and liked. Everyone. Everyone loves Quest 64. Riona, what were you playing tonight? I bet it wasn't as good as Quest 64. I mean, that is such a high bar after all. This game has four songs. It has bad leveling up mechanics. It has what's an outline of a story. Yeah, who even knows what's gonna happen now? I was playing Last Epic. Scratching the Diablo itch for me, it seems really good for, so far. Okay, cool. Yeah, nice. my brother was uh, talking about that. Uh, of course, he was talking about it before it had come out, so I don't know what his thoughts are now that it's out. Is it good? Because you said it was scratching your Diablo itch. That doesn't mean it's good. Right, that <laughs> might just mean <laughs> the like, bare minimum. This. Once quest one through sixty-three. Look, they barely finished sixty-four. Don't ask them to make sixty-three others. This game released the same year as Metal Gear Solid. Yeah, I think you can look at it and tell, right? My God, don't say that. Yeah, I think you can. You can see that. You can see that quality in Leela here. Master Brian, the, the wind, wind is blowing, blowing once again. again. I owe you my hearty thanks. You're indeed a special person. <laughs> In addition to being the protector of this town, I am also a messenger for Epona of Crystal Valley. Okay. okay. She speaks for the horses. I guess. Epona is a mysterious person. That's a horse. Uh, <laughs> she can see through anything, and there's nothing she doesn't know. She told me there is something she wishes to tell you. Did, did she tell you how to make your sentences shorter? <laughs> that would be a helpful tip. Outside the hotel is the room of the, the crystal, crystal well. well. When you are ready, proceed to the well. I will guide you to the opponent. Oh my God, you're going to do something? Unlikely. Breasts, they're large. 
So Check, I'm gonna, please. I'm going to guess that she means outside the hotel downstairs, because yes. that's next to the water. Yes, that is absolutely what she means. <laughs> Riona! <laughs> Riona's putting out 64 boobs in chat. Oh, what? How could you do that? You're not gonna spend. Yeah, Jesus. Riona's come back to take the channel down. Oh, whoops, whoops, whoops. No, you're you're definitely interested in that because you walked into the hallway. Oh no. no Riona says no, no, no. Wait, it was Zelda's lullaby. Hmm. <laughs> I don't know. Spiff saying he also thought they were triangular boobs. We're on you, Riona. Nice try, though. Maybe she did me. Yeah, I guess it. it's the, the other door the aside the. Okay. Okay. Riona, when are you streaming Twilight Princess? <laughs> we were wondering that earlier this stream. Uh, that's the same thing Shannon was saying earlier. Okay. Shannon always be talking about how boats are broken. I guess. You know, maybe we would have known if we talked to the guy after he trapped us on this continent. Maybe. But we never did that, and then we traveled back to the old continent, and then his boat was there again, so I definitely never would have put together that it was broken! Uh-huh. I'm you... gonna assume you walk into the center of town near the fountain, but Me? I don't know because she's not where she said she would be. Right. I already streamed it and beat it. My favorite part was the cat village. Oh. Was that before I started watching your channel? I don't remember. Hmm. Is this the cat village where you start the game? Or am I, am I crazy? I mean, you start the game in like a rural village, but it has cats and it has like a couple cats. Okay. Yeah. It's theirs now. <laughs> Tristor, what is that even in response to? He just says, Your Honor, the retro gaming community. <laughs> Death. <laughs> oh yeah, Riona, my uh, 3DS capture card broke itself right as we went to do today's stream, so that's why we're not playing Sonic Chronicles. Isn't that cool? Oh, I bet that it's this it little me, house. It cost me like six hundred dollars, five hundred dollars. Barely worked at all ever, and then it just broke. And it's broken forever. It's great. I love retro gaming hardware. It's all so cool. Oh, cool. <laughs> hmm. Did you know I'm secretly <laughs> Leela and I will now unlock the way to the next thing? Thank you! Good disguise! <laughs> right? Maybe behind the hotel. Oh, there's nothing back here. I was looking forward to the trial of Bioware. Guilty on all accounts. <laughs> yeah, guilty on all accounts. Yeah, absolutely. Um, let me just... I'm just gonna look at this time again. One moment. <laughs> you go upstairs and talk to her again. She's like, no, I'll, I'll be there. <laughs> Any minute now. Maybe I misread something you said, lady. Uh, go, go outstairs. Go outstairs and exit from the bottom. Uh, exit next to the stairs. So, like, really close to these stairs that should directly... Like this one? Yeah. Okay. Oh, oh my yeah, god. Yeah, this door that this just, door just wouldn't didn't open. open earlier. Now it just opens. Yeah, now it just opens. God. Oh, a treasure chest. Get out of my way, lady. <laughs> I got treasures to get. She she will not let you have this until you talk to her. No, it, it'll pop. It pops up for one, one frame. frame. Yeah. Oh, well, we'll talk I to her. I hate when women stand between me and treasure. <laughs> I've been expecting you. Release the protective water and open the road to the sacred water crystal valley. <laughs> the cavern entrance will appear after the water has subsided. The cavern is very long. So long. And the demons numerous, but you must take this route. I have to make sure you are a genuine magician 
Epona is waiting in the valley. All right, please hurry. The water will subside for only a short time. May the spirits watch over you on your way. I have this treasure. I, I, have, I just want this treasure. There we go. Oh, he did it. Silver amulet. I saw someone on Twitter make a comic of... Uh, some part of Final Fantasy VII where... Uh, Bear is talking to like his daughter in a in his bed, but there's a treasure chest right next to it. So it's a cutscene yes. they're watching. <laughs> it's just like cloud going like, Bear, Bear, op Bear, open the box. Bear, there's a chest right next. Just open the chest. <laughs> it's right there. <laughs> oh, oh, ooh. But we're in a village. Yeah. So return my. Because isn't that what worked? It only didn't work when we were in... No, Return <laughs> also doesn't work in a village. It just it just has an effect to go on you. But so feel free to try. Like, right. It's your only bet, right? Maybe it counts this as not the village. Yep. No, it's still village. Uh, for anyone who doesn't know, if you cast the uh, go back to the village spell or exit the dungeon spell, you can pick up this level up material multiple times. That's obviously where I'm supposed to go. What's up here? Oh. Oh, yeah, that's the other exit. Oh, oh yeah, it is. Yeah. Neat. Oh, Luke Becker. Oh, no. Oh, no. What? We need to go talk to her and get her to lower the, the water again. She wow, wasn't kidding. they really programmed this game to be activated in very specific ways. Well, she said it would only work for a short time. I didn't think it'd be that short. <laughs> She's like, drown the sorcerer. <laughs> no! <laughs> I'm baby! <laughs> I bet you don't even have to talk to her. I bet just entering this room and leaving it would have done it. Probably. <laughs> this fucking game. Oh, man. Yeah, you eat the amulets. It just, it's a one-time use. Because they don't have an equipment system. So you just go, I want to be strong. And you swallow an amulet. Such a good game. So done. Mm hmm Yeah. Yeah, if there's one way to describe Quest 64, it's done. Okay, Bob, whatever you do. Don't walk back into the same door. No. Hooray! Sure would be cool if we could save before we go in whole. Is this a different song? Oh my god. I don't know what to do with myself. I've been listening to the same like four songs for the last five and a half hours. Oh, no. I assume they're weak to uh, rock. Probably. Eh. 82 is pretty good. It's pretty good. Just needs to hit them. Would have been nice if it hit them though. Yeah. There we go. Oh my god. Uh, can we spread that out instead of just massively owning that one guy? Oof. So, uh... Yeah, there we go. We, uh... We already have the shit beaten out of us. Right? That's rough. Yeah. What? It wouldn't be an RPG if the things didn't massively ramp up every time you get a new, into a new area, right? Yeah, that's how RPGs work. They just instantly massively ramp up, so we spend all of our time barely being able to walk into a place, and then suddenly we can do the run that works at all. Uh-huh. Riona, when are you playing Evergrace? Nothing down the right path. You know, unlike the bouncer, Evergrace, you can play just fine on a non-pressure sensitive controller. Oh, yeah, I guess so. It's just, you know, maybe not the best strategy, but mm -hmm. it's definitely playable. Dick difficulty curves are for cowards. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Jesus. I'm surprised the one on the right didn't die. I know, right? That was a ton of hits on him, too. You should get closer so that way the back left one can actually get hit. Okay. I'm always worried about how far behind me it'll go. But okay, that's the works. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> The 
Yeah, they need a PS5 remake of the bouncer. They do! Uh, put Platinum in charge. Square likes working with Platinum. They haven't done it in a long time, though. Oh my god, the Mimic. But it uh, wasn't... They did it with Babylon's Fall. Oh yeah, I forgot. Because, yeah. you know, they they deleted that game. Zup. You say that, but the art book still <laughs> exists or whatever it was. I can't tell if it was a strategy guide or an art book. You just flip it on its back, Bob. I know, right? Ah. Did it just crap on you? I think so. I think it vomited out its whole innards and just had to deal it with it. It looks like it turned its bottom towards you. I, I don't know. Maybe. Was... Well, now it's pancake. The. No, get the Relink Platinum team. Hey, there we go. Wow, hey, a mimic like delicious in dungeon. I don't know what 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 is that? I don't, I don't know. Their arrow is clearly pointing at this one, but I think that's a lie. And uh I wouldn't take quest 64 for a liar. <laughs> I'll take it for dumb, but stop that. One of those, you know. They can't lie to you because they're so bad at it. Right? Sort of situations. Hooray, it missed! Hell yeah, do it. Do it. What? Come on. What was that about? It sure did spawn most of those rocks in the wall, so you should probably yeah, center maybe better. do something like this and it'll yeah, have better luck. Yeah, that'll, that'll do it better. Hell wow. yeah, fuck these motherfuckers. Ow, ow, ow. Rolling rock on the roller, rock and roller. But what if no more scorpions? You ever think no, about I'm that? No, I'm sorry. This is this is a scorpion cave, apparently. Hmm. Oh, nice. Yeah, it's nice, a, wow. nice, nice. That worked what out. What is great. the range on this? Random. Thank you for asking. When are we gonna get avalanche level two? Where it's even bigger rocks. Jesus. How do you survive that, dude? So strong. Oh my god. Yeah, we definitely need to be starting every battle now with the fucking I armor. Yes, it is ludicrous what these guys are doing. <sighs> yeah, yeah, it is. It is oh, darn it. I was trying to heal and it. Yeah, I, I actually mentioned that earlier, that that could have happened to me, and I was like, I'm really glad it didn't. <laughs> That's weird. Why does the strategy guy call this part the Blue Cave Part 1? No! <laughs> this is not how this was supposed to go. <laughs> At least you were eventually get a water level water anyway. Yeah. Uh, very least you didn't put it in fire or wind on accident, which would be bizarre. It'd be like Bob, why did you even hit those C buttons? <laughs> right, those don't <laughs> exist on the you, controller. What you've are you doing? never done it before. Why would you start now? <laughs> You're dead, right? Oh my god. Come on. It, once we get a little bit stronger, these battles will be easier because it right. feels like they're just barely not fucking dying. There we go. Nice. Hey, and look at that. With the power of armor, you didn't get the absolute shit kicked Yeah, not completely. <laughs> Which is all we're really asking for. Just to not get the complete shit beaten out of us. Da, 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 da. <laughs> what if they weren't real? They're like, uh, no. <laughs> then they just leave. <laughs> One day I show up at Spiff's house and I'm like, hey, Spiff, you were such a good friend and so helpful with helping us move to Huntsville. Here's an OLED TV to reward you. And he's like, oh, that's 
you're just buying a new one, aren't you? And I'm like, what? No, no this what isn't an excuse about? for me to just take the fuck. I gotta go. <laughs> it's like, Dan, what the hell's wrong with you? I'm like, I don't know because I won't see a doctor. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't give me the tax credits. <laughs> yeah, stupid government. Need to give me my tax credit. There we go. God, you're both still alive. How oh, dare you? It's okay. This is it. Oh, well, that guy's really dead. At least that's something, right? Boop. <laughs> come on. Oh, come on. Oh my God. Are you serious? Oh, that yeah, didn't count. Yeah, yeah. I was like, he's gonna accidentally just whiff entirely. <laughs> Quest sixty four. What a game! What a game! <laughs> Spiff says, "Oh yeah, hmm, yeah. I guess I need to encourage you to buy superfluous stuff now, huh? Hey, wouldn't it be cool if you had a second forty ninety? No." <laughs> Uh, yeah, the MP in this game just recharges insanely fast when you're outside of battle, but not fast enough. Because you need the MP in order to heal, right? But Dan, think what you could do with SLI. Um, SLI's dead. Yeah, I was like, SLI doesn't exist anymore, right? I don't have an SLI port, right? Because the cards normally have an in a bridge. Uh-huh. They don't make that anymore. That, that, that connector doesn't exist. On the uh, Quadro cards for video production and stuff, they still have it. I think it's called an MV Link bridge. There we go. Wreck these dudes. Nice. nice. Okay, so it was like, you guys have to be dead after yeah, that. Yeah, I was like, yeah. It runs Crisis so well, though. It won't. <laughs> I mean, A49 can run Crisis of all things well. <laughs> the game is decades old. I sure hope it can. <laughs> nice. I hope whatever we get the, the, the is an upgrade of that is just like, yeah, it's that, but it, it always hits. Always. <laughs> My ultimate spell. <laughs> Yay! So Brian, what radicalized you? I was born in Quest 64. <laughs> This bad. Start having diegetic text from the people in it that acts like they're in a fucking zombie movie, right? Oh that they're in, so I want I want Quest 64 to just have who are the real monsters written on the wall because they were born into being a Quest 64 character, which is possibly the worst fate you could have. Then again, I could be playing Quest 64 and listening to the sound of a microwave. <laughs> Thank you, chat. You reap what you sow. <laughs> yeah, no, that'd be, that'd be way too funny. What if SLI came back and you could make four 4080 TIs work together? Imagine how many rays you could trace. That sure wouldn't sick, uh, fix any fundamental problems I have with PC gaming. What if we're more complicated, though? Don't you think that'd be... Oh, no. Don't put that down here. You want to be strong, don't you? Is I that do. two of them, or am I having... I think that's... Okay. It's just one. It's just one, but you real goofy. All right. You got this, Bob. So exit? Yeah, that'll put you at the entrance. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. The A button once. Why didn't I pick it up? Why didn't I pick it up? 
Mm, all right. Back down we go. <laughs> I love this game. It's so good. <laughs> I love this game. I'm so full. Yes. I need the power level anyway. You're right, game. You're right. <laughs> King Spuff with all questers are bastards. <laughs> it's written on the cave wall. <laughs> In blood. <laughs> You can't, you can just cast escape a lot until you get back to it? What? I'm not sure what he's saying there. I, you can just cast escape a lot until you get back to it. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. What are you, what are you trying to say, Spiff? You have to, yeah, we know about, oh, you're saying cast escape. Sorry, we have three spells that basically mean the same thing. Escape is the spell you use in battle to get out of battle. Exit is the spell you use to mm. get to the exit of a place. Mm. Return is the spell you use to get back to a village. Sorry, I hope me listing all of those off explains why there are crossed wires for people who haven't spent too much time absorbing Quest 64's advanced paradigms. Okay, Bob, you keep playing. I'm gonna just fuck around with this for a moment. Yeah, we can't do that. We gotta, we gotta level up. That's true. We do gotta level up. Okay. We're too weak. And I'll, I'll do Purple. The... Oh, Jesus, what's happening? Oh, no. That's weird. I didn't think it would do that. I'm not sure why it did that. Oh, I hit the phase one instead of the game one. Whoops. Sorry about that, Bob. I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> I was supposed to do this. Oh, oh, good. So cool. And chat, if you're wondering what that was, it literally retro twink. He's the retro twink. Yeah. And he's bending. He's bending over to pick a thing up. Isn't that what a, he dropped his controller because he got mad. He's like one of those uh, Cromarty, uh, not Cromarty High, the, uh, what's the name of the, uh, oh my God. Oron? Yeah. Yes, the Oron High people. He's just like all pouty and like flustered and has like blushes. And he's like, I dropped my controller again. I have to pick this up. Uh. Jesus. Retro Twink, I'm, I'm copywriting that. You can't take that from me. What? Yeah, I'm gonna copyright retro tweaks. You can't stop me. Yeah, it's the Incest Brothers. I don't remember their names at all. In fact, I don't even remember the main character's name, which is really unfortunate. I feel like even I knew at some point, even oh, though yeah. I, I watched oh. like one episode of that show. You only watched one episode? Yeah, I know. I never, sure. I don't, I don't even remember like, like I didn't have anything against it. I just did like it, something that just, Passed by me. Wow. It was Haruhi. Yeah, that's the main character of Waron High. You know. Yeah, it was actually. Because oh my I, God, I remember it? that being weird because like, but Haruhi's a thing. And that's when Bob's like, you can't trick me, anime. I'm not going to watch you. <laughs> he went away. <laughs> nice try, fucker. Thank you for gifting a tier one sub to Retro Twink. <laughs> of course, it's a real person. Sorry, Dan, you're too late. I'll sue. <laughs> Ignore the fact chat said retro twink before I did. Even though I've said that on past tweens. It's yeah, tweens. Tweens. Anyway. Chat says, hi, Tosh. Tosh's laugh and Rich Evans's laugh. Yeah, you just get them both in a room and they level the house. Right? <laughs> Every window shatters. It's just Sarah Connor will on the chain link fence shaking it and then they both laugh and it explodes. <laughs> the city gets leveled. Um, but anyways, the thing I just did with the RetroTink 4K is something I had to do manually by hand on the OSSE and other upscalers didn't support it. Where basically you're not only white balancing it, you're setting it so you have the maximum dynamic range. You're adjusting the gain for the red, green, and blue channels so that way it's properly 
full dynamic range, very sharp, very crisp. If you go back and watch our Super Mario 64 Let's Play from seven years ago, I do that for that. Actually, it was more than seven. Good Lord. That shit was like eight years ago. Anyways, that's how long I've wanted to just be able to do that on a reasonable upscaler. Uh, because the OSSC is very good, but I wouldn't call it reasonable. I thought you were going to uh, turn on scan lines. I mean, I can if you want. I mean, we already got an awful looking 64 game. Why not? Why not? I'm going to leave all these bad features on to make it look bad. And... Oh. <sighs> There's so many fucking features in here. It's like a mess. It's a nest. One moment. What, uh... Can we... Oh, yeah. Look at that. Oh, my God. It's so dark now. Why is it doing that? Why twice now has it done that? Whoa. What's up? Did you... No. Yeah, that... Whoa. Whoa. What? what? What in the fuck is going on there? Scan lines are too advanced. You're right. We have to turn them off. Uh, Chris says, by the way, Oron predates... Uh, Haruhi by years. Yeah, that makes sense. Aron's pretty great. I don't think I found out about it until around when Haruhi was coming out, though. Uh, he was talking about manga, but yeah. Did you, you as, as I recall, a very well, yeah. I don't even know if they brought the manga for Aron over before the anime. Now that it's weird. Yeah, because I would have seen it in high school if that was the case, and I don't think I saw Oron hanging out. Yeah, I feel out like Oron just was just after, after high school. So yeah. the uh, the animes might have been near each other. I don't know though. And Harvey started as a light novel, so that makes it even that's true more that, complicated. Yeah. Hmm. Perhaps Oron is worthy of a Wea Boomers. You think? I mean, it's about the right age. Yeah. Get to hear a lot of uh, Vic. Yeah, chat's really excited for that. No one has already lamented it. <laughs> I'm like, chat, I don't understand why you're upset when Vic shows up in things. Every character he's ever played is a piece of shit. Yeah, I know. He sucks perfectly for it. Like, It's almost like that's how he got the roles. He sucks. Like, his, his full Metal Panic character is like, oh, yeah, you are the tech pest. Nice. They got it. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah. Yeah, Chris, I know. Uh, two years. For Oron, for Wii Boomers. Because, mm. yeah, the, we graduated in 2005, so just after high school is literally 2006. What if the rocks were nowhere near you, Scorpion? Would you be afraid? Oh, no? Okay. I'll punch you in the face then. <laughs> C.S. Strife says, I keep thinking of Vic's role in the Trigon movie being listed as Sex Pest A. I didn't realize he showed up there, but that's the perfect role. Being credited as that? Hilarious. So, Chad, do you feel immersed? Are these scan lines doing it for you? Bob, are these scan did, lines did doing it for you? Did you leave them on? I thought you turned them off. You don't see the scan lines? No. Are they just really tiny? Sorry, Bob. You can't you can't bitch about scan lines anymore if you can't see the scan lines right now. Bob, I think yeah. you have vision problems. Yeah, they're, they're there. Yeah, they're there. Sorry, there was the, the I was caught up in the madness that was everything breaking when you turned on the other form of scan yeah, lines. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, because that was a different type of thing. Because uh, this is like the normal scan lines, and that was a mask. So what you're supposed to do is you're kind of supposed to combine them both or something. Oh, I don't know why you would. In my opinion, that doesn't. But you know, I'm not the test. To, I'm not the target argument audience of scanline shit. Right. Even though I love how CRTs look, it's for some other mythical person. Uh. Look, it's just like an LCD. Uh. This is how LCDs look. If they're broken. <laughs> yeah. Thank you for breaking my TV. That's what you all crave. Let's see. 
I assume Chaster's excited for anything other than just regular Press 64 to be happening, so, you know. Order up. Yes, but what specifically is being you should give us a CRT uh, porter? Uh, yeah, that, that's true. If you're going to do something like this, you got to go the whole way and get the... Uh, CRT border. And it should also have a feature where it bent, warped the screen as if it were a uh, CRT with a bubble front. <laughs> More like scam line. Oh, very funny, very funny. Yeah, I, I do wonder if he has considered that, you know? Is this, is this good? Do you like this? No, it's in fact very hard to look at. <laughs> Was that the goal? Has that always been the goal? I, I guess that was always the goal. I don't know. I've never understood. What if, what if we did this and it's by linear soft? God, God, it's so bad. Yeah, no, that's why that's why you want to keep the sharp stuff turned on. Anyway, oops, that's not the backup button. Here we go. Dan fiddling with the video output settings for 15 hours would be more interesting than Quest 64. Yes. Yeah. Weren't plasma TVs just LCD? So you see how those are two different words. <laughs> <laughs> It wasn't until LCD technology was never replaced that we started making different words to just mean LCD. And it was really just Samsung and other people. You ready, Bob? I'm so ready. You sure? Do you want to give it a shot? Yeah, sure. I, I did it last time it failed, so go for it, okay, man. Okay, so here we go. We're going to down and then right and then... Nice! 32. I guess that was three again. Yeah, not bad. Here goes! My favorite thing about me saying, here goes, is that normal people don't realize that is the prelude to a dog getting kicked in the mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Only the real bouncer fans know. <laughs> I'm still waiting for someone to emulate a CRT by literally calculating the electron's path via ray tracing, though I suspect the phosphors would be the harder part. Yeah, it, I'm gonna be honest. This is something we can solve. And none of the ways we're trying to solve it look good in the least. <laughs> but they're way easier. Yes. So they must be good. No, it's true. But I should be able to run on my 4090 some filter for an emulator that would solve this. Uh huh. Oh, thank you, Wicked Rangoon, for the 100 bridge. This is why you're the bit king. There we go. How was here goes not a sound redeem? Uh, I don't know. There, there are a bunch of things we yeah, there are a bunch of things where we're like, why the fuck is that? Right, I, I now I'm just constantly thinking of <laughs> time to take a stand and kill her. And kill her. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So Plasma was just retro -culid. No, once again, we only started coming up with different bullshit names <laughs> for LCD once LCD was not being replaced. So way after Plasma was a concern. Plasma literally bombed off the market entirely before that phase of us going, oh shit, all these TVs are the same. Quick, make up bullshit marketing terms. Right. Man, what a different era we used to be in. Multiple different companies would have multiple different TV technologies and they would be good at different things and some would be just the gooder run. Yeah, I feel like all of tech used to be way more like that and more Diverse. interesting. Like, and not homogenous. Yeah, you could get a, an Xbox and get a completely different set of video games instead of nothing. <laughs> yep. The only downside is that shit was as expensive as fuck. No, it's true. Uh, 
Bob, did I tell you how much this TV, the CRT, went for back in the day? Because yeah, I found yeah, out really did. recently. It was like insane. Yeah, I think it was like fourteen hundred or something. Yeah, it was. It was an absolute nuts amount of money. It was like seventeen hundred, twelve hundred, fourteen hundred, somewhere in that range. Yeah, that's crazy. For this uh, CRT. Now ignore the fact that the OLED we're looking at cost somewhere in that range as well. So I bought it after. I bought it. It's the pri when I bought this one we're using. Uh huh. It was the prior year's technology, but a larger TV. Because it's the 65 inch, not the 55. And that would be, you know, 90s money, which is. Well, actually, wait. Yes. Yeah. So that would be absolutely insane in comparison price wise. That right. would have been like, if you bought an OLED TV something like 10 years ago, mm -hmm. that would have cost $3,500. And so that would have been a. Pretty yeah, parallel. Pretty. In fact, I think we did that conversion, and I was like, what do you mean since the 90s, money's only halved in value? It feels so much worse. Right. Although half is a lot. Like, that is a huge... like. But it's not accurate. No, it's still not accurate. My brother could work part-time at a fast food place making like seven bucks an hour and have a, a, a massive amount of disposable income. Oh, wow. The same amount that you get right now for... I'm Working just saying you can you can wage? work you can make twice as much money and not survive. I know, right? Period. So it's clearly not half. But right. the way they calculate it says it's half. <laughs> it's clearly not. Because the cost of a house has gone up more than two times. Yeah, of course. The cost of a house has gone up two times since 2020. <laughs> <laughs> the first OLED was twenty five hundred dollars, that Sony eleven inch. Yeah, but that doesn't really Motherfuckers who were buying that are literally just like, I bought a test product at CES. Like, that's what you look like. Yeah, that's what the, the current roll-up TVs would be something like that. No, those are more real. Because okay. they've been years running with the... With that's the, true. The TV will come up out of the box. Like, we've done at least two plus years of that, whereas that Sony 11-inch OLED was really just some bullshit. Dan, you buy test products from the retro hardware community all the time. That's all they yes, make. Yes, but I only listen. To, I only do it after eleven YouTubers have lied to me. <laughs> like Bob, have you ever watched one of these reviews for any of these retro products we got? And someone just looked in the camera and went, "This shit is broken and barely ever works." No, they will and never. Yet, somehow that is our experience across so many of these devices. Yeah, they, none of them seem to like. I. It feels like they all are just rich, or something. Where and money if doesn't something actually, doesn't work, it doesn't matter. Yeah, like money doesn't actually matter to any of them. It's like no, you, you, you're a professional reviewing your product. That matters. <laughs> yeah, but I'm friends with the guy who made it. He shouldn't be. That is correct. Jeff Gertzman shouldn't be friends with Phil Spencer. <laughs> also true. Um, Smith says, you should be that YouTuber. Gigaboots Tech Lab, reborn. Yeah, I should just piss off literally everyone in the retro gaming community for no reason other than they sure have it coming to have a very, very honest review of their products. <laughs> uh, you guys realizing why so many YouTubers are from Southern California? <laughs> I mean, my life in gaming isn't from Southern California. Uh, which, you know, there are a myriad of things you could ex talk about and say, but about my life in gaming's history and reviewing products and maybe not being as critical as, as maybe they should have given their position in the retro scene, but uh, if you... The real one I was thinking of just now was them reviewing the PSIO where they're like, it's going to have 100% compatibility. I know because they said so. <laughs> How's the compatibility right now? I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> well, maybe you should. <laughs> maybe. <laughs> maybe. Big Boots is literally the only team that isn't comprised by some personal or monetary ties to the scene. Yeah. Yeah. I was having a conversation with someone the other day and they're like, yeah, maybe the reason the retro tink stuff is doing as well as it is is because the products work. Yeah. And I'm like, yeah, the, yeah. OSS, the OSSC may have a sharper image quality than the retro tink 5X, depending on what you do with it. But at the end of the day, 
the retro sync just works whereas the ossc had compatibility issues with a ton of tvs which is not necessarily its fault it's fundamentally designed in a way where it would do that mm. um because you know it doesn't have a buffer it doesn't image buffer it doesn't do that it literally just outputs whatever's coming in back out the hdmi that's what breaks compatibility Bill might be cursing Bobby Kotick's right name name right now, considering the mess he left him with at the moment. Bobby Kotick did not make Phil Spencer buy Activision. <laughs> Phil Spencer made Phil Spencer buy Activision. Incredible. <laughs> Yeah, people want a reliable product that actually does the goddamn thing it's supposed to. It's very surprising. But yeah, another example is they did a review of the 3DS capture unit. Uh-huh. Um, way after it was relevant. Like, they stopped making them before they even covered it. Wow. Because, you know, they were running out of subjects. And right. And they never redo videos for some fucking reason. Yeah, it's so it's crazy. It's the weirdest thing that My Life in Gaming does. They've never redone a video. No matter they how even, old the info gets. Yeah, they even did back when the meta on YouTube was making giant compilation videos of all of your videos. They even just opened one of those with some of this information may be outdated. I'm like, then why are you putting it out there again? Your content doesn't work in this way. This isn't your goofy review of a video game. This is a video pretending to be current relevant information on devices mm -hmm. um so that bl that blew my mind and i i think it's very strange they don't redo videos because presumably they would understand how to make the video better doing it a second time right the long hallway Mano says i just got back from getting dinner and during my entire drive i had the quest 64 overworld music stuck in my head so thanks <laughs> I didn't make it. I didn't. I didn't compose Quest sixty four, and thank God. Yeah, you'd never live that down. I would not. Maybe it would help if they went back to re-examine a product after a while it's been out. I mean, there is an era of my life in gaming, and I wish I could tell you which videos it is and when specifically it was. But it's mostly leading up to the release and a little bit after the Retro Tink five X where they out themselves as seemingly colorblind because they can't notice the green is wrong in every upscaler but the OSSC. I'm dead serious. They just constantly go, as you can see, the OSSC doesn't look very good. And I'm like, it's the only one with the correct fucking color on screen. <laughs> and it took them like five years to notice. Anyway. Still pissed my life in gaming did a review of the C2, called it trash, and said to just get a C1 and then never revisited it, so I still don't have the conclusive info on how good the C2 is with 480 and lower resolutions. The most we got was a comment from one of the guys saying they wouldn't re-review it because it was returned. Um, I always re uh, recommend um Artings. I believe it's artings.net. Um, they're the only TV reviewers to trust, right. basically. Uh, them and HDTV test over on YouTube. Yeah. I don't know if saying you two as opposed to your is rude. No, I don't think so. I, I feel like the only way you would get weird for you to refer to us in a very specific article-like manner is if you said, you men. Like, yeah, I guess we are men. That's a fucking weird <laughs> opener. All right, what's the rest of the sentence? Love nuggets. I guess we, I get, yeah, yeah, I guess. Uh. Uh, you're real gay. What, what, what is this? <laughs> <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> yeah, HDTV Dust is really good. Uh, I watched basically every video he's ever put out. <laughs> Uh, in fact, he, looking back at his YouTube channel, it reminded me that there is 
Instead of getting the 480 hertz monitor, uh huh, I could get a 240 hertz monitor that came out that has black frame insertion at 240 hertz. Oh. Because that would also have superb motion clarity. Right. Here's the problem though. You can't do variable refresh rate or V or G sync with black frame insertion. It doesn't look right. Oh no. Because you can't shift. Yeah, how long. that makes sense. Right. That sucks so, though. It took me a moment to remember that would be why you wouldn't want that over 480 hertz G sync. Hey Gamma Chris, how's it going? For people who don't know, Gamma Chris is a Twitch streamer. Gamma Chris, a streamer I recently described as my most hinged streamer I watch. <laughs> Complimentary. Gamma Chris is a very cute red panda Twitch streamer, and you should genuinely check out their streams because on the days after Friday death streams, that's probably where I'll be lurking. Anyways, how's it going? We're playing Quest 64. We're getting there. <laughs> I feel like that's low-key showing shade on, like, Riona. <laughs> No, Riona's the most unhinged one. Right. That was the conversation. It was happening with her. <laughs> when I was playing Grand Blue with uh, Vox and Riona, I was like, Riona, you're, you're basically the most unhinged streamer I watch, except for one other person. They transitioned and got more hinged. <laughs> She's like, okay, throw me a link to them. I want to see who the second most unhinged streamer you watch is. <laughs> it's is a very good conversation. How many hours in the Blue Cave so far? No, I think I think we're twenty to thirty Blue minutes, cave. maybe. Doug, Dougie, Blue Cave, Blue Cave. Okay, <laughs> help. No, Riona, Riona is definitely should be aware. No one would describe Riona streams as hinged. God. Yeah, I hope not. Gamma Chris, Gamma Chris is indeed the most medicated. Yes, and extremely delightful. This is this is a real video game. Sometimes the battle just ends because you cast the spell once, and other I, times it doesn't. I just have to keep being like, it's not too human, so, you know, there's that. Vox, don't be disappointed. We weren't grinding agility for that long. We haven't... Mm. We haven't uh, been doing it the whole time. He's too close to the wall. Okay. <laughs> oh no, he's gonna sting you! You're gonna start our ass killed! Jesus. This should do it though. Oh no? Yeah, oh, like, why no. not use a spell even? God. God. Why did it? Why did something just miss a hundred times in a row? Where did you put me? Okay, this is just the end. You're, Bob, go back. Hmm. Oh right, because it doesn't heal you, even yeah. though it puts yeah. you at the end. Because it wants you to save. Because you're a dipshit child who just died in a cave. Save. <laughs> Every time that's like I. Yeah, I just won't hit 300 times in a row. You ever just die in the middle of the blue cave? Yeah, it's happened to us uh, before. Like, just now. <laughs> yeah. What is, uh, what does our agility look like? Can you pause? 58. <laughs> 58. Uh, that one doesn't open from this way. You have to... No, we gotta... Oh, that is the correct way. Never mind. I was mixing it up with the other door. Because it would be absurd to just have the water line be receded. That would be whole, crazy. Like, forever. That would be crazy. I have to talk to her every time, otherwise. Oh, yeah, we've done plenty of spirit dupes. That's why we have as many as we do. We must have gotten at least 20. Somewhere around. I've done it a lot. I would say 16, 18. Up there. Like usually, that. usually I get the triple every time, so there you go. Man, could you imagine if we didn't do that? I know, right? What a video game. What a video game. Whoa, 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 camera. Why you been pointing at the wall? It just thought you might want to know where the wall is. It knows you're claustrophobic. <laughs> it's just worried about you. It goes around you, so you... Oh, you're using... I was trying to find where they put escape. 
Do, do you want... Do you want me to take over? No, I'm okay. I, I know my way through this thing now. Oh, it missed. Good thing I used it. <laughs> yeah, it sure would be neat if somebody finished making a console, a DS consoleizer. That sure would be neat. Would you like to know a fun trick because you're at the start of the blue cave? Sure, Voxandra. What is the fun trick? Did you go into the dark green forest with the forest lady? No. If you didn't, then take the left path at the start of the blue cave? Okay. Also, hey, Dark Wolf, how's it going? At the end of this path, you could go to that forest. Do we, do we want to? Because I assume you're talking about the forest that you fight after the town uh, that I went through the cave to get to. This forest has like five spirits and either exit or return, I forget which, brings you to the entrance of the forest. That sounds, that sounds pretty profitable. Okay, let's see. Da, 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 da. And Dondran. And Marvel. Yeah, the other forest would be to... like way south. It would make no sense if, a, if it was the same forest. Yeah, I'm seeing. I'm seeing it though. It says exit to Glencoe Forest in Dondran Flats. But we got the spirits in that forest. I thought. Wait, maybe this is a different forest. Yeah, you know, I was like, it has to be. It would make no sense if it was up here. Uh, I have a strategy guy. Yeah. It just, I'm like, letting Vox know that. Because she's like, oh, you have a map? I'm like, yeah, I'm looking at this map, and I'm like, all right. But, you know, the thing is, this isn't like a... It's not a collection of maps. No. It's literally just, here's how you get through. I will show you one area at a time. <laughs> It's so cool when the blonde lady shows up and she's really neat and she plays an important role of the story by being in two different rooms and talking to you. Yes. It's that course is 100% optional. Does the strategy guide show where the spirits are on the map? Yes. But uh, Glencoe Forest is completely optional. I wonder where it's stuck in this fucking strategy guide then. <laughs> right. Because the strategy guide is only concerned with getting you through the game, it seems. Let me see. Glenco, Glenco. Oh, thank you, Groza, for the follow. Okay, there we go. Huh. Yeah, we... I do not believe we went to Glenco Forest at all. That's 34, huh? One sec. Yeah, it says here there are three spirits in Glencoe Forest. Oh, there's a spirit right here. Oh, God. Where are you? Where'd you disappear to? Was it ever real? Was it real? It wasn't real. I could have sworn I saw something. <laughs> Where oh, the hell there it is. Are you going? There it is. All right. Uh, well, wait, aren't we about to hit an exit? Yes. Well, if we exit that way and then come back in, the sure. exit spell will bring us. Wait, why isn't. Yeah, if it's sealed. Oh, yeah, it's totally sealed. Maybe we did do it then. Or maybe we need to do something else first. Fox is just confused. <laughs> well, at very least, we can't get through here. Right. So we should just do the exit and right and grab that spirit. Wherever it went. There it is. Exit. 
Oh, you hit right C. You're hitting A, right? Yeah. Okay. Oh, you hit left C first before you hit A. Keep in mind, you're just hitting A once to start the thing and then right. bashing it. There you go. Okay. Good job. Because it technically twice to cast it and then start bashing it. You are casting the spell, and then once the spell is cast, hitting A to pick it up and right. left C to select the thing. Right. Yes. So two hits of the A button because you need to cast the spell and then pick yes. it up. Yes. Vox uh, says, you should just go there for me. I'm so confused now. I'm sorry. I'll time myself out. <laughs> At least yeah. you got us in one spirit. It's okay. It's just saying we got a new uh, Earth spell. Oh, also, really? man, it's really nice seeing the damage value on that go up substantially because we're cheesing the game because the game deserves to be cheesed. Yeah. Gamer Chris, have you ever played Quest 64 before? Okay. It's never too late. <laughs> Maybe you don't ever do it. We got weakness one. Rock shower. Magnet rock. Magnet rock. He sure are moves. Rock shower, sure. Let's shower them. Oh, that wasn't very good. And now they're mad. <laughs> Magnet rock. So about why Avalanche? Yeah, right? Yeah. Avalanche seems completely on, balanced on a different scale than everything else. They broke the mold when they made the spell Avalanche. That's <laughs> for fucking sure, because it is it is just cracked out in every way possible. Hey, Vox, are you excited for that upcoming Curse Content Club? I know Bob really enjoyed recording it. Yeah, so much. <laughs> She says she's extremely excited. Jesus. I didn't even know about that glitch. That's pretty neat. Yeah, that uh, that effectively helped save this game. Because, man, you level way too slow in this. It's so grindy for having so little content in it. It's, it's, yeah, it is Seven Saga core. But that feels cooler when I grind. I don't know. I think a lot of that, you know, that gets helped by being a good artistically at all. Like, it looks and nice. And having, like, a really good bop. Right. Like, for example, okay, let's just test something out. Okay, chat? Hear me out, okay? Let me just... Okay, chat. If instead of sounding like this, okay, battle music sounded a little bit more... Let me see where this song is. It sounded a little bit more like like this, okay? Also, I should lower this volume just in case it's insanely loud and kills everyone. Oh, that's a different song. One second. We want this one. I mean, that song's pretty good, too, but this is still not the one I'm looking for. I'm <laughs> looking for this one. It's a good song. What a fucking good song. <laughs> but there's also Magic Barrier now? What is Magic Barrier? In confusion. I don't want to info dump when you're starting a game, but Dan came to me like, Vox and play Quest 64, save me! <laughs> yeah, no, that's, that's the only way to talk about it. This magic barrier seems pretty good. I think it may be literally immune to his attack. Cool. Either that he just completely missed. You are immune to magic. Wow. Um, in a game that's basically nothing but magic? Are you insane? Why would you, why'd you put that spell in? <laughs> Box says, magic barrier and avalanche is how you're going to beat this game in under 20 hours. Hell, with something that makes us immune to magic. I think we might beat it under nine. I think we might just sail through the next three hours of this, or two and a half <laughs> hours of this game and be like, we're done. <laughs> Especially if we keep getting rolls like that, right? What a good song. 
Anyway, welcome back to Quest 64 music. <laughs> yeah. I hope you like knockoff Final Fantasy 7 music. I hope that's what you're into. It is what I'm into. I don't listen to any YouTube covers except for really bad Final Fantasy 7 ones. Jesus. These are, these are really bad. This is even like worse than normal. <laughs> Sorry, Scorpion, you can't do anything to me anymore. <laughs> I'm trying to think if enemies ever use physical attacks. Do they? I'm really worried I got turned around, but luckily this... this Blue cave, yep, it's filled with stones, just arrows on them, so I at least have some guideposts. Because what confused me there is the character turned the right way. The camera did not. Um, and that can happen in these more narrow areas. It's not great. Having to figure out how to select magic barriers is a little confusing. There's one enemy that chomps on you, and that's it. Yeah, yeah, because it feels like there was there were some other enemies that did attack me physically, but it's so hard to recognize because a lot of things that you'd think would do attacks just shoot water or something like these guys. Because it's a scorpion. Okay. Now I need to heal every, every like three battles or so because I'm so powerful. Or rather, I have one spell that's really cheap. Two spells that are really cheap. These arrows should be removed. Aren't you offended that you, the devs think you're stupid, Bob? <laughs> yes, I'm so offended. These these Quest 54 devs just don't understand what makes their game good, and they they should have they shouldn't have these guideposts. They're ruining my immersion. Wait, it missed? Or did that... Yeah, I can miss casting Magic Barrier on myself. What? What? Why is that a thing? Yes. Like, seeing Vox just like, you sure can! And I'm like, no, why? Oh, I bet that Mimics use physical attacks. All right, I didn't miss this time. Oh, well, decent water that time. Last question, when you can miss healing a, a healing spell on unit and fire emblem. Oh my God, why? In a game where, you know, in, or like permanent death can happen. That that really sucks. And, you know, anything being a random chance in Quest 54 is awful because, oh god, we're already playing Quest 64. What more do you want? I wonder how many turns it lasts. Like, how many turns I'll keep up the magic barrier before I need to recast it. Does Unicorn such and such have permadeath? No, I don't think so. There might be some weird mode you can boot into, but as far as, uh, like, if the unit dies, you can just heal him. They didn't want to capture that part of the, uh, the experience. Oh, hell yeah, Quest 64. Ugh. But someone's excited. Playing the game, I'm certainly not. More tiny blue cave hallways. You gotta love blue cave. It's blue. And greenish? Teal. Okay. <laughs> Great. 
Magic barrier. What did I miss? Uh, magic barrier to miss. Yeah, I saw that. That's it. That's all it was. Ha that's all that happened. Uh, Digital basic sewed up and was excited for the quest 54. I assume they have some sort of damage. How's it going? Yeah, who's back? Uh, yeah, having a, a healing spell miss an ally is completely unhinged. That is not okay. Yeah. Ding! <laughs> Fucking Sidma Sid's magician. <laughs> if he just ordered the coffee, why is it already ready? Ding! Where's my ironic cinemasis channel where I'm just saying the dumbest shit I've mentioned? Yeah, I'm surprised there is, does, doesn't exist already. Michael that guy Morbius is, like, is a vampire, but he doesn't get hurt during daylight. Ding! And people are just like, yeah, he's not a normal, not a normal vampire. That's not... You might notice he didn't, he died across her holy water, Dan. Ding. Ding! <laughs> All right, it only lasts like three turns for the magic barrier. Vox says, run from every single battle. They're now all worthless to you. Oh, yeah? <laughs> That's... Wow. All right. I believe you. Now, what this means, Bob... We need to be very careful. You're going to have to stare at that compass and make sure you're going in the right direction. Uh-huh. Okay. Here. What? Oh, no. Okay, there's arrows. Thank God. I cannot stress that you will have 50 Earth and 50 Water by the end of the game on Spirits alone. Yeah, but what about our um, HP, MP, and uh, defense? Huh? I like the game daring you to fight them. They're right behind you. You gonna fight them? No. Oh. <laughs> Shit. I don't think I can be attacked out here. Usually on a platform like this, no. Yeah, and then this next hallway, weirdly enough, not there either. It's a compelling argument that unfortunately, Magic Barrier Avalanche. <laughs> what a game. What a game. Quest 64, what a game. Uh-huh. Why, why Why? did any of this go the way it did? How was this game this hard? Quest 64 might be the living testament to... Did you know making 3D games back in 1998 was unbelievably difficult? Right. Now you do. One of the games of all time, true. Fact. Now that yes. your agility is higher, you have a bigger field to run in, so you can run to the barrier easily. Man, we should we should have grinded that sure. more. Hey, yeah, if we understood that that extended the octagon right. even more, I would have been like, let's get this to seventy. <laughs> oh no! Double oh no! You just barely can't make it out. Okay. I mean, you can just end the, end the turn. There's not going to be... No reason not to put up the magic barrier if they're going to hit me. But the 3 MP. Think of the 3 MP. You'll take 10 steps to get it back completely. Blue cave tunnel is so funny. I don't know how to put this. That has the energy of someone high laughing at something completely benign. <laughs> just like, this blue cape total's fucking hilarious. <laughs> Look at this guy. Pretty funny, right? Pretty fucking hilarious. Like to see a game about a little wizard dude using mostly magic. I thought Nino Kuni would be that at first, but then it turned into Poundland Pokemon. <laughs> you have an escape spell that costs the same as Magic Barrier. Yeah, yeah, but that can miss. The first time I used it, it missed. Yeah. 
though I don't Whereas trust Magic it. Magic Barrier has only missed once ever. I feel like we've you. Does Bob know which way he's going? Has he been looking at the compass? Which way are we going, Bob? Are we going north or south? Yes. Chat, he, he totally just pulled a 180, right? Bob's like, I'm going based on how blue things are. <laughs> Get escaped, bitch! Don't forget to heal. Oh my god, camera, you've ruined everything. You've been running that that way. Okay. Are you not entertained that they put this in a real video game? <laughs> You know, not to sound like a jaded hipster, I played a lot of PS1 games, Vox. <laughs> I feel like there are many PS1 games I rented that would also do this, but like, they there would be have mechanics. They would have like load screens <laughs> and a game around it. Just keep keep your eye on your compass at all times. If now it, now if, he's getting turned around. If it labeled every direction, that'd be easy for me. But I have north just, and then three dots. Right, yeah, just look where N is. And then go, I am going north or I am going south. You totally just turned to 180. God, guess. Yeah, you were going north. Now the fucked up part is when you enter battle. It removes the compass, right? Now I'm just run. Man, these enemies are so funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, they're hilarious. They're hilarious. Spiff says, thankfully, this is probably the only dungeon that has that is a hallway that looks the same both ways. That is good. What a video game. Yeah. They give you a spell that just makes you not take damage from the majority of attack types. What are you... What are, what are you trying to do? I'm trying to use... The, the, the spell to... to... Magic Barrier, Desertus. Jeez. <laughs> They've also made that menu wrong, so it's incredibly hard to find things. This is less exciting than being lost in an actual cave. Well, that makes sense. You might die in an actual <laughs> cave. Okay, cool. Okay. We're doing it. Ton chat says Griffin is the worst relink boss. Spiff says, what's wrong with Griffin? Sounds like someone doesn't use Rackham. <laughs> Yeah, Griffin does make me feel like I should probably level up a Rackham. <laughs> yeah, Griffin makes me go, I'm Siegfried and I will never contribute. <laughs> okay, so the real trick. Yeah. And then go the way you were going. Yeah. You ever just think, what if you were running down an endless blue tunnel? No, I try not to think of that. That doesn't sound fun. This is like evil eternal ring. <laughs> yeah. Oh shit, this is like, we're getting there. It's happening. One of these directions has a spirit, I'm certain. That makes sense. Let me pull up the map. Sure. Okay. Once I figure out which side you came in from. <laughs> 
Okay, there was in fact a spirit immediately on the left path and immediately on the right path. So if you come back to the entrance-ish area, then go down. Yeah, left is going to be first because it's shorter. Yeah, the problem is though, if you use exit, it'll take you to the exit of the fucking cave, won't it? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that sounds fucking awful. Yeah, it does. Miss. You can just grab single spirits sometimes. Yeah, this will be that time for certain. Cause fuck this. Yeah, this is this cave is awful. Yeah, just grab it on a uh, earth, of course. Yeah, and then the right path seemingly has a spirit and a treasure chest. So you're gonna go straight here. Do, 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 do. <laughs> so about how we should have grinded. More agility. If only we had known. Right? You were never real! Okay. And follow the left wall. Don't don't uh, go to the right once you get to the branch. The split. Yeah, go left. That should have both a treasure chest and a spirit. Button on the roof. I was hoping it was fresh bread, just so I could be like, how? <laughs> okay, so I'm already seeing scans of the upcoming area. Oh, yeah, if you want to know where to go here. Just to make this less annoying. Did you go straight? Instead of going back to the entrance? Yeah. Great, yeah, keep going that way, because it's going to be less annoying to give you the instructions if we go this way. Just follow this path for a shitload of time. Take the first left. Because otherwise I would have had to give you a don't go down this way, don't go down this way, go to the right, don't go down this way. Okay, go left. Go left again. <laughs> <laughs> what is this game? What were they thinking? I don't know. Okay, go left. And then take this right. And <laughs> at the end of this, you'll get a spirit. Now, how much do we care about another treasure chest? <laughs> Yeah, the treasure chest feels like they can't actually have anything worthwhile. Yeah, it really feels like it's fleeting, but if you want to get it on the way out... Okay. I'll give you the instructions for that. Uh, take a right out of this. And then follow this... Uh-oh. <laughs> it was a bad time for that. Okay. Yeah, follow this right. Yeah, to the right. Hard right. Yep. Okay, great. And then we're going to hug the right wall for a very long time. So we're not going down that. Shit, I didn't realize how short this was. Actually, not much of a very long time. Ho, ho, ho. So yeah, hug right. Then we're going to hug left. And then... I just realized that didn't connect. Well, I hope whatever's good in this treasure chest is good. What if it has an amulet you eat and then become God, says Chris. <laughs> well, we would have to eat it because you can't do anything else with amulets in the world of Quest 64. <laughs> then we get to be out for one battle. My God, yeah, all the way out on here. Uh-huh, and I thought it connected on the far side, but no. Of course not. So I hope it's good. You think it would label that, but whatever. Brian. <laughs> Brian. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> the fact you had to look at it from the right. Oh, hey, healing potion is decent. That's like 120 health. Okay. Yeah. Uh, just hug the right wall the whole way. Every single turn. Okay. And you'll, you'll get out. Na, 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 na. He's like eight. Cut him some slack. I'm just saying, Brian maybe should have to approach a completely symmetrical object from one way or the other. That was the first try. You just—it couldn't have been. You—you you got flipped 
Yeah, you. Okay, so go left. You 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 got flipped around at the intersection. You accidentally took your first left. You're, you're doing it again. You're doing it again. Flip a 180. There, go that way. Wait. Yes. Yeah, that's where I just. Yes. No. But follow the left pass there. No. Now we're gonna follow the right this time. <laughs> what, a, what a good spell! What an incredible what a good spell. spell! Why do we, why do we ever use the arbor? <laughs> Escape is here. It can waste a turn. <laughs> uh, hold right. Ba -da 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 -da. Now I have no idea where I am. Just keep going straight. <laughs> I hate that I look away to look at chat. Okay, now hug the left wall the whole way. <laughs> Man, would it have been neat if the back side of that connected the... It would be really neat, yeah. It would have been really neat. Here's the great news. Left? Yeah, yeah, I just said that, yeah. You're done. That's the great news. Great. So, Bob, what did you think of Blue Cave? <laughs> Uh, one of the worst things put in a video game. <laughs> we, we gotta get you to play a lot more RPGs. <laughs> what if every room looked the same and it's, you know, <laughs> and the in 3D fucking... and it spins the camera at random? You know, honestly, though, not not to not to not to be reductive of your suffering here. I've had 2D games where the the design was so intricate. On uh -huh. these RPGs that you can't get any bearings. Speaking of not getting any bearings. Okay, we're good. I think you're heading the correct direction still. Yeah. Thank God. <laughs> na -na 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 -na. David Lynch's masterpiece, Blue Cave. You just ascended, so do not go down. You have been ascending. God damn it. <laughs> every time. Not quite. We're so close every time. Yeah, that thing never hits. No. No, the, the, the batting average on this is terrible. I don't know why Spiff kept being like... Just don't use the armor that'll keep you safe like 90% of the time. Use the spell that never works. What, is, what an awful game. This shit looks like wet tricks. I have no other way to express that. Yeah. Giant bubbles of water are going to fall on you. <laughs> yeah. Dangerous. What are you? Uh, oh, you're wearing a weird... No, it's nose is giant. Never yeah, mind. you're the thing from the beginning of the game. Are you the king again? That's not the king. Oh, it's Opona. So you are Brian. Your reputation grows with every victory. My name is Opona. You have the magic jewel. Do you not? But only a true magician will be able to use it. It's true. The Ella Tail book has been stolen. A thousand years ago, a great war broke out over the possession of the book. Yeah, the book that I know I've been sold since the beginning of the game? Yeah, they they wrote one thing and the every NPC is going to talk about it, but no one knew the truth behind the book's power. No one must ever open the Ella Tail book. If its power is released, it will be the end of all we know. That is why the Ella Tail book must... Bob, you better pay attention. This is going to come up on the test and you definitely haven't heard this before. That's why the Ella Tail book must be recovered. And return. And return to its safekeeping in the monastery. And return to its safekeeping. That is a real. They got up and caught in the vi fight of the violence. Anyway. I, I prefer direct translation. Thank you. <laughs> Starting from the stone circle in the innermost room, go to the Isle of Sky in Loch Kildaray. There you will find the precious stone. Of water spirit. Ask the sorceress Kali. Sorry, that's too much. 
point this close to ask the grand sorcerer, Kathy. <laughs> to let you borrow it. What it's about your little owl? What's what about that? Everybody loves this Pokemon. You are past Blue Cave now. Did you? T did the crossing make you tired? There's not much you can do except to stop here for a rest. <laughs> Localizations are too woke, Bob says. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh man, is this going to warp me somewhere? I'm scared. Yeah, this seems likely because that last area didn't exactly have an obvious out, but maybe not. I'll just make sure if there's nothing around here I need to look at real quick. I don't. I feel like there's nothing out here. You yeah, there's would, nothing out here. It's just you, a pretty, pretty area. You, oh, there's one spirit. You want to go get it since there aren't battles? Yeah, of course. Okay, uh, just uh, go, go straight into the background, and hang the right. Yeah, yeah. There you go. Just keep going this way. Don't just grab just it. Grab just grab it. Just grab it. Yeah, just grab it. Fuck this. It's too. It's, we're too deep. Yeah. No, we are. That is a really good description. 